In this world, all women awaken as powerful beast girls at age 18. Some tomboys awaken as kangaroo girls. Some girls with fangs awaken as dinosaur girls. Even some female streamers awaken as eel girls to become the absolute main force against demon beasts, while men awaken as beast masters, only able to assist women in battle. At this time, the awakened girls at Qingjiang High School are exuding intimidating youthful charm, constantly provoking the nervous boys on the school field. Some have awakened as fierce tigers. Some can breathe fire as fire element sprites. Some have terrifying sword spirits. And today, it's finally the boy's turn to awaken. A handsome boy holding a black cat is particularly eye-catching. The boy named Bai Chin transmigrated to this world three days ago, and now stares intently at the awakening array in front of him. The first to step onto the array is Li Wei, class monitor of class 1 senior 3. As he steps in, the array blossoms with dazzling green light. It's Deer Rank. He awakened as a Deer Rank beast master right off the bat. What a great start. Let's see what skill he awakened. Speed boost increases movement speed by 30%. Not bad, a decent combat support skill, Li Wei looks at his attributes, excitedly clenching his fist and waving it forcefully, looking very spirited. You should know, most people can only awaken as F or E rank. Skills are often useless stuff like enhanced smell or hearing. Someone like Li Wei who awakened as D rank with a proper combat support skill is really quite good. The moment Li Wei stepped off the school field, he was immediately surrounded by many girls. Among them, the dazzling school bell yinning stands out, wearing a pink JK school uniform with pink hair, plus fair skin. She's basically a 2D goddess from manga come to life, with countless admirers. Bai Chen's previous self was one of her admirers too. He even brought her breakfast every day for three years. Wei Gu, let's form a contract. You know I awakened as a lipstick horse. It goes really well with your speed boost. Yining speaks in a soft voice while pressing up against Li Wei. Li Wei is really enjoying the intimacy with Yining. Mmm, Yining, you don't have any combat skills, you can ride on me first. After I unlock my second beast slot, I'll form a contract with you then. In principle, D-rank beast masters can unlock up to three beast slots, but it's extremely difficult for ordinary people to achieve. Li Wei is clearly trying to take advantage of her. Yining naturally sees through this, looking at Li Wei resentfully. But Yining is a master at fishing men, so she doesn't give up and continues flirting ambiguously. Meanwhile, Li Wei has already added several girls on his friends list, even hitting on the most aggressive C-rank mother T-rex, making the other boys extremely envious. Just a D-rank and he's already showing off, watch me awaken as C-rank next, I'll have beauties begging me to pick them. Just thinking about it makes me happy. But in the following awakenings, most are F or E-rank. Those who boasted earlier are now standing dejectedly off to the side. Beast masters of this level are looked down on even by ordinary girls, basically losing all mate selection rights. Because beast girls will only choose beast masters stronger than themselves, rather be a backup for the strong than the only one for the weak. Facing this situation, the school leaders on stage remain calm. This is normal for an average county high school. C-rank has been the peak over the years, but soon they can no longer stay calm. Everyone's attention is drawn to the awakening array. The sky-piercing red light has dyed half the sky red. A heroic youth with sword-like brows stands dominantly amidst the crimson glow. As if wearing a cape illuminating heaven and earth, his kingly aura on full display. It's Gon Sun Outian, the president of the school's student council, and it's a B-class surprisingly, a B-class imperial beast master has appeared. After so many years, our Qing Jiang Hai finally has a B-rank. And with dual skills, one of which is a healing skill. It's shockingly shocking. Especially the girls who are screaming madly. If they can form a contract with a B-rank beast master, even the lowest level beast girl can get greatly strengthened and may even directly upgrade a rank. How could they not go crazy? President Gongsun is so handsome, I want to give birth to a litter of monkeys for President Gongsun. Go away, President Gongsun is mine. Why don't want a contract anymore? President Gongsun just take advantage of me, I'll be your mount. The girls have completely lost their minds. Some have even directly transformed into beast girl form. Especially Yi Ning, whose eyes are brimming with infatuation. She simply transforms into a pink warhorse, Flicking her long mane trying to seduce Gongsun Aotian. Li Wei was tossed aside by her long ago. However, Gongsun Aotian completely ignores these vulgar fans, his gaze turns skyward. A character with wings on her back like an angel, a beauty shining radiantly in the sunlight, it's the school bell Chu Yulun. Her originally peerless beauty, after awakening as a C rank heavenly eagle, adds a touch of divinity, making people only dare to admire from afar. Chu Yulun, let's form a contract. 
Gongsun Aotian's tone is full of arrogance. Chu Yulan is even more arrogant, just slightly nodding to barely acknowledge it. Seeing the school bell about to be taken down, the boys are extremely envious, wishing the one who awakened Birank was themselves instead. The girls are equally full of jealousy, but Chu Yulan's beauty leaves them unable to compete. The school leaders are happy to see this happen, immediately applying for 500k no, 1 million in scholarships for them, and taking out 100 white beast souls from the school warehouse to help raise their levels. Principal Lu Fan excitedly arranges for the school to go all out to nurture them, if they can develop students who enter top institutions, it will be an achievement written in school history. The awakening ceremony continues, finally it's Bai Chen's turn. Bai Chen puts down the black cat and strides into the awakening array. With a huge boom, the sky and earth suddenly change color. Rainbow clouds fill the entire world. Divine dragons, phoenixes, chilans, towering trees. All kinds of divine beasts carrying a sky full of ferocious beasts and birds. Plant element sprites and more bow down before Bai Chen. The terrifying pressure makes all students prostrate on the ground. Even the teachers can barely stand steadily. What level of awakening is this? The legendary S rank? No no. S rank absolutely doesn't have such a terrifying heavenly omen. Rainbow clouds, this is the pinnacle SSS rank. Maxed out from the start, how are others supposed to compete? The boys are prostrate on the ground, looking up at the terrifying omen in the sky. While the girls are screaming excitedly, Bai Chen is so handsome, my husband is so handsome. What bullshit Gongsan Ao Tian. In front of my brother Bai Chen he's nothing. God, let me be your dog. Brother Bai Chen, I'm a soft-bodied creature. I can do any pose you want, please pick me. Amidst the noisy screams, Bai Chin calmly looks at his attributes. Name, Bai Chin, talent, SSS rank. Level, 1 Apprentice Beast Master, Strength, 10, Agility, 10. Vitality, 10, Energy, 100, Contracted Beast Girls, 5, Skills. True Sight LV. 1 can inspect attributes of Black Iron or Lower Demon Beasts and Beast Girls in detail. Able to see through stealth, illusions, and traps. Skill 2, Super Heal rapidly recovers from injuries. Skill 3, War Drums, all contracted Beast Girl attributes, plus 100%. Skill 4, Beast Armor, convert own energy into armor to protect designated Beast Girl. Skill 5, Dimensional Space, gain 1 cubic meter of dimensional space per 100 energy. The average Beast Master will only awaken one skill, and that's considered gifted. Bai Chin awakened 5 skills right off the bat, each extremely practical and powerful. This is the terror of SSS rank. Just then, an arrogant shout quiets the crowd, Bai Chen is mine. It's Yi Ning, he never imagined. The one who brought her breakfast for three years as a simp, would actually awaken the highest SSS rank. At this moment she is filled with confidence, if she can form a contract with Bai Chen. Even her, the lowest F rank lipstick horse, could directly become a legendary S rank existence. Bai Chen, I promise to be your girlfriend, come over, Yi Ning extends her fair hand waiting for him to take it. She believes Bai Chen can't resist her charm. However Bai Chen doesn't even bother looking at her. Ever since transmigrating into this body and inheriting the previous host's memories, Bai Chen is extremely ashamed of his past self's behavior, a simp remains a simp. He was quite handsome, how could he let a trash girl control him? Even the school leaders can't stand to watch this, immediately having people drag Yi Ning aside. He's a beast master with limitless SSS rank potential. What's a useless F rank mount like you trying to horn in for? Do you have any self awareness? Anyway, such a once in a lifetime genius must not be delayed. At this time, school bell Chu Yulan takes the chance to fly up into the sky, directly over the school field fence towards Bai Chen. Bai Chen, I'm Chu Yulan, nice to meet you. Chu Yulan gives a bewitching smile, stretching out her fair little hand, none of her earlier arrogance remaining, she even deliberately pulled down her collar. Posing very seductively, she's clearly trying to curry favor with Bai Chen. The aloof goddess actually trying to please Bai Chen. This makes the boys frantically swallow their saliva, with incredulous expressions. But at this time, Bai Chen suddenly hears a voice in his mind. Super selection system bound. Then three options appear before his eyes. Option 1, hold Chu Yulan's hand. Accept her friend request, reward, charisma, plus 50%. Option 2, look up 45 degrees at the sky, say coldly you're celebrating too early, reward, agility plus 10. Option 3, stick out tongue and lick Chu Yulan's hand, reward, title, king of simps. Wearing effect, contracted beast girl combat power, plus 10%. As a transmigrator, Bai Chen immediately understands the system's purpose. He just needs to make a choice to get the corresponding reward. Option 1 to increase charisma is useless, he's already made all the school's girls go crazy. Option 2 increase agility by 10, 
Doubling it is pretty good, great for running away. As for option 3 licking her hand, that's just too creepy. Who wants the title king of simps? In just an instant Bai Chen makes his choice. He looks up at the sky and says coldly you're celebrating too early. Chu Yulan is momentarily dumbfounded, is this how normal people greet each other? Haha <laughs> you're celebrating too early, saying that to the school bell. Brother Bai Chen is definitely a mega chad, as expected of an SSS rank beast master. Everyone bursts into loud laughter, finally recovering from the earlier shock. Chu Yulan blushes bright red, this was the first time she took the initiative to pursue someone, and she failed. But she doesn't believe anyone can resist her charm, so Chu Yulan lets her other coat shoulder slide down as well, generously and boldly displaying herself to Bai Chen. Brother Bai Chen, I can become an eagle, I can let you ride me. WTF, hearing the school bell say such nasty things, but damn it's really tempting. Just then, a terrifying pressure suddenly comes from the sky. Chu Yulan is directly blown away by a gust of wind. Everyone looks up to find a flaming dragon in the sky. Smelly slut, a C-rank little bird also dares approach my SSS rank man. With a sky-shocking dragon's roar, Chu Yulan shivers in fear. Flaming dragon girl, scorching flames, proudly circling in the sky above the school. Only then did she descend, satisfied. Transforming into a tall, heroic girl, arrogantly surveying the scene. Finally settling on Bai Chen. She is very satisfied with Bai Chen's appearance, and even more satisfied with his talent. SSS rank, irresistible. If she can form a contract with Bai Chen, she can advance by leaps and bounds, directly becoming an S rank blazing giant dragon. That's what a real dragon is. Long Jiao Jiao didn't expect to encounter such great fortune just coming to Jiangzhou on vacation. So she didn't think twice, directly transforming into dragon form to fly over at top speed. She didn't even dare tell her family, after all with such a terrifying talent, even her mom would be tempted. Moreover, her family had arranged an annoying s rank beast master for her. She just wants to hurry up and settle this. As for Bai Chen, Long Jiao Jiao doesn't believe he'll refuse, because no beast master doesn't want a dragon race. Beast master and dragon, what a majestic title. Everyone's reaction also confirms this a flaming dragon, it's actually a flaming dragon. This is a rank 1 beast girl, and even a dragon race. I'm this old and the strongest beast girl I've seen is C-rank, and that one was super gloomy. I really like her, if I can form a contract with her. I should be able to coast to victory right. Long Jiao Jiao enjoys the envy and admiration of the crowd, smirking as she extends a hand towards Bai Chen. I'm Long Jiao Jiao, a rank flaming dragon, let's form a contract. No need to explain, her aura and bloodline are proof enough that she's from the Dragon City's long family. One of the top families in the country. The school leaders can't sit still, if they can get on good terms with such a family, the future is limitless. As expected of SSS rank, even attracting such a character, it's a meteoric rise. What's there to hesitate about, just form the contract. But before Bai Chin can make a choice, a flash of cold light arrives, a flying sword suddenly blocking his front. Transforming into a graceful beauty, unexpectedly it's the extremely rare sword spirit girl. Long Jiao Jiao, this is Jianzhou not Dragon City, don't be arrogant. Only now can everyone see the new arrival's appearance. Her appearance is sculpted like pink jade, simply unworldly, too beautiful. Especially that transcendent temperament, it's fascinating. Even the school bell Chu Yulan looks plain before her. Nangong Qin Shui, Jiangzhou's number one beauty, Miss Nangong Qin Jin, never expected to see you in person. Ah too beautiful, don't tell me this goddess wants to form a contract with Bai Chen too. Oh, I'm so jealous. Nangong Qin Shui's appearance causes a commotion on par with Long Jiao Jiao's. But this still isn't the end. A golden giant eagle like a golden lightning bolt instantly appears above the school field from the distant horizon. A lavishly dressed rabbit girl steps down from the eagle's back. The rabbit girl looks average in talent, seemingly lacking competitive power. But no one dares look down on her, because her next words make everyone present stare dumbfounded. I'm investing 100 billion to directly buy your school, and provide 100 white beast souls to everyone present. Does anyone still want to compete with me? Instant silence, in the face of money power, everything else looks pale. 100 billion, do you know what concept that is? It's enough to buy half of Qingjiang County, plus 100 white beast souls. Enough for everyone to raise their level 3 to 4 levels. And completely risk free, simply inhumane. And this is just the benefits for bystanders. For Bai Chen as the protagonist, how extravagant would it be? Simply unimaginable. This is naked sponsorship. If I can snag a sugar mommy like this, I'd be set for life. Who is it, talking so arrogantly? You don't even recognize her? Zhangzhou's richest heiress, Chang Yu. 
Damn no wonder she's so arrogant, I saw a news story a while ago. I heard Jiangzhou's richest daughter awakened as an F-rank white rabbit, but she had long wailed to B-rank moonlight jade rabbit. Look at her bodyguards, their auras are stronger than our principal, at least bronze rank beast girls. Money really is almighty, I wanna experience being a kept man too. Chang Yu's appearance causes another uproar. The mighty dragon race. Zhangzhou's number one beauty, Zhangzhou's richest heiress, either one is in top tier choice. Compared to them even the school bell is just a sidekick. In this situation, even the school leaders don't know who to pick, but this is just the beginning. Next the school leaders' phones never stop ringing, all kinds of top brass and rich people are contacting them through various means. Moreover, it's said countless more forces are rushing over, with just one purpose, to form a contract with Bai Chen. If all these big shots gather at Qingzhang High, they could stampede the school gates. By then no matter who Bai Chen picks, he'll offend the others. What started as a good thing may end badly. Thinking of this, Principal Lu Fong panics. Finally he resolutely turns off his phone and opens the contract array. He wants Bai Chen to form a contract first to reduce offended parties. Normally, awakened beast girls and masters will spend a week getting to know each other before opening the contract array. But right now Lu Fong can't be bothered with all that. For Bai Chen, this super SSS rank genius, all roles can be changed. The choice is now entirely in Bai Chen's hands. At the same time, the system gives options. Option 1 Long Jiao Jiao Reward, Undying Gold Spear. Option 2 Nan Gong Qian Shui Reward, Level Plus 10. Option 3 Chang Yu Reward, 100 Billion Money. Option 4 Black Cat Reward, Mysterious Grand Prize, Plus 100 Free Attribute Points. The first three options, both the Beast Girls and Rewards, are extremely enticing. Even the school bell Chu Yulan doesn't qualify to appear. But what the hell is the fourth option, Black Cat? The Black Cat is the one Bai Chen has been holding all this time. It appeared three days ago after Bai Chen transmigrated. But it's just an ordinary pet cat, not a beast girl at all. How to form a contract? Young man, you actually chose to contract an ordinary pet cat. When Bai Chen announces this decision, everyone is dumbfounded. I'm offering 100 billion and you treat me like air, deciding to contract a cat instead? Chang Yu rages. As Jiang Zhou's richest daughter, nothing has ever been out of her reach. Yet today she took the initiative to pursue someone, only to be rejected. And he chose a cat instead, not even a beast girl, but a mere pet. Even unwanted f rank beast masters would at least pick combat pets like hounds or hawks. You're an SSS rank beast master, faced with so many rich, beautiful, and powerful beast girls. Yet you pick a pet cat, is this an insult? Forget Cheng Yu. Even Long Jiao Jiao and Nan Gong Chen Shui are extremely angry. Are they, daughters of heaven, inferior to a cat? Ai Chen, think carefully. As principal, Lu Fang really can't watch this anymore and hurriedly tries to dissuade him. But Bai Chen is determined and completely ignores the advice. Directly holding the black cat, he strides into the contract array. Amidst everyone's dumbfounded gaze, rays of light flow. The black cat suddenly transforms into a human and pounces on the stunned Bai Chen. Bai Chen, you actually treated me like a real cat, always petting me and forcing me to eat dried fish. I'll bite you to death. The beauty the black cat transformed into pounces on Bai Chen, scratching and tickling him. Bai Chen forcibly presses down her head, his expression extremely complicated. Zhao Meng, my luck is terrible across eight lifetimes, never expected to still run into you after transmigrating. Turns out the so-called mysterious grand prize is her. That's right, the black cat is Bai Chen's childhood friend Zhao Meng. The two grew up together and were childhood sweethearts, though different from normal childhood sweethearts. These two would start fighting as soon as they met. They never got along well. Right before transmigrating the two were fighting. I'm the one with terrible luck across eight lifetimes, to actually get brought along transmigrating with you. Relying on the beast girl's power and talents, plus the massive stat boosts from contracting an SSS rank beast master, Zhao Meng's strength far exceeds Bai Chen's. She forcibly pushes away Bai Chen's hand and continues scratching him. Crap, Bai Chen suddenly remembers that in this world, males are support while females are the fighting force. Previously his greater strength as a male allowed him to bully Zhao Meng. But now that she's a beast girl, what can he do? Bai Chen hurriedly goes to check Zhao Meng's attributes. Name, Zhao Meng, talent, night cat demon, level. Strength, 60, agility, 80, vitality, 40, energy, 20, beast master, Bai Chen. Skill 1, super smell, greatly increases sense of smell. Skill 2, swift pounce, suddenly pounce at the enemy to deal huge damage. Skill 3, Toxic Claws, attacks contain potent poison, continuously reducing target status. Damn, can't beat her at all, strength difference is huge. 
plus beast masters grow mostly by increasing energy, other attributes have little growth. No way, no way. Bai Qin decides from now on he'll be a beast master who focuses on strength. If not for anything else than to be able to beat Zhao Meng. It just so happened that after the contract was successful, the system also rewarded an additional 100 points of free attributes. People gave it to strength, with 110 points of strength, who would be afraid, as for the main attributes of the beast master's experience. Who cares about him? After strengthening strength, Bai Chen suddenly turned over the peasant and sang the song upside down and wrote on Zhao Meng. It has to be said that after Zhao Meng traveled, he became a cat girl, and he was indeed much cuter, but Bai Chen ignored it all, there was no way because it was too familiar. Zhao Meng also refused to show weakness. Using the comprehensive physical fitness of the beast girl, especially the ultra-high agility, she flexibly wrestled with Bai Chen. This time, the battle was earth-shattering. After all, the physique of the two has increased by more than 10 times that of normal people. With a claw down, it can scratch four holes in the cement ground. The tearing of the two almost dismantled the contract formation. But the people around seemed to have heard some incredible information. What kind of crossing is crossing? The two who were fighting stiffened at the same time. Things like crossing must not be known to the natives, otherwise who knows if it is being sliced for research, or suffer other torture and interrogation. At this time, the system options appeared again. Option 1 self-destructed my identity and didn't pretend anymore. I am a crosser. Reward for completing the song The Lone Ranger. Option 2 pretend to be stupid and rush. What crossing do I know? You must have misheard it. Reward for completing an invisibility fruit. Option 3 force the king to possess. I, Bai Chen, have never had to explain my actions to others in my life. Reward for completing strength time. After seeing the reward, Bai Chen made a choice without hesitation, mainly looking at the strength bonus. I saw Bai Chen turn his back to everyone, his hands stretched out, his eyes proud and staring at the sky. I, Bai Chen, have never had to explain my actions to others in my life. Congratulations to the host for successful pretentiousness, reward strength time, considering that the host perfectly completed the task. Additionally reward beast strength time. Damn, the system is so pitted. Just when I was about to gain the upper hand, this made it evenly matched again. But it can't be changed anymore. Mang was delighted to see her strength increase again. She also asked, why did you add strength again? Did you awaken the strongest pretentious system? Good guys, it's not for nothing that they crossed over together. They even know the system. The conversation between the two once again made the crowd stunned. Seeing that Bai Chen had already signed a contract with a black cat and turned him into a beast bird. Everyone can only sigh that it is indeed SSS level beast master, too powerful. Chang Yu angrily rode the elite and left directly, and she really couldn't stand it. Lan Gongxian found Principal Lu Fang and said he wanted to transfer to Qingjiang Middle School. Because he understands investment. Long Chao Chao suppressed her anger. I have to pull Bai Chen to the alien space to level up. It is very difficult to contract the second beast girl. One of the necessary conditions is to become a black iron beast master. As a result, Long Chao Chao, who is known for her strength as a dragon clan beast, could not pull. Even without contracting with the beast master, the basic strength has reached 50 points. I can't even pull a beast master. Is this the powerfulness of the SSS level beast master? You wouldn't be a beast master with strength growth talent, would you? Although most beast masters are experienced growth, there are indeed some freaks that grow in other attributes, in other words, they grow crooked. You're so smart, you guessed it all, Bai Chen nodded proudly. Long Chao Chao was completely speechless, what's so proud of this, don't you know it's all crooked? The more experience will affect the strength of the beast master's skills. And each skill consumes a lot of energy. If a beast master does not increase energy, it is completely useless, even if it is SSS level beast master. Thinking of this, Long Chao Chao angrily turned into a dragon and flew away. After all, in his opinion, Bai Chen no longer has any investment value. The other beast girls don't care about these things. Seeing the three top beast girls giving up their positions, they seem to see opportunities again. Especially the class flower Yi Wu, he did not believe that Bai Chen, who had licked him for three years, would suddenly change. At worst, just be Bai Chen's mount and let him take advantage of it. It's unbelievable that he won't want it when it's delivered to the door. After making up his mind, Yi Wu added his voice and tried to get close to Bai Chen again. But Yi Wu is not the only one who wants Bai Chen to take advantage. School flower Chu Yulan has the same idea. What's more, Chu Yulan is a sea level flying beast, more suitable as a mount. In front of Chu Yulan, Yi Wu didn't stand a chance at all, inferior in every aspect. And in front of Nan Gong Qianxue, the number one beauty in Jiangzhou, neither of them was good enough. 
That's right, Lan Gong Qianxuet is also ready to start from the mount and get closer to Bai Chen slowly. He is an extremely rare sword spirit girl, also awakened the flying sword skill, which can be called the best mount. What man doesn't like riding a flying sword, and as a first level sword spirit, Nan Gong Qianxuet is far more than just a mount. His own attack power is also very powerful wind sharp skills, can also increase damage. It has to be said that Nan Gong Qianxue is really versatile, much larger pattern than Long Chao Chao and Cheng Yu. This situation made the boys jealous, especially Gong Sun Outian, who was the student council president of Qingjiang Middle School, tall and handsome, had always been the god in the eyes of the girls. It is the existence of many stars worshipping the moon. Today, he also broke the school record and awakened as a B-level beast master and should have received everyone's attention. But all the glory that should have belonged to him was taken away by Bai Chen. This made him hate Bai Chen so much. I want to challenge you. Gong Sun Outian, who was neglected, issued an angry challenge to Bai Chen, who was surrounded by beauties. Gong Sun Outian was not completely impulsive. Everyone had just awakened, and the influence of talent level was at its lowest. On the contrary, the category of contracted beast girls was more important. Bai Chen's contracted beast girl was a pet cat. Even if it was upgraded to S-level combat power, it would probably still be average. He has a full chance to crush Bai Chen and regain his glory. Because he had just made an appointment for Qingjiang Middle School's strongest beast girl, C-level Berserk King Kong. Don't doubt that King Kong is the name of this beast girl. Although this Berserk Dragon beast girl is taller than Gong Sun Outian. It's also sturdy, but it's okay. Berserk after all has the bloodline of the Dragon Clan, no matter how extremely thin. It's not what ordinary beast girls can compare to, let alone a pet cat beast girl. As long as the strength is strong enough, the image does not matter at all. As long as he can crush Bai Chen, no matter how much sacrifice Gong Sun Outman will make, it is worth it. However, Bai Chen in the Sea of Flowers was enjoying the tenderness of various beauties, and was unwilling to pay attention to this guy. At this time, the super selection system appeared again. Option 1 is not a challenge to continue enjoying the tenderness of the beauties and completing the reward. The chance of conceiving male creatures increases by 20%. Option 2 accept the challenge and assist Zhao Meng in defeating Gong Sun Outian's Berserk Dragon Beast Girl, complete reward. Experience time. Option 3 accept the challenge and rely on your own strength. Defeat Gong Sun Outian's Berserk Dragon Beast Girl, complete reward. Strength time. Bai Chen instantly locked in the option. A real man must choose strength. With an additional 10 points of strength, Bai Chen could steadily suppress Gong Sun Outian. What else is there to hesitate about, just do it. Bai Chen accepts your challenge. Bai Chen crossed the beauties and hooked his finger at Gong Sun Outian, come here. The arrogant Gong Sun Outian was furious and signaled King Kong to transform. Only then did King Kong reluctantly put down Gong Sun Outian in his arms. After wiping his mouth, he walked towards Bai Chen with a handsome pace. It was only then that everyone noticed that Gong Sun Outian, the former male god, in order to pursue strength. He had actually pretended to be the berserk dragon beast girl, which was simply appalling. However, when King Kong transformed into a berserk dragon, no one dared to underestimate him anymore. With a height of 3 meters and a weight of 2 tons, his mouth was full of fangs. It gives people tremendous pressure. This is just an immature body. Once mature, berserk dragons can have a height of 15 meters and a weight of 10 tons. Absolutely tank level existence. It is worthy of being the strongest beast in Xinjiang Middle School. Can Bai Chen's pet cat withstand such an attack? Everyone has doubts. Even if it is SSS given to the beast lion, what can it do? The battle ultimately depends on the beast girl. Bai Chen, let out your little kitten, I want to crush it with one foot. After King Kong transformed into Berserk Dragon, his confidence exploded. However, the little kitten did not come out, but Bai Chen himself stood up. What is Bai Chen doing? He can't be going to do it himself. How is that possible? I've never heard of a beast doing the fighting itself. Even if it is an SSS level beast master, it is impossible to be an opponent of the lowest level beast girl. Is Bai Chen crazy? Amid everyone's doubts, Bai Chen calmly walked towards the berserker. The berserk dragon also tilted his huge head, equally confused. This really made him at a loss. It's enough to defeat you, Bai Chen stood with his hands behind his back, looking down on the berserk dragon with contempt. The berserk dragon was furious and kicked Bai Chen directly regardless of anything else. After successful contract, the berserk dragon beast girl has a full 80 points of strength. Even a small sedan can be crushed with one foot. If stepped on a person, it would probably be a bunch of mosaic. Be careful. Lu Fang was shocked and turned into a tiger to rush towards. Xinjiang Middle School finally got an SSS and was about to thrive. 
If he hadn't blossomed before being trampled to death by a berserker, he as the principal would really cry to death. But after all, the distance is too far. Even if the beast master behind him immediately gave him a breeze, it was still too late. The terrifying feet of the berserk dragon slammed towards Bai Chen like a giant hammer. The girl screamed and couldn't bear to look straight. Gong Sun Outian was excited and laughed. Finally, he was about to regain his glory. However, the imagined mosaic did not appear, and the feet of the berserker did not step down at all. Bai Chen actually held up the berserk dragon with one hand. This is the berserk dragon known for its strength. Is it reasonable for a beast master to hold up a berserker with one hand? But this is not the end. I saw Bai Chen grab the berserk dragon's big feet, suddenly twisted his body. He actually slammed the two ton berserk dragon directly to the ground, dust flying. The cement ground of the playground was smashed into a big pit. After reversing and twisting his body, he slammed the berserker towards the other side. Another big pit appeared again. Bai Chen just threw the huge berserk dragon around like a toy. Until the berserk dragon spit out blood and finally fainted before finally stopping. Suddenly, in the long silence, a beast master, everyone's impression of the weak beast master, directly beat up a berserker as a toy, this is too subversive, simply unimaginable. Gone son arrogant, even the auxiliary skills were forgotten in shock. He has minor injury healing skills and even strength boosts, but the inexperienced him forgot all about it. In everyone's shock, Bai Chen happily harvested another 10 points of strength. Now I can finally bully Zhao Ming with confidence. Bai Chen's victory did not excite Lu Fan and the others, but was full of worry. A beastmaster who doesn't properly increase his energy and instead plays violence. Principal Lu Fan returned to human form. Sighed. Facing Bai Chen's old class teacher, he said, This is your student. You have to teach well. After all the awakenings were completed, the class officially began. However, due to Bai Chen's extraordinary performance, there were some twists and turns. A large number of transfers for the SSS Urgent Beastmaster Bai Chen, including Nan Gong Qin Shui. These people either have power or money, and Qingjiang Middle School can't afford to offend them. Principal Lu Fang had no choice. Simply arranged them all together and set up a unique class called Bai Chen class. A full 39 female students with only one male student Bai Chen. And these girls are all desperately releasing their charm, trying to seduce Bai Chen, making Bai Chen feel like visiting a brothel every time he goes to class. The feeling of the green building. When the likes of Bai Chen couldn't hold it, he decided to ask for leave to go to the alien space to kill monsters and upgrade. At first, the old class teacher Li Ku disagreed. But Nan Gong Qin Shua also said yes. Classmate Li Ku immediately agreed. It's not that Nan Gong Qin Shua is so powerful, but his Nan Gong family behind will definitely protect secretly. Buying equipment before departure. Nan Gong Qin Shua informed that there is only one alien space in Xinjiang County. That is the green grassland. Zhao Meng immediately clamored to buy some sunscreen, because the grassland has no shelter. Bai Chen next to him sneered, You are a black cat, and so black, are you still afraid of tanning? Otherwise buy some barbecue grill and barbecue supplies, there must be sheep on the grassland, catch the lazy sheep over and roast the whole sheep, the guy roasted crispy and oily must be delicious. Nan Gong Qin Shue really couldn't stand to see it. There are no sheep on the green grassland. After the purchase was completed, the three of them took the bus to Qingqing Grassland. Although Nangong Qinshua can transform into a giant sword and take them to fly, there is no need to waste energy on rushing like this before the battle. As soon as the three got on the bus, it immediately attracted a sensation, let alone two beauties, by Chen's handsomeness. It also made the beast girls in the car bloom. A cute little beauty in a white school uniform enthusiastically greeted, Are you guys also going to the green grasslands to kill monsters and upgrade? We can team up. As soon as Bai Chen saw the other party's girlishness, almost bursting out of her school uniform, she immediately agreed. Other beast girls were also excited when they heard the words, and they all came up to ask to team up. In the end, they formed a team of seven. Girlishness tutorial. Far away awakened a B-level golden armor element. Strength and defense are very strong. Also with his own beast master Wang Wanli. Sun Kai is a C-level eagle and is also a cute girl. After hugeization, it can carry three or four people flying at a time. The main attack method is wind blade. But in front of Zhao Meng and Nan Gong Qianxue, none of them are enough. One is S-level Night Cat Demon and the other is A-level Sword Spirit. In a small place like Qingjiang County, it is the top of the pyramid. It wasn't until then that Cheng Yuan Yuan finally reacted to Bai Chen's identity. Sensational, the SSS anxious force of Qingjiang County turned out to be right in front of him. Chang Yuan Yuan and Sun Kai both have little stars in their eyes, 
behaving more enthusiastically. Soon the bus stopped at an ancient town. The town is shrouded in a gauzy atmosphere, with armed soldiers everywhere, and powerful beast girls patrolling. When Bai Chen and his party pass through the teleportation array, the terrain of Qingqing grassland is as its name implies, endless green grasslands. But there was no sheep village that Bai Chen was looking forward to. The dream of eating roast lazy sheep was completely shattered. It's just that the green grass is half a person taller. I don't know what kind of danger is lurking below. The beast girls took the lead in exploring. Keep the two beast masters firmly protected behind. The huge golden armor Yuan dances in the air. So no matter how tall the weeds are, they cannot block their figure. The eagle consumes too much flying. So they are not transformed in non-combat states. The dark knight cat demon is just a circle bigger than an ordinary cat, barely reaching the human knee. Once it falls into the grass, it disappears completely. Bai Chen, hurry up and learn a huge skill. I want to be taller than Ultraman. The Dark Knight cat demon meowed in chaos. The milky voice has no deterrent at all. Is this really an S-level beast girl? Chung Yuan Yuan and Sun Kai looked at each other, thinking of retreating, but it was too late. The bushes ahead suddenly shook. The Dark Knight cat demon shuddered, jumped onto Bai Chen's shoulder. The field of vision suddenly opened up a lot. Wow, such a big rabbit, I have to make spicy rabbit heads and take up a whole wave. After saying that, the Dark Knight Cat Demon rushed forward. Be careful, it's a long-toothed rabbit, its teeth are extremely sharp. One bite can snap a person's thigh. Cheng Yuan reminded hurriedly. Before he finished speaking, Zhao Meng holding the smashed head of the long-toothed rabbit returned to the camp. Sorry, I didn't grasp the strength. This big rabbit's head was smashed by me. I can't eat spicy rabbit head anymore. Meng threw it away with regret, and then looked at Chun Yuan Yuan again, what did you just say? Chun Yuan Yuan looked embarrassed, nothing. Everyone went further. It's already some distance from the town, and the types of alien beasts are gradually increasing. Wow, what a big herd of cows. Dark Knight Cat Demon standing on by Chen's shoulder yelled. Those are giant hoof brutes, extremely strong with great temper, and they live in herds. Let's avoid them, said Chun Yuan Yuan, but it was too late. Dark Knight Cat Demon had already dashed very far. Even Bai Chen chased after. A beast girl rushing to the front line is one thing, but why did you, a beast master, also charge so far ahead? Chung Yuan Yuan complained while chasing after them, but the scene before him overturned his perceptions again. He saw Dark Knight Cat Demon, with the buff from Wardrum, had a huge boost in stats, moving agilely unlike before. Jumping around on the giant horned brute's backs, seized the chance to scratch their throats, then jumped to another brute. Behind her small figure, several brutes already lay defeated. After all, she was an S-rank beast girl with aid from an SSS-rank beast warrior. Such prowess was understandable. But Bai Chen had also rushed into the brute herd, grabbing two massive horns, and flipped the thousand-pound brute over. Then punched it to death randomly, a beastmaster beating a giant horned brute to death with fists, is this reasonable? It made Chung Yuan Yuan lose confidence, were his mom's words about giant horned brutes being formidable fake? So Chang Yuan Yuan's golden armor spirit, with Wang Wanli's power boost, swung its iron fists and charged forward. With a muffled dong sound, the brute only stepped back slightly. But the golden armor spirit was sent flying far away, nearly shattering its bones. Wang Wanli quickly casted a heal. Only then could the golden armor spirit recover and continue charging. Big Eagle coordinated with golden armor spirit, cutting a path through the giant horned brute's body. Deep wounds on the body of the giant horned savage bull. With their tireless efforts, the two of them finally put down a giant horned savage bull. The two couldn't help but celebrate, but when they returned their attention to the battlefield, they realized that dozens of giant horned male birds were lying around them. At this moment, Bai Chen was holding a long sword in his hand, or Nangong Qianxua to be exact, and kept charging and killing. He was even more ferocious than the Dark Knight Cat Demon. It turned out that Nangong Qianxua, as a sword spirit, needed to consume a lot of energy every time she attacked, and after a few attacks, she was exhausted. It just so happened that Bai Chen's fist was too inefficient, so he simply held the sword spirit that Nangong Qianxua had transformed into in his hand. Suddenly being held in someone's hand, Nangong Qianxua still felt awkward. But the effect is really strong, Bai Chen's power with the sword spirit of the wind sharp, can be called God Block Kill God Block Kill Buddha. When Bai Chen was killing, he even licked the sword with his tongue from time to time. Nangong Qianxua unexpectedly enjoyed it. On the other hand, on Chang Yuan Yuan and Sun Xi's side, their perceptions have been completely turned upside down. The member members were even about to cry out from the blow, and a few days ago, they even became the history of Qin Zhang No. One Middle School.
The other day, she became the first B-class beast bird in the history of Qinjiang No. 1 high school, but she's nothing compared to them. Suddenly, a bull roar resounded through the entire ocean, followed by a drum-like thud from the earth. Chang Yuan Yuan looked up in shock, only to see a golden giant. It was charging towards the crowd like a tree on a mountain. It was the golden brute, the leader of the beasts. Chang Yuan Yuan instantly recognized the Laiwu. She was so shocked that she could hardly move her feet, it was too powerful for human power to fight against. At least not one that a trainee beast woman like them can fight. Seeing this, the big eagle immediately became huge, trying to take Chung Yuan Yuan up into the air. This was Sun Xi's purpose in following Chung Yuan Yuan, to protect her and to take her away with the advantage of flying at all times. However, Chung Yuan Yuan refused, she couldn't leave her teammates to escape alone. Chung Yuan Yuan resolutely summoned her golden armor. Waving her golden fists, she rushed up. She tried to lure away the savage bull and stall for time for Bai Chin and the dark cat demon in the battle. If Bai Chen was allowed to be attacked from the back, even if he was SSS eager to take the momentum, I'm afraid his life would be in danger. However, in front of the terrifying golden savage bull, the armorer was simply not enough. He was directly sent flying dozens of meters away. The occupant only felt as if he had been hit head-on by a speeding truck. His entire body was almost smashed into pieces. Luckily, he used his defense skills in advance, or else he would have died just now. A terrifying aura flashed behind him, Zhang Yuan Yuan's mom, Xie Suya, the principal of the first middle school. Although she is a black iron level beast mother, she said that she agreed to her daughter to come to the beast space to practice, but as a parent how can be assured? That's why the black iron beast maiden hid her identity and secretly came to the primary beast space. At this time, Xie Suya finally couldn't help herself. She transformed into a Xin Bing Ling Yuan and was ready to strike. The leader level beasts were not something that a few different level beast maidens could fight against. However, Siasuya was blocked by a pitch black dagger, and the aura was much stronger than Siasuya's. It's the comfort of the Nangong family. Why are you blocking me? Siasuya's face was anxious. Chung Yuan Yuan once again crashed out. The golden armor Amin faded a lot. I'm afraid that it most can still support once the golden savage bull's charge. And then look at the black dagger rigorously a memories of the time. If we wait any longer, my daughter's life will be in danger. Seeing her daughter in such danger, Xie Suya can't wait any longer. With me, there will be no danger. The black dagger's confidence gave Xie Suya a hint of comfort. By this time, Bai Chen had already noticed the golden brute bull and had detected the other party's information. Species golden brute level 3 leader. Strength 150 agility 50 physique 100 energy 20. Skills charge trample. Smacking character anger weakness fear of fire soft abdomen. As expected of an alpha level beast, all its attributes were far superior to those of a similar level beast girl. Not to mention the gap beast maiden, even a black iron beast maiden would have to work very hard to face such an alpha beast. I don't think she'll last long in her condition. Next time, I'll charge Zhao Ming to help, and I'll take care of the last soft-footed eels. The boss's weakness is in the abdomen, Bai Chin completed the arrangement as fast as possible. By the way, he put on the dark cat demon's beast spirit armor. Otherwise, with a small body like the dark cat demon, I'm afraid that if the golden brute stepped on it, it would turn into a mosaic. The night cat demon let out a meow and pounced on the golden brute bull. As a result, the skin of the golden savage bull was much tougher than what the dark cat demon thought. With his terrifying attack power, he could only barely make a cut. He didn't even bleed. And the wound is healing at a very fast speed, the skin is thick, the defense is high and the recovery is fast. Worthy of being a leader in beasts are not generally difficult to deal with. On the contrary, the golden bull's long tail. Like a whip, it directly sent the night cat demon flying. Luckily, Bai Chen had put on his beast spirit armor. Otherwise, just that tail whip would have killed the night cat demon. With a roar, the dark night cat demon pounced again, and at the same time, he thought of Bai Chen's explanation that his weakness was in his abdomen. Swift and sudden strike, the longest poisonous strike. Cold-blooded hit, the abdomen of the golden brute is really much softer there. The claws of the cat in the middle of the night finally saw blood, still black blood. The pain is so great that the golden bull is almost crazy. Running with a back kick. Like a knave, it kicked the midnight cat demon out of the air. At the same time, due to the violent movement, the wound on the abdomen was even bigger. The poison prevented the wound from healing and caused the golden bull to fall into a weakened state. Well done, Bai Chen chopped off the head of the last, the head of the last giant-footed brute, and finally found time to return to the original. It's the golden brute's hatred. It's locked onto the night cat demon. He couldn't accept being hurt by such a little guy. 
he must trample this little guy into mush. Dark Cat Demon, with the super sensitivity brought about by doubling its attributes, nimbly dodged the Golden Brute's attacks, but because he was always facing the Golden Bull, he lost the opportunity to sneak attack him. But there was still Bai Chen, who seized the opportunity and suddenly stabbed out a sword from behind the Golden Brute Bull's buttocks. Spirit of the Wind Sharp directly to the end of the sword, but it was a heifer. The Golden Bull screamed miserably. It's really sad to hear and sad to see, it's so miserable. Nangong Chinchua also realized that she had stabbed it, so she flew out in a hurry. The blood soared more than 10 meters. This is really bad bull, this time directly to the Golden Savage Bull to the hole ready. Only to see his face grudgingly look at Bai Yi, slowly fell down, although a moment is not dead, but also lost the desire to fight. Bai Chin summoned Nangong Chenshua to come down, wanting to give the Golden Brute Bull a hard time. As a result, Nangong Chenshua refused to come down. She even rushed directly to the creek not far away, desperately scrubbing her fitness. That hit just now was really sick. Nangong Chishua's innocence was almost overshadowed by it. But Suzuki didn't care about that, he took this opportunity to pounce and unleashed. He opened the door for the Golden Bull. The Golden Brute closed its eyes in relief. A few level 1 beast men and beast women actually killed the level 3 leader and the beast. Not only did Chun Yuan Yuan, Sun Shi and the others stare in shock. Even Xia Su, Ye, and Black Dagger who were hiding not far away were amazed, it was unbelievable. Quickly clearing the battlefield, this time it was Bai Chen who was the first to react. Because the super choice system appeared again. Option 1, roast a whole cow on the spot and share your cooking skills with the prairie hounds. Completion rewards a title in the grassland. The effect of wearing it is a 50% increase in status on the green grasslands. Option 2, leave quickly. Reward your agility with an extra hour. Option 3, fight with the hounds and kill them all. The reward for completing the task is 100% increase in all attributes. Grassland hounds seeing this name, Bai Chen only felt a blow to his lower body. Tao Dang's name is like a thunderclap. Bai Chen wasn't afraid of the grassland hounds, but he was afraid of meeting these disgusting guys. It seems the smell of blood attracted them here. Others may not understand, but they also understand that the smell of blood here is too strong, and it will definitely attract carnivorous animals. It's really not something they can deal with. So one by one, they quickly collected all the beast soul beads. There were a total of 10. It has to be said that the drop rate of the giant horn barbarian bull is quite high. Not only that, but a beast spirit bead also dropped from the golden barbarian bull. Chung Yuan Yuan also took a drop of golden blood from its heart. As for the beef, there was no time to harvest it. The surrounding area was already filled with drooling grassland hyenas. To the west, Shu Gu. It seems that the grassland hyenas want to wipe out all of them. Ao. With the command of the hyena leader, several hyenas immediately targeted the lower bodies of the people and rushed towards them. Sure enough, the crotch-grabbing brother once again performed their unique skill. Run. Bai Chin didn't hesitate at all. He held the Dark Knight Ket Demon and mounted the Sword Spirit, swiftly leaving. Fortunately, Nangong Chenshui came out of the shadow just in time. Otherwise, this time, Bai Chen would really have to say goodbye to his brothers. On the other side, the giant eagle also enlarged in time, carrying the others and soaring into the sky. The grassland hyenas missed their target and could only reluctantly enjoy a feast of dozens of pieces of beef. Xie Suyan and the Black Dagger both breathed a sigh of relief at the same time. Even they couldn't guarantee that they could protect everyone in the hyena pack. A slight mistake could lead to someone being left behind. Besides, they didn't want to face these disgusting creatures. The tragic scenes of the past were still vivid in their minds. Fortunately, these young people were adaptable and not arrogant about their talents. When faced with an unsolvable danger, they turned and ran, showing great situational awareness. Bai Chen and the others flew several kilometers away in a row before finally stopping. After all, their levels were too low, and they were all still immature. Whether it was the sword spirit or the giant eagle, they couldn't carry people for a long time. Finally, it was time to divide the spoils. The giant horned barbarian bull we killed, I saw it. There were no beast soul beads, so we won't divide them. Chung Yuan Yuan refused to take a share. But Bai Chen considered that she had restrained the golden barbarian bull and almost died, it was unfair not to give her any spoils. Then, give her one. Bai Chen reluctantly gave Chung Yuan Yuan a beast soul bead. Um, Bai Chen, can I ask you for a favor? Chung Yuan Yuan casually took the beast soul bead and threw it into her pocket without even looking at it. Then she looked at Bai Chen with a burning gaze. What do you want? Let me make it clear, it's impossible for you to possess me. Seeing Chun Yuan Yuan's passionate eyes, Bai Chen immediately made his position clear. 
As a man, he had to be reserved and couldn't easily agree to a woman's pursuit. Even if she was a school beauty, even if her mother was the principal, even if she was a D, it was still not possible. No, no. I just want to buy that drop of golden blood from you. Cheng Yuan Yuan quickly stated her intention. Bai Chen finally breathed a sigh of relief. He almost lost his virginity. What's the price? Bai Chen asked. One million Hua coins. Cheng Yuan Yuan immediately quoted a terrifying number. Bai Chen's eyes widened at the words. Deal. Without any hesitation, Bai Chen agreed. Whether in his previous life or this life, he had never seen one million. Just for a drop of blood, it was worth so much money. What was there to hesitate about? Bai Chen also used his true vision eye to investigate the effect of that drop of golden blood. Golden blood can enhance the golden bloodline of a golden creature by zero. One percent. Looking at Cheng Yuan Yuan, there was indeed a note in her attributes, golden bloodline zero. One percent. With this drop of golden blood, the giant horn barbarian bull evolved into a golden barbarian bull, and Cheng Yuan Yuan became a B-grade golden armored ape. It seems that this golden bloodline is an extraordinary thing. It's not even mentioned in textbooks. But Bai Chin didn't care, what he cared about was money. There was no other way. He was just too poor. And then, there was also a nearly transparent beast spirit bead. Inside, it seems like a small golden wild bull is sealed, vivid and lifelike. Inside the beast spirit pearl, the seal thing is the skill of a strange beast. After consuming it, there is a certain chance of obtaining one of the skills of that strange beast. The three skills of the golden wild bull are charge, trample, and whip. Neither Zhao Meng nor Nangong Chenshua could use them. Instead, it was the power type Chun Yuan Yuan who was the most suitable. Little rich lady, oh no, Yuan Yuan, do you want this? Bai Chen asked, shaking the beast spirit pearl. Can you sell it to me? I'll offer 100,000. Chun Yuan Yuan, being a little rich lady, immediately offered a price that Bai Chen couldn't refuse. For low-level beast spirit pearls like this, the probability of comprehending skills is very low. Not to mention the interference of chaotic skills like whipping. The main function is that the contained energy is relatively high. Being able to sell it for 100,000 is already very good. Bai Chen once again decisively agreed to sell it. With the one from the previous Fangtooth Rabbit, Bai Chen now has 10 White Beast Soul Pearls in his hand. It just so happens that Zhao Meng and Nangong Qianxue each have 5. Nangong Qianxue, however, did not accept. Give it to Meng Meng first, this way you guys will have a chance to advance to level 2, which will be a greater help in future battles. This is indeed the best choice. It has to be said that Nangong Chenshua's vision is really high. Bai Chen also didn't hesitate and gave it to Zhao Meng first. As an S-level beast girl, her absorption rate is very high. After consuming only 8, she successfully advanced to level 2. All aspects of her attributes have greatly increased, and her strength has almost doubled. The feedback energy also helped Bai Chen advance to level 2. Strength, agility, and physique all increased by 10 points, and mental energy increased by 100 points. The most obvious effect is that the dimensional space has doubled. More treasures can be stuffed in. Alright, take a break. Let's have a camping barbecue. To celebrate advancing to level 2, Bai Chen started to take things out of the dimensional space. Chili peppers, cumin, barbecue grill. Everything is ready. Zhao Meng transformed into a dark knight cat demon and quickly caught a fangtooth rabbit from the grassland. Everyone looked at Bai Chen with anticipation. After going through several difficult battles and traveling a long way, if they could have a small barbecue, they would definitely feel full of happiness and their energy would recover quickly. Suddenly, Bai Chen was stunned. What's wrong? Hurry up and start grilling. Zhao Meng urged anxiously, her saliva almost dripping to the ground. She had been looking forward to the barbecue since they entered the grassland. Um, did you bring fire? Bai Chen scratched his head awkwardly. Do I look like I brought fire? Zhao Meng patted her small skirt, which didn't even have pockets. Hey, buddy, do you have fire? Bai Chen looked at Wang Wanli again. Wang Wanli shook his head and calmly took out dry rations from his backpack and started munching on them. I knew it. He's not reliable at all. As a result, Bai Chen and the others were in an awkward situation. They couldn't just eat raw rabbit meat. There were still some potato chips and cola in the dimensional space, but those were just snacks and wouldn't fill them up. Finally, Bai Chen looked at the encyclopedia Chang Yuan Yuan. Are there any fire-type strange beasts in the grassland? Chung Yuan Yuan answered without hesitation. Yes. The most common one is the earth fire mouse. Bai Chen's eyes lit up at her words. Catch a mouse? Meng, this is your specialty. You're the cat here. I'll scratch you to death. 
Seeing that the two of them were about to fight again, Nangong Qianxue, who was already used to it, calmly stood in between them. Don't you guys want to eat barbecue? Yes, they both said in unison. Then let's go find the Earth Fire Mouse. Nangong Qianxue waved her small hand. Zhao Meng immediately transformed into a dark night cat demon, sniffed the air, and quickly detected the scent of the mouse. With a pounce, she immediately caught it. The Earth Fire Mouse is similar to the Fangtooth Rabbit, both being the lowest level strange beasts in the grassland. Compared to Zhao Meng, its strength is several times weaker and it has no resistance at all the only attack power is fire breathing. The damage is quite limited. But as a fire for barbecue, it's enough. Just when Baichen didn't even bring charcoal, and there were no trees on the grassland, the fire breathing skill of the earth fire mouse was perfect. Come on, breathe fire. Baichen pointed at the barbecue grill and commanded. However, the earth fire mouse just squeaked and remained indifferent. Don't understand human language, huh? Baichen immediately scolded. The earth fire mouse angrily spewed out a burst of flames. Baichen happily flipped the roasted rabbit. Unfortunately, the flames only lasted for a dozen seconds before stopping. Baichen scolded again. The earth fire mouse once again spewed out a burst of flames. This continued for about 10 times, and when the earth fire mouse opened its mouth again, it only emitted a puff of smoke, and there was no more flame. The long tooth rabbit was still far from being cooked. Baichen simply fed the earth fire mouse with one of Zhao Meng's remaining beast soul pearls. Chang Yuan Yuan and the others were stunned to see this. A white beast soul pearl was worth thousands of dollars. How could Baichen, who was obsessed with money, be so extravagant? In fact, Baichen had no idea about the value of the beast soul pearl. He obtained 11 of them easily in the morning, and he never thought that they would be valuable. So he didn't hesitate to use them. Beast soul pearls were excellent supplements for exotic beasts. The earth fire mouse immediately became energetic and spewed flames without restraint. Unfortunately, even after consuming a whole beast soul pearl, the rabbit was still not cooked. So, Baichen fed the earth fire mouse another beast soul pearl. Nangong Qianxua couldn't help but feel distressed. To have a barbecue, Baichen used two white beast soul pearls. Even her Nangong family wouldn't dare to be so extravagant. With the previous experience, the earth fire mouse became proficient in barbecuing. It no longer needed Baichen's scolding and had already mastered various commands skillfully. It could even control the size of the flames. It was truly an exotic beast, so clever. Finally, after consuming two white beast soul pearls, the rabbit was finally cooked. With the addition of chile and cumin. Perfect. Although Chang Yuan Yuan and the others were almost full from eating dry rations, they couldn't help but salivate when they saw the sizzling roasted rabbit. Come, let's eat together. Bai Chen generously invited. After all, with dozens of pounds of rabbit, the three of them couldn't finish it. Not only Chun Yuan Yuan and the others, even the Earth Fire Mouse got a big piece of meat. Yes, the Earth Fire Mouse submitted. It submitted to Bai Chen's generous gesture. As the lowest level creature on the Qingqing grassland, the Earth Fire Mouse had never thought that it would have a day of eating a beast soul pearl. And it was two of them. It broke the record for the Earth Fire Mouse. Moreover, the roasted meat was so delicious, much better than eating it raw. Although they mostly ate grass roots and small insects, they had also eaten some meat left by fierce beasts, and the taste was far inferior to roasted meat. The Earth Fire Mouse decided to stick with Baichen from now on. Baichen happened to need fire, so he accepted this little brother without hesitation. The group enjoyed their small barbecue and drank ice-cold cola, living a blissful life. It didn't seem like an adventure at all. It felt more like a vacation. Even Siesuyan and the Black Dagger hidden not far away couldn't help but salivate. With their rich life experiences, they had never seen such an outrageous way of adventuring. They thought that this adventure would definitely be a huge blow to these little creatures. Xie Suyan even prepared to comfort her daughter. But the result. Looking at Chung Yuan Yuan, who was covered in oil, she didn't know what else to say to comfort her. Xie Suyan even felt that she was the one who needed to be comforted more. After being full and satisfied, Bai Chen and the others had almost regained their energy and strength, and they could continue their journey. They were planning to return through another route. After all, it was their first time entering the exotic beast space, and with their strength, they were not yet capable of staying overnight here. Going back through a different route was also to encounter new exotic beasts. Hearing that the master was looking for exotic beasts, the Earth Fire Mouse took the initiative to take on the task of finding Themas the native inhabitants of the grassland. The Earth Fire Mouse is well aware of the distribution of exotic beasts in the surrounding area. Chirp chirp chirp. The Earth Fire Mouse tried its best to communicate, but unfortunately, no one understood. So, the Earth Fire Mouse gave up on verbal communication and pointed in a direction, motioning for Baichen to follow. 
Bai Chen, should we follow? Chen Yuan Yuan found it difficult to grasp the magical scene before her. Of course. What are you afraid of? Bai Chen took the lead. In the eyes of the little mouse, he saw sincerity. Besides, with Nangong Qianxue around, if they encountered any danger, they could still escape. Hey! As a beast tamer, you should be walking behind the beast girls. Chen Yuan Yuan's heart was in turmoil, feeling that this SSS level beast tamer had no understanding of even the basic theoretical knowledge and was not following the norm at all. She really didn't know how Qing Jiang High School taught him. There was no choice but for her to quickly transform into a golden armored ape and rush to the front. Soon, the little mouse led everyone to a cave. A few dozen meters away from the cave, the little mouse hesitated and didn't dare to go any further. At the entrance of the cave, there were piles of bones, many of which belonged to earthfire mice. It seemed that this was the cave of the natural enemies of the earthfire mice. The little mouse did help find the exotic beasts, but it played a little trick, wanting to use the power of humans to deal with their natural enemies. Bai Chen, this is the cave of carnivorous exotic beasts. They are probably at least level 5, we are no match for them. Shen Yuan Yuan immediately deduced the situation in the cave based on the surrounding environment. Truly a top student. At this moment, Bai Chen once again faced a choice. Option 1, turn around and leave. Reward, agility plus 1. Option 2, kill all the adult martins in the cave. Reward, strength plus 10. Option 3, kill all the adult martins within a 2 km radius. Reward, all attributes plus 10, Chang top student, what level are the Martins? Bai Chen casually asked. Martins are level 5 agile type exotic beasts. They are known for their extremely fast speed and their tendency to live in groups. Chen Yuan Yuan, like reciting from a book, instantly gave a reply. However, soon, she was shocked. This is the Martins cave? Just by looking at the surrounding environment, she could accurately determine what kind of exotic beasts cave it was? You are the true top student. Bai Chen nodded and began to make arrangements. First, the little mouse was used as bait, pretending to be injured and covered in the blood of the longtooth rabbit. Then, Bai Chen and the beast girls hid at the entrance of the cave, preparing to ambush. The little mouse objected to this arrangement, after all, being used as bait was too dangerous. Especially with the Martin's speed being so fast, if they reacted even a little slower, they could be killed. Unfortunately, as a little brother, it had no say. The objection was invalid, and the plan continued. The little mouse dragged its hind leg covered in rabbit blood and let out a mournful cry. Its acting skills were superb. It deserved an Oscar. The sharp-eared Martins heard the familiar cry and immediately rushed out one after another. Bai Chen and the others only saw a yellow shadow suddenly dart out, almost unable to react. Too fast. The little mouse was so scared that it almost peed itself, this time it wasn't pretending. It was the night cat demon, inspired by the war, who reacted first, pouncing on the Martins and pinning it down. Then its claws shot out, slashing the Martin's throat. The nightcat demon at this moment had a strength of 200 points. It was simply incomparable to the agile-type Martins. And it was an ambush. It was normal to be able to kill instantly. At this time, another yellow figure darted out. Baichin's flying sword pierced it, nailing it to the ground. Then, more Martins rushed out. The giant fist of the golden armored ape and the wind blades of the great eagle struck down fiercely. After a saturation attack, the battle finally ended. It was only at this moment that everyone saw what the Martins looked like yellow skin, dark circles, looks a bit like a fox, smaller than the night cat demon. Anything else? The golden armored ape, shining with golden light, stared at the entrance of the cave with vigilance. No more. Bai Chen waved his hand, signaling her to relax. Because the reward for option 2 has already been obtained. There are a total of 5 ferrets in this cave, and only one white beast soul bead was dug out. The drop rate is a bit low. But it's easy and convenient to kill, so it's not a loss. Let's go, little rat, continue. I'm going to kill all the ferrets within a 2 km radius, so that you don't have to worry about the threat of natural enemies anymore. Bai Chen waved his big hand, determined. Little rat was moved and bowed. He sighed in his heart, he didn't choose the wrong master. With the experience just now, plus little rat's guidance, Bai Chen and the others quickly wiped out all the ferret nests around them. They obtained 5 white beast soul beads. Each of the five girls and Bai Chen got one. After all, only they five had combat power. However, Bai Chen still didn't receive the reward for option three. Little Rat, are there any ferrets that haven't been found yet? Bai Chen looked at Little Rat. Little Rat was chattering and didn't know what it was saying, but on its rat face, deep fear could be seen. Bai Chen's eyes lit up. Is there a leader level ferret? Little Rat nodded. It could understand human language. 
The reason why Bai Chen took it as his little brother was because of this. Little Rat's character was understanding, and since eating two white beast soul beads, Little Rat had become even smarter. But Bai Chen didn't care about Little Rat's fear. Rare leader level exotic beasts should not be let go. They were all money. A golden barbarian bull could be sold for one. One million. Even an ordinary leader level exotic beast would surely bring high profits. Let's do it. Little Rat had no choice but to lead cautiously. As a result, before the group approached, they saw a standing ferret on a high mound. Its big eyes wrapped in dark circles were alertly scanning the surroundings. As soon as it saw Bai Chen and the others, it immediately let out a piercing scream. Instantly, a large number of ferrets emerged from the cave. There were dozens of them. It turned out to be a ferret tribe. This was the true horror of leader-level exotic beasts. Ocean of Beasts tactic. Faced with so many ferrets, there was no chance of fighting. Bai Chin called out, immediately holding a cat in his left hand and a rat in his right hand, jumping onto the flying sword. Little rat never expected to have the opportunity to fly in its lifetime. It felt like it was dreaming. Excitement surged again, and the previous fear diminished a lot. The giant eagle also promptly enlarged, carrying Chang Yuan Yuan and Wang Wanli, soaring into the sky. The ferrets could only lower their heads and sigh at the eagle. At this moment, the ferret leader calmly walked out of the cave. Its body was as white as snow, standing nearly one meter tall. Its streamlined body was full of agility, and its speed was extremely fast. Species, Lightning Ferret, Level, Level 5 Leader, Strength, 100, Agility, 300, Constitution, 50, Energy, 50, Skills, Lightning Claw, Extreme Speed, Super Poison Resistance, Personality, Holds Grudges, Weakness, Afraid of the Coldness Agility, Even with the War Boost of the Night Cat Demon, Couldn't Compare. From the personality of the Lightning Ferret, Bai Chin saw the shadow of the Grassland Flathead Brother. In fact, these two guys were very similar. Both were badass beings who ate poisonous snakes like snacks. Unexpectedly, they also held grudges. It was said that if you offended the flathead brother on the grassland, whether you were a lion or an elephant, it would dare to confront you with its small body. And even if it chased you to the ends of the earth, it would definitely seek revenge. This could be used to their advantage. A plan emerged in by Chen's mind. Eagle, throw a wind blade. The giant eagle hesitated. This ferret leader is too fast. My wind blade probably won't hit it. Don't worry about that, just throw the wind blade. Alright the eagle obediently lowered its altitude and threw a gust of wind blades. Her wind blade attack had a range of only 10 meters, but she was low on energy. The lightning ferret easily dodged it. This attack posed no threat to it. The lightning ferret suddenly leaped high into the air, jumping more than 10 meters, and pounced on the eagle in midair. At the same time, sparks of lightning appeared on its claws. It was lightning claw. If caught, the eagle would lose its mobility if not its life. Then the three people on the eagle's back would be trapped in the ferret pack, facing certain death. Ah! The eagle screamed and closed its eyes. Wow, is this battle instinct of an ostrich? It can only be a mount. Fortunately, Chang Yuan Yuan reacted in time, and her golden fist radiated light, blocking the lightning claw of the ferret leader. But she herself was also twitching from the electric shock. Feathers flew around the eagle's bottom. Fortunately, the lightning ability of the ferret leader was not very strong so when it reached the eagle through the golden ape, its intensity was already weak. The eagle held on and ascended. As a mount, the eagle was still very competent. At this height, even if the lightning ferret's jumping ability was strong, it could not threaten them. However, the wind blades and punches just now completely angered the lightning ferret. It led the ferret army and chased after the eagle without giving up. The lightning ferret knew that these human beast girls had poor endurance. It estimated that they wouldn't be able to go far before falling down and then it could take revenge. Captain, what should we do? The eagle was almost in tears. If only it hadn't provoked the ferret leader. Don't worry, our goal has been achieved, follow me. Bai Chen was very satisfied with this result, and then asked Mouse Junior Brother, are there any other leader-level exotic beasts nearby? Lead the way. Mouse Junior Brother was indeed understanding and immediately understood Bai Chen's thoughts, excitedly pointing in a direction. Bai Chin didn't hesitate and signaled for the sword spirit to fly in that direction. The eagle followed closely behind. After flying for a while, Bai Chin suddenly felt familiar with this direction. The others also had the same feeling. In the distance, they could already see the herd ahead. Grassland hyenas. Wow, they had come full circle and actually encountered these crotch-digging creatures again. If the two groups of exotic beasts didn't fight, Bai Chen and the others would be completely doomed. And the death would be extremely tragic. Thinking of this, 
Bai Chen couldn't help but tighten his lower body. The others felt the same way, even a bit desperate. Even Xie Suya and the Black Dagger were nervous. Faced with two groups of exotic beasts with leader-level individuals, even they didn't have the confidence to escape unscathed. These little guys really knew how to cause trouble. No, it was mainly because Bai Chen was too good at causing trouble. The ones they were protecting, Cheng Yuan Yuan and Nangong Qianxua, were both obedient girls, who knew that without Bai Chen provoking them, the two groups of exotic beasts would immediately confront each other. It seemed that they already had a grudge. Bai Chen couldn't help but look at Mouse Junior Brother in his right hand. Mouse Junior Brother's mouth curled slightly, revealing a human-like smugness. It seemed that it had known about the grudge between the two groups of exotic beasts a long time ago. Wow, it had become clever. If Bai Chen had extra pet space now, it was afraid that it would have signed a contract with it. Looking at the two groups of exotic beasts below, calling and not attacking, Bai Chen looked down on them. If you're a man, then fight. What's the point of making noise? Of course, the main reason was that the sword spirit and the eagle were about to collapse. Bai Chen rummaged through the dimensional space and found a ferret corpse, throwing it towards the hyena pack. This was what Zhao Mengfei insisted on keeping, saying that he wanted to roast it and taste its flavor. After all, in his previous life, these were all protected animals, and as a foodie, Zhao Mengfei had long been craving it. Bai Chen refused. It was only because of Zhao Mengfei's tyranny that he put it in the dimensional space. Yeah, that's right. He had no interest in protecting animals and had never thought about tasting them. Seeing the fallen body of the ferret, a hyena didn't know what it was thinking and opened its mouth to grab it. Truly a dog. Grabbing things is almost an instinctive reaction. However, this action was like lighting a powder keg. The angry ferrets rushed into the hyena pack without hesitation. The fight began. Due to the smaller size of the ferrets, the hyenas couldn't use their groin attack technique. Instead, the ferrets used their small bodies and agile movements to continuously attack the groin. The hyenas howled in pain, and the scene was extremely brutal. Those who grab the groin will be grabbed by others. Truly, what goes around comes around. The hyenas were not willing to show weakness either and fought back using their superior physical abilities compared to the ferrets. It often took several ferrets to kill one hyena, while a hyena could kill a ferret with just one bite. Overall, the two sides were evenly matched. Soldier against soldier, leader against leader. The leaders of both sides also engaged in fierce battles. The leader of the hyenas, named Ironclad Hyena, had extremely strong defense. The ordinary attacks of the lightning ferret couldn't break through its defense, but the lightning claw could cause considerable damage. Especially the paralyzing effect of the lightning, it was very effective against the Ironclad Hyena. At first, the Ironclad Hyena was almost overwhelmed by the lightning ferret, with numerous scratches all over its body. However, the ironclad hyena seized the opportunity and struck with its ironclad claws, almost tearing the lightning ferret in half. The lightning ferret lay on the ground, unable to get up for a while. The ironclad hyena revealed its ferocious teeth and bit towards the lightning ferret, wanting to end the battle completely. Suddenly, the lightning ferret, like a flash of lightning, flipped over and bit the ironclad hyena's throat first. The ironclad hyena howled in pain and thrashed about. The lower half of the lightning ferret's body was torn to shreds, but it still held on tightly. This guy was not only ruthless to others, but also to itself. Just at this moment, Bai Chen seized the opportunity and descended from the sky. With the force of 10,000 caddies, his long sword stabbed down. The first strike pierced through the neck of the ironclad hyena and the head of the lightning ferret. With just one sword, he killed two leader-level exotic beasts at the same time. So cool! Cheng Yuan Yuan exclaimed, also jumping down from the giant eagle and completing her transformation in midair. Weighing hundreds of kilograms, the golden armored ape fell from a height of tens of meters and first killed a hyena and three ferrets. Taking advantage of the momentum, the golden armored ape launched a charge, causing the hyenas and ferrets engaged in the melee to fly in all directions. This was a skill Chong Yuan Yuan obtained from the beast spirit pearl of the ironclad barbarian bull. It had to be said that her luck was really good, she managed to obtain such a low probability skill. Bai Chen drew out his sword spirit and activated its sharp skill following closely behind. Like cutting fruit, he sliced the hyenas and ferrets that were sent flying into halves. Perfect coordination. The nightcat demon was not willing to show weakness either. With Bai Chen's support, its claws continuously harvested the lives of the heavily injured hyenas and ferrets. As for the giant eagle, it was already too exhausted to even release a wind blade, so it could only obediently hide aside and recover. Even at this moment, the hyenas and ferrets continued to fight. It seemed that their anger had been ignited. They really had big tempers. With this, 
Bai Chen and the others had an easier time. Moreover, when they descended, most of the exotic beasts on both sides were already dead or injured. So it didn't take long for all the hyenas and ferrets on the field to be wiped out. The group had only consumed a lot of energy and suffered almost no injuries. A complete victory. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission, reward, plus 10 to all attributes, exceeding the mission, additional reward, skill, beast language proficiency, a generous reward, almost equivalent to leveling up. And there was also the skill of beast language proficiency, finally no more need for gestures. Baichen could communicate with all exotic beasts without barriers. Looking at the surrounding bodies of exotic beasts, Shang Yuan Yuan could hardly believe that they had done this. It was so unbelievable. Baichen truly lived up to being an SSS level beast tamer, a miracle maker. Shang Yuan Yuan's eyes were fixated on Baichen, almost completely captivated by him. Well, she had fallen for him again. Baichen sighed helplessly and gestured for everyone to dig for beast soul beads. He himself went to dig two leader level beast spirit beads. After Chun Yuan Yuan confirmed multiple times that these two leader level beasts had no additional value, Bai Chin finally gave up on dissecting the bodies. In this battle, a total of 20 white beast soul beads and two beast spirit beads were obtained. To be fair, Bai Chin and each beast girl received five beast soul beads. Even little mouse brother got one. Only Wang Wanli remained insignificant. Normally, beast masters do not participate in distribution. Only Bai Chen is an exception. His combat power is not inferior to any cat girl. I don't want it, after all, I didn't participate in the battle. Sun Chen felt embarrassed to take a share of the spoils. How did you not participate? If it weren't for your wind blade at the beginning, none of this would have happened. Although Bai Chen is greedy, he still believes in fairness. Sun Chen was moved and accepted it. As for the beast soul beads that Bai Chen and Zhao Meng received, they each gave three to Nangong Qianxue to help her break through to the second level. They also settled the previous accounts. Nangong Qianxue's talent is also good. She successfully broke through after consuming nine beads. In fact, with Nangong Qianxue's family background, she wouldn't care about a few white beast soul beads at all. As long as she wanted to, she could even spend money to become a black iron level beast master. But that would be the behavior of a nouveau riche. Truly educated noble families would not do that. Only by steadily advancing step by step can one achieve higher accomplishments. Shang Yuan Yuan's mother also had the same consideration. Only the beast soul beads obtained through personal combat can bring a sense of achievement. The efficiency of absorbing beast soul beads is higher after intense battles. Both Xie Suyan and the Black Dagger were filled with satisfaction. As for the two beast spirit beads, Bai Chen handled them from start to finish. Shang Yuan Yuan and the others didn't want to share them anymore. Bai Chen also didn't want to share such valuable items. Little rich girl, what about these two beast spirit beads? Bai Chen began his money-making plan again. Forget it, these two beast spirit beads are not suitable for me. Shang Yuan Yuan shook her head and added, Actually, these two beast spirit beads are very suitable for Lin Mimi, she can eat them. Lin Mimi refers to Zhao Meng, which was originally a nice nickname. But when paired with Zhao Meng, it just doesn't sound harmonious. Shang Yuan Yuan was also very puzzled. Why would an SSS level beast master be so obsessed with money? Hearing that there was something to eat and that it was suitable for her, Zhao Meng, as a foodie, immediately snatched them and stuffed them into her mouth. After eating, she smacked her lips. Hmm, it doesn't taste like anything, not delicious. That was Zhao Meng's evaluation. Chang Yuan Yuan was speechless. These were beast spirit beads. Who cares about the taste? Did you gain any skills? Shang Yuan Yuan couldn't help but ask the important question. It seems like I gained a skill called extreme speed. Zhao Meng replied. Her luck wasn't too good. She didn't gain powerful attack skills like lightning claw or iron main claw, nor did she gain excellent support skills like iron armor technique or super poison resistance. But at least it wasn't nothing. Gaining extreme speed can increase agility by 100%. Everything was distributed. Zhao Meng looked at the body of the lightning cat weasel and couldn't help but drool. Bai Chun, let's roast it. Zhao Meng was already very interested in the meat of the cat weasel, and now that there was a leader level cat weasel, her excitement grew even more. All right, with nothing else to do, Bai Chen started roasting the meat. He definitely wasn't interested in the meat of the lightning cat weasel. Little Mouse Brother was still a walking barbecue grill, and it was happy to be one. After it exhausted its energy, its owner would give it beast soul beads to eat. It was so happy. Sure enough, in order to eat the roasted meat of the leader level cat weasel, Little Mouse Brother once again received two beast soul beads. It felt like it was on the verge of a breakthrough. Bai Chen also discovered this through the true vision eye. 
So he took the remaining white beast soul bead from Nangong Chenchue and fed it to Little Mouse. Little Mouse actually broke through to the leader level in front of everyone. Type, Fire Spirit Mouse, Level, Level 1 Leader, Strength, 50, Agility, 100, Constitution, 50, Energy, 50, Skills, Fire Breath, Burrowing, Treasure Hunting, Personality, Understanding, Weakness, Water, this attribute is really bad. But no matter what, it is a leader level exotic beast. It is the first leader level exotic beast in the history of their Fire Mouse clan. Little Mouse was excited and bowed down. However, Meng's eyes towards Little Mouse were shining. Are you addicted to eating cats? You actually want to eat a mouse. Bai Chen was speechless. Little Mouse quickly hid behind Bai Chen, afraid of Zhao Meng, the foodie. In the Qingqing grassland, no exotic beast would eat the meat of a cat weasel. But this woman in front of them does. Just based on this, Little Mouse never doubted that she wanted to eat him. Little Mouse had heard that Zhao Meng liked to eat potato chips before. Potato chips. Mouse chips. Too scary. You're the one who wants to eat a mouse. Don't leader level exotic beasts explode beast soul beads? This thing is quite expensive, worth 100,000. Zhao Meng finally revealed her purpose. Little Mouse suddenly felt that his situation was even more dangerous, and he even noticed that his owner was a little tempted. This fire mouse has poor talent, average skills, and the probability of comprehending skills is too low. I'm afraid no one will buy the beast soul beads. Shang Yuan Yuan couldn't help but dispel the thoughts of the greedy duo. The price of beast soul beads also varies, even if they are the same level, the difference can be as high as hundreds of times. The fire spirit mouse, upon hearing this, was excited to the point of tears. Indeed, wicked women are the kindest. Extremely wicked. Hearing that little mouse's beast soul beads were worthless, Zhao Meng shifted her attention and looked at the roasted meat of the lightning cat weasel. She took a big bite. Mmm, -hmm, it's delicious. Zhao Meng looked satisfied. It's really scary, you actually eat cat weasel meat. Little Mouse couldn't help but comment. What's wrong? Can't cat weasel meat be eaten? Bai Chen asked using the animal language. Master, you can talk to me? Little Mouse was excited. Yes. Bai Chen nodded. Anyway, no exotic beast on the Qingqing grassland would eat cat weasel meat. I don't know why, after all, I have never had the chance to taste it. Little Mouse explained in a chattering manner, no longer worried that Bai Chen wouldn't understand. All right. Bai Chin approached and sniffed the meat of the lightning cat weasel, and indeed, there was a strange smell. Even chili and cumin couldn't cover up that smell. Let's observe a bit more before making a conclusion. Mmm, -hmm. don't you guys want to eat? Zhao Meng's mouth was full as she looked at the others. No, no, you eat. Chung Yuan Yuan and the others couldn't stand the strange smell and refused one after another. Even Little Mouse shook its head in refusal. Although it was a rat and wanted to eat cat meat, it definitely didn't include cat weasel meat. This thing smells bad but tastes good, just like stinky tofu. Trust me. Zhao Meng swallowed the meat in her mouth and strongly recommended it. Unfortunately, no one was willing to try. For some reason, everyone instinctively rejected cat weasel meat. Goo 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 goo. What's that sound? Is someone hungry? There's roasted meat here. In everyone's confusion, they saw Zhao Meng suddenly drop the roasted meat, clutching her stomach, her face turning purple. Poisoned. No wonder no exotic beast would eat cat weasel meat. It's poisonous. Paper. Zhao Meng struggled to say a word. Bai Chen was afraid that she would first jump on everyone, so he quickly took out a pack of tissues and threw it over. Zhao Meng quickly rushed into the grass at the fastest speed puff. Splash. In the intriguing symphony, after a long time, Zhao Meng weakly stumbled back. I won't eat randomly anymore. Burp. Before she could finish her sentence, she vomited again. There were potato chips, spicy strips, instant noodles, grilled meat. Who knows what she had eaten? She was clearly poisoned, suffering from vomiting and diarrhea. Bai Chen's super healing ability could only treat external injuries and had little effect on this kind of poisoning. The detoxification medicine brought by Nan Gong Qian Xuan Chang Yuan Yuan also had limited effect on such strong toxins. Just when everyone was at a loss, Little Mouse suddenly chattered. Are you saying there is an antidote in the ferret's cave? Bai Chen's eyes lit up. How could he forget about this? Many leader-level exotic beasts have spiritual herbs and fruits around them. In other words, many leader-level exotic beasts advance by relying on these spiritual herbs and fruits. Since the ferret had such a strong resistance to poison, there must be corresponding spiritual items nearby. At the same time, Bai Chen also thought of Little Mouse's treasure hunting skill. It was truly a lucky find. Bai Chen immediately decided to ask Chung Yuan Yuan and the others to help guard Zhao Meng. 
He would take Little Mouse and control the flying sword to return to the ferret's cave to find the antidote. At this point, Zhao Meng was already too weak to maintain her beast transformation and carrying her would be a burden. The ferret's cave was now empty. Little Mouse bravely volunteered to enter and search for the antidote. As an earth fire mouse, it never expected that it would one day enter the ferret's cave. And it was even going to ransack it. How exciting! However, Little Mouse was still somewhat afraid of the strong scent of natural enemies in the cave. It walked cautiously, being extremely careful. Suddenly, a ferret's cry came from deep inside the cave. Little Mouse was so scared that it ran away. When it was about to reach the entrance of the cave, Little Mouse realized. The cry just now was too immature, obviously from a ferret cub. It was actually scared by a ferret cub. It was the leader level fire spirit mouse. How embarrassing. Fortunately, its owner didn't see it, otherwise how could it continue to stay with its owner? Thinking of this, Little Mouse gathered its courage, turned around, and continued to crawl deeper into the cave. It was still cautious, shrinking and being very careful. Finally, Little Mouse arrived at the depths of the cave. There were indeed ferret cubs inside. And not just one, there were more than a dozen. Hatred burned in Little Mouse's eyes. Its grandfather and mother were both eaten by ferrets. It remembered everything since it was young. Finally, it could seek revenge. In the terrified eyes of the ferret cubs, Little Mouse opened its mouth and spewed out raging flames. The cave was filled with the smell of roasted meat. After becoming a leader-level exotic beast, Little Mouse's fire-breathing skill had become much stronger. The young ferrets couldn't resist at all and were all burned to death. Tears of excitement streamed down Little Mouse's eyes. Finally, it had killed the ferrets with its own hands. And all of this was bestowed by its owner. Little Mouse vowed to repay its owner in the future. If the owner needed an antidote, it would immediately go and find it. Little Mouse activated its treasure hunting skill and continued to search deeper into the cave. Soon, it found a small black bead among a pile of ferret droppings. It looked very similar to sheep dung eggs, but smoother, more like a black pearl. In fact, the formation of these black beads was very similar to pearls. They were formed after being polished in the ferret's intestines for a long time and absorbing a large amount of secretions. They had strong detoxification properties. Little Mouse didn't stay and continued to activate its treasure hunting skill to search elsewhere. Finally, it arrived at the residence of the ferret leader. There, it not only found a larger black bead, but also discovered an extremely tempting root. The root was crystal clear, suspended in the cave, with a plant stem attached to it. It was obviously not an ordinary item. Without hesitation, Little Mouse picked it and held it in its arms, ready to present it to its owner looking at the mouse brother returning with a full load, Bai Chen liked it more and more, and had plans to cultivate it. Learning from the previous poisoning incident, this time Bai Chen spared no effort, activated the true side eye, and prepared to confirm everything before eating. Otherwise, if Zhao Meng gets poisoned again, she might not be able to be saved. Although the two of them fight every day, they came here together after all, and there is a sense of dependence. Bai Chen would never let her die. Cat Shit Bead absorbs the spiritual beads formed by the secretion of the weasel's intestines and has a strong detoxification function. Poison Spirit Fruit is a first-order spiritual fruit that greatly increases the ability to resist toxins. The black bead really has detoxification function. But, damn, isn't this cat shit coffee? It's too disgusting. Bai Chen couldn't help but throw it on the ground. Seeing this, the mouse brother looked panicked, thinking that he had found the wrong thing. Cough cough, you did a good job. I'll give you a few more beast soul beads later. Bai Chen comforted the mouse brother. Then he took out a large bucket of water from the dimensional space and rinsed it thoroughly. Then he patted it with a napkin, put everything in a plastic bag, and threw it into the dimensional space. It looked like he was disgusted to the extreme. Then came the poison spirit fruit. This is a good thing. Bai Chen couldn't help but take a bite, and his mouth watered. It's delicious. He finished it in no time and his ability to resist toxins increased by 100%. From now on, if someone gets poisoned, he will give them the cat shit bead to eat, anyway, the mouse brother has made a lot of them. As for himself, he doesn't need it anymore. After packing up everything and making sure nothing was left behind, Bai Chen controlled the flying sword and hurried back. At this time, Zhao Meng and the others were in a very bad situation. Not long after Bai Chen left, they were ambushed. It was a silver ring snake beast girl. Chung Yuan Yuan didn't even have time to transform and was bitten by the silver ring snake, losing her combat power. Sun Chen wanted to resist, but her fighting power was insignificant. Before she could take off, she was poisoned and fell to the ground. Zhao Meng had long since collapsed. Oh, and Wang Wanli. Almost forgot about him. Forget it, let's just forget about him. 
Even the silver ring snake couldn't be bothered to bite him. The whole team was instantly disabled. Even Xie Suyan, who was not far away, didn't react. Going over now would only be threatened, so it's better to wait and see, and find an opportunity to save them later. As for the black dagger, it followed Nangong Qianxue and went to the weasel's cave. Fortunately, the silver ring snake beast girl didn't intend to kill them. After searching everyone, she cursed them as poor, then took Wang Wanli's backpack and left. The various potions in the backpack could also be worth some money. When she took the backpack, the silver ring snake even touched Wang Wanli. It made Wang Wanli blush and feel dirty. When Bai Chen returned, he saw them lying on the ground. What happened? Bai Chen was furious. Shang Yuan Yuan weakly explained. Hearing that it was just poisoning, Bai Chen breathed a sigh of relief. He didn't have anything else in his backpack, just cat shit. There were plenty of detoxification pills. The weasel can eat poisonous snakes like snacks, so there should be no problem with detoxifying snake venom. After feeding Chang Yuan Yuan a cat shit bead, she indeed recovered. Seeing that it was effective, Bai Chen also fed Sun Shen a cat shit bead. As for Zhao Meng, Bai Chen prepared a super cat shit bead extracted by the lightning weasel. Bai Chen, are you sure this can be eaten? Zhao Meng was a little scared. Of course. Bai Chen nodded confidently. Why does it smell a bit bad? Zhao Meng still had some doubts. It smells bad, but tastes good, just like stinky tofu. Bai Chen replied with her previous words. Okay. Zhao Meng couldn't bear the pain of vomiting and diarrhea anymore. She closed her eyes, tilted her head back, and swallowed the egg-sized super cat shit bead. She choked and rolled her eyes. Fortunately, the medicine worked and the symptoms disappeared. Zhao Meng quickly recovered her energy. I'm starving. I'm starving. Just as Zhao Meng had just recovered, she started clamoring for food again and can understand, after all, everything she ate before was all vomited out. Now is not the time to eat, we have to seek revenge. Bai Chen was very angry. In the dangerous and perilous space of the exotic beasts, abandoning someone in the wilderness is no different from murder. Forget it, we didn't lose anything valuable anyway, and the other party is very strong, probably at least level 8. Chang Yuan Yuan advised. Even if the talent of a level 8 beast is poor, it is not something that they, who are only level 1 or 2, can deal with. At this time, another option appeared before Bai Chen's eyes. Option 1, give up revenge. Completion reward, plus 1 stamina. Option 2, catch up with the other party and seize all their supplies. Completion reward, plus 10 strength. Option 3, catch up with the other party, seize all their supplies, and kill them. Completion reward, plus 100 all attributes. The reward for the last option is very tempting, but one must also be cautious. Unless the other party is truly unforgivable, even if the reward is generous, one cannot kill indiscriminately. No matter what level she is, if she dares to treat you like this, we can't let her go. Bai Chen went against the opinions of others and chose to seek revenge. Seeing this, the others also followed suit. With the super sense of smell of the night cat demon, tracking was too easy. Soon, Bai Chen and the others saw the two people who were busy not far away. In fact, they hadn't gone far. This was the battlefield of the hyenas and ferrets before. After the intense smell of blood might attract powerful exotic beasts, they quickly moved away after the battle ended. Unexpectedly, they had come back after going around in circles. And those two people were busy while complaining. I don't know where this nouveau riche came from, killing so many ferrets and not even cutting off their scent glands. I guess they don't even care about this small amount of money. That's right, being able to kill so many ferrets and hyenas, they must be at least a black iron level expert. Definitely not interested in these scent glands that are worth a hundred yuan each. There are a total of 48 scent glands. It's higher than our income from working hard for a week. There's also the corpse of a leader level iron armored hyena here. It's a valuable material for good leather armor, worth thousands. We don't want any of this, it's too wasteful. Bai Chen and the others listened in astonishment. They didn't expect that the discarded exotic beast corpses were actually worth money everywhere. Even the top student Chong Yuan Yuan didn't know this. Because it was not mentioned in the textbooks. The true site I also didn't provide such detailed explanations. This was purely from experience. At this moment, Bai Chen finally noticed. These two people were actually the triangular-eyed man and the cool woman they had encountered in the car. As for their attributes, they were extremely poor. Name, Lume, Talent, E-Level Silver Ring Snake, Level, Level 8, Strength, 64, Agility, 80, Constitution, 40, Energy, 24, Beast Tamer, Fong Fei, Skill, Poison Fong Although it was Level 8, in terms of any attribute, it was no match for the just Level 2 Night Cat Demon. This was the gap brought about by Talent. And as the level increased, the gap would only become larger. 
Against opponents of this level, there was no need for any clever tricks, just a head-on confrontation would do. It's you guys, weren't you poisoned? How did you recover so quickly? Lu Mei and Feng Fei also noticed by Chen and the others, their faces full of shock. You should know that Lu Mei's silver ring snake venom was very strong. Even with a low-level detoxification pill, it would take a long time to recover. But it had only been half an hour, and they had already recovered and even chased after them. It was too unbelievable. You dare to rob even us, you're simply seeking death. Bai Chin didn't waste any words, gripping the sword that had transformed into Nangong Chinchue, and charged forward. The beast tamer is personally fighting? I'm afraid there's something seriously wrong. Lume was shocked, but her years of battle experience allowed her to react instantly and transform into a silver ring snake, swiftly escaping. Bai Chen's sword strike missed. It must be said that the silver ring snake's movements were extremely graceful, even Bai Chin couldn't keep up. He was bitten. Humph, little brother, you've been poisoned by my snake venom. Let's see how arrogant you can be now, Lu Mei smirked, expecting Bai Chen to give in. However, her smile froze on her face. Bai Chen didn't react at all, and even raised his butt, shouting, Hey, it's fine. Bite me. Bite me. Outrageous. Lu Mei flicked her tail in anger and prepared to strike at Bai Chen's neck again. She suspected that Bai Chen didn't react earlier because she bit his butt, and perhaps the flesh there was too thick for the venom to take effect quickly. If she bit his neck, she didn't believe he would be fine. However, Bai Chen caught the silver ring snake. With her limited strength, she had no room to resist. Aren't you a beast tamer? How can you be so strong? Lu Mei was shocked and forgot to resist. She thought Bai Chen was crazy to fight her personally, but now it was clear that she was the crazy one. I have many impressive qualities. Now, I'm going to ask you a few questions. You must answer truthfully. If you dare to deceive me even a little, I'll chop off your snake head and make snake soup. Bai Chen threatened, pinching the silver ring snake's weak spot. Um, little brother, go ahead and ask, Lu Mei replied, her voice cold despite her silver ring snake form. Have you two killed anyone? Bai Chen asked. No, the silver ring snake answered firmly. Bai Chen activated his true sight and saw that the silver ring snake's emotions were stable, indicating that she was probably telling the truth. So he asked again. How many times have you committed this kind of robbery? Five times, the silver ring snake instantly replied, adding, each time, I would at least leave one person to take care of the others. It seemed that the silver ring snake had guessed the purpose of Bai Chen's questioning and was fighting for a chance to survive. It had to be said that she succeeded. Based on her previous actions as a silver ring snake, she didn't deserve to die. Take everything they have. Bai Chen signaled Zhao Meng to take action. All right, Zhao Meng enjoyed doing this kind of thing especially since these people had just robbed them. Feng Fei, the beast tamer, had no resistance in front of Zhao Meng and was immediately stripped of everything. Even the freshly cut weasel glands and ironclad hyena skin were taken. Zhao Meng, with her keen hearing, had long known that these things were valuable. It had to be said that these two had made quite a haul. A large bag was filled to the brim. Fortunately, Zhao Meng was strong enough to carry it, otherwise, they wouldn't be able to lift it. One last question, Bai Chen said. Um, go ahead and ask, Lu Mei replied. What is the use of weasel glands? You really are an inexperienced student. Lu Mei mocked before giving the answer, weasel glands are an important ingredient for making beginner detoxification pills. Suddenly, the silver ring snake seemed to have realized something. These hyenas and ferrets, you didn't kill them all, did you? Liu Mei's mouth dropped open in surprise. Unfortunately, in her beast form, she had no allure. All that was left was a chilling feeling. Bai Chen couldn't be bothered to answer her and casually threw her aside. The mission was complete, and he gained 10 points of strength. It was a pity that Lu Mei wasn't a bit worse. Looking at Bai Chen's gaze, Lu Mei, in her human form, couldn't help but shiver. Fortunately, she wasn't that bad. She would never rob again. In addition, Lu Mei wanted to sigh, high school students these days are really impressive. With this matter settled, it was getting late, and they needed to rest in the town outside. The grassland at night was ten times more dangerous than during the day, not a place for them novices to stay. But before that, they could divide the spoils. First, Wan Wanli's backpack had to be returned to and then, they had nowhere to put those musk glands and hyena skins, as well as various materials, so they all gave them to Bai Chen. Bai Chen activated the true vision eye and could indeed see the relevant functions. The musk glands have detoxification functions and can be used to make primary detoxification pills. It turns out that after collecting them, the true vision eye can provide relevant information. In addition to this, there is also the cow bile of the giant horned bull, which is also a raw material for primary detoxification pills. Even the cowhide of the golden bull is in the sack. 
It seems that Lume and Fongfei are scavenging behind. As for various miscellaneous herbs and ores, there are even more. Fortunately, Baichen has the true vision eye, otherwise they might have been mistaken for weeds and stones and thrown away. It has to be said that Lume and Fongfei are indeed experienced. Unfortunately, these materials are all low-level goods that do not reach the level, and there is not a single one that can compare to the poison spirit fruit. These things alone almost filled Baichen's dimensional space. It seems that they need to clean up quickly when they go back. In addition, there are also 10 white beast soul beads, I don't know where they got them from. Baichen generously gave each person two beads. Well, it should be correct. Baichen gave the two beads to Little Mouse Brother. In the outside world, uncontracted exotic beasts are not allowed to enter. So Baichen let Little Mouse Brother go back first and agreed to meet tomorrow. Finally, they returned to Qingqing Town before it got dark. They returned to a harmonious society. Everyone felt relieved. At this time, Qingqing Town was no longer as solemn as when they came, it had become lively like a market. There were stalls everywhere, selling and hawking their gains from today. There were also some buyers blocking the exit of the exotic beast space, trying to purchase other people's gains. As soon as Baichen and the others came out, they were approached by a buyer. Hey handsome and beautiful, how was your harvest today? Let Brother Wolf give you an estimate, guaranteed fair. With Brother Wolf's rich social experience, he could tell at a glance that Baichen and the others were first-timers in Qingqing Town, so he showed special enthusiasm. Other buyers also wanted to approach them. But seeing that Baichen and his group had already been approached by Brother Wolf, they gave up competing and prepared to target the next wave of fat sheep. Baichen did have a lot of things to sell, so he casually took out a musk gland. How much for this? Brother Wolf was taken aback and asked in surprise, did you guys hunt this? Musk is a group living exotic beast, and it's not something that beginners can handle. Don't worry about that, just tell me how much per bead. If the price is reasonable, I have a lot more. Baichen couldn't be bothered to waste words. Ten dollars per bead. Brother Wolf tentatively quoted a price. Baichen turned around and walked away. Damn, they took them for fools. They knew these guys at the entrance were unreliable. If Baichen hadn't overheard Lu Mei and Feng Fei's conversation, he might have really sold it off casually. But something worth $100, and they quoted $10, that's just too much. 20. 30. Hey handsome, don't go, let's negotiate the price. Brother Wolf still wanted to take advantage. Enough, Brother Wolf, you're being too ruthless. Suddenly, Leo Mei's voice came from the exit. Oh, isn't this snake sister? How come you're empty-handed today, no gains at all? After being exposed by Lume, Brother Wolf knew that this deal probably wouldn't work out, so he took the opportunity to mock her. With Liu Mei's rich experience, it's impossible for her to return empty-handed. And the red marks on her neck also indicated a problem. It was obvious that something went wrong. Liu Mei snorted coldly and ignored Brother Wolf, quickly catching up to Baichen. Little brother, there are many scammers here. If you sell them yourself, I'm afraid you won't even get half the price. Why not let me handle it for you? I'll only take a 10% commission. Liu Mei tugged at her tattered clothes and said in a sweet voice. That mature charm, pure young killer Bai Chen has been facing dozens of beautiful women trying to seduce him every day these days, but he has become accustomed to it and doesn't react much. Wang Wanli, who was touched, blushed and even had a nosebleed. Well, you can give me an estimate of the value of these goods, and if it's suitable, it's not impossible. Bai Chen took out a large sack from the dimensional space. It's really troublesome to deal with it himself, and there's a high chance of being cheated. It's better to leave it to professionals. Seeing the familiar sack, Lu Mei couldn't help pouting. It's clearly her sack. But, oh well. No need to hesitate, let's say 30,000. Lu Mei immediately quoted a price. No one knows the prices of these goods better than her. Deal. It's similar to what Bai Chen estimated before, it seems that Lu Mei didn't deceive him. Should I pay you 27,000 up front, or wait until the goods are sold and calculate the commission based on the final price? Pay up front. Alright. The two quickly completed the transaction. It's considered returning the goods to their original owner. However, for this, Lu Mei paid a cost of 27,000. No, there are also 10 white beast soul beads, which are worth another 10,000. What a loss. Lu Mei picked up the sack and wanted to leave. She really didn't want to face Bai Chen again. It's too frustrating. Hey, wait a minute. Bai Chen suddenly called out to her. What's up? Lu Mei held the sack tightly and cautiously looked at Bai Chen. Don't be nervous, I just wanted to ask if there's a map of the Qingqing grassland for sale here? It would be even better if there are some illustrations, like how much each body part of certain beasts is worth. These things are purely accumulated experience, even textbooks don't explain them in detail. 
Of course, even if they did, Bai Chen wouldn't remember. He never studied properly. I have it here. How much? 30,000. Why is there still change? Isn't this the money Lu Mei lost today? Well, he'll wait for it. Just tell me if you want it or not. This is a detailed guide that we've spent more than 10 years accumulating by spending all year round in the Qingqing grassland. Lu Mei took out her phone and showed an app called Qingqing grassland. Inside, there are several sections, such as maps, exotic beasts, herbs, minerals, forums. It's well organized and very clear. And it's updated in real time. For example, today, the leaders of the giant horned barbarian bull, Grassland Lynx, and Martin were killed and uploaded. There are even dedicated posts discussing this on the forum. Many people think it was done by some shameless iron level beast tamer. An account named Silver Snake commented that these leader level exotic beasts were killed by several high school students. They were even mocked like crazy. Is this Silver Snake you? Bai Chen pointed to the post and asked. Uh, yes. The pseudonym was exposed, and Lume felt a bit embarrassed. But it has to be said, this app is really good. It's just too expensive. 100. Bai Chen bargained and immediately lowered the price. Impossible, at least 10,000. 200. No, 5,000 less, don't even think about it. 500. Can't go any higher. All right, all right. I'll sell it to you for 1,000, if you keep bargaining, go find someone else. 888, for good luck. Fine, fine, you're so stingy. After a heated debate, the two finally completed the transaction at a price of 880. With Lu Mei's invitation code, Bai Chen quickly installed the app and registered an account. Account name, Bai Yi. Just as Bai Chen stood on the roadside, happily browsing through posts, suddenly, a promotional girl with an advertisement on her clothes handed him a flyer. Hey, have you downloaded the Qingqing Grassland app? Download and install it now, and complete the registration to receive 100 yuan worth of Qingqing coins. Bai Chen. Wow, turns out registering for the Qingqing Grassland app not only doesn't cost anything, but also gives free Qingqing coins. Bai Chen asked the promotion girl a few more questions. Upon learning that successful promotion can earn 200 Qingqing coins, equivalent to 200 yuan, Bai Chen looked around the crowd but couldn't find Lu Mei's figure. Oh well, I'll make back the money sooner or later. The others also wanted to register but Bai Chen rejected them on their behalf. In the resentful eyes of the promotion girl, Bai Chen sent his invitation code to the other five people. They received 1,000 Qingqing coins, finally recovering some of their losses. Then, the group squatted by the roadside, immersing themselves in the app. In the end, each person had a comment. This is too damn ruthless. Jin Shou is crazy about money. Even Mahua Vine would call out in admiration. Turns out the Qingqing Grassland app costs money for almost everything. The map is only free within a 1 km radius of Sheep Village, and every additional kilometer costs 100 Qingqing coins. Only the lowest level and most common exotic beasts, like the Longtooth Rabbit and the Fire Mouse, are free. If you want to unlock other beast illustrations, you have to pay. And the higher the level of the exotic beast, the more expensive the illustration. The same goes for minerals and herbs. Even the forum has a lot of paid content. For example, reading how to ensure self-safety in battle for beast masters requires 10 Qingqing coins. Reading my selfie illustration, reward 100 Qingqing coins to add the host on Feixin, requires 10 Qingqing coins. The serialized novel that year, The Grassland Above My Head, costs 1 Qingqing coin per chapter. It's becoming less and less serious. But not everything requires money, there are also ways to make money. For example, providing important information. Like the three leader level exotic beasts that Lu Mei provided today, with pictures and evidence, it's considered high quality information. Each piece of information earns 1,000 to 2,000 Qingqing coins. Overall, Lu Mei didn't suffer much today. And Qingqing coins can be discounted for cash withdrawal or traded with others. It's very convenient. Since the app charges money everywhere and there's nothing much to play, Bai Chen and the others strolled around the small Qingqing town. They gained a lot of new experiences that can't be learned from textbooks. Bai Chen saw a nice little backpack and bought it, planning to give it to Little Mouse Brother. This way, when it finds treasures in the future, it won't have nowhere to put them. They also bought some charcoal and a lighter, just in case they can't find food again. The others also bought some small trinkets. At night, they had a dinner together at a restaurant and enjoyed a feast of exotic beasts. It has to be said, it was delicious. Zhao Meng's belly was so full that she couldn't walk. Finally, the day came to an end. Taking stock of the day's achievements, it can be said that they gained a lot. Cash earnings reached 1. 127 million yuan. They took their first steps into prosperity. As for the 880 yuan, they were scammed, let's not mention it. 
Zhao Meng wanted her share of the money, but Bai Chen casually gave her a few hundred yuan to dismiss her. She can't even get money from Bai Chen. As for Nangong Qianxue, she's a little rich woman who doesn't lack money at all. In addition, Bai Chen, Zhao Meng, and Nangong Qianxue all advanced to level 2. Their strength has greatly increased. They can now plan tomorrow's itinerary. Shang Yuan Yuan and the others couldn't keep up with Bai Chen's pace, so they wisely didn't continue to hold them back. So, the three little heads squeezed together, staring at Bai Chen's phone. If you want to get rich, you must first build the road, and don't. Ugh, what does that even mean? It should be, if you want to do a good job, you must first sharpen your tools. The map should be opened, and since Bai Chen now has 1000 Qingqing coins, they will unlock it up to 10 kilometers. They'll keep 100 Qingqing coins for emergencies. It's true that spending money on things is good. The map is marked in great detail, with each exotic beast's activity range clearly defined. For those with fixed nests, like the Martin's Den, it's even more precise. Even the strength and quantity of the exotic beasts inside have approximate data. And it's updated in real time. For example, the three leader level exotic beasts killed by Baichen and the others today have already dimmed, and the time of their deaths has been marked. They will be refreshed after midnight. There is also the strongest exotic beast within a radius of 10 kilometers, an 8 level leader level exotic beast called the Bloodthirsty Demon Wolf. It has over 30 grassland wolves under its command and is extremely powerful. The suggestion given on the map is not to provoke it if you are below the black iron level. After discussing it, the three of them had serious differences of opinion. Zhao Mengxiang wanted to go find the wandering sheep herd in the west and insisted on eating a whole roasted lamb. Unexpectedly, there really was a sheep herd on the grassland. Bai Chen wanted to provoke leader level exotic beasts everywhere and sell beast spirit pearls to make some money. Nangong Qianxue suggested a steady approach, starting with exotic beasts below level 5 and gradually improving their levels. In the end, they decided to rely on Bai Chen's super poison resistance and cat poop beads to deal with venomous snakes, scorpions, and other highly toxic exotic beasts. After reaching an agreement, they each went back to their rooms to sleep. Nangong Qianxue paid the money. Although Qingqing Town's facilities were a bit run down, the fees were really high. They dared to charge 1800 for a single room and a standard room. Bai Chen casually reported tax evasion, fire code violations, and involvement in illegal activities at a store, and then kept a low profile. The next day, after eating 30 beef buns and drinking three bowls of ostrich egg soup, they entered the Qingqing grassland with full bellies. The first stop was to pick up Little Rat Brother. It had been waiting outside Sheep Village for a long time. In Little Rat Brother's arms, there were over a dozen cat poop beads. After returning last night, Little Rat Brother actually searched through all the previous ferret caves just to bring treasures to Baichen. It was full of loyalty. Yesterday while shopping, Baichen learned that these cat poop beads were much more valuable than low-level detoxification pills. They could be sold for 500 yuan each. So, Baichen gave the small backpack he bought for 5 yuan yesterday to Little Rat Brother. It was overwhelmed with gratitude. Baichen felt a little embarrassed. Maybe next time, he would buy a 10 yuan one for the child. The next stop was the level 5 grassland viper. Riding on the flying sword, they arrived at their destination in a few minutes. It was a dark cave. Looking at the gray-brown poisonous snakes below, with arms as thick as a person's and over 2 meters long, constantly wriggling, even Fudi Xiaomang lost her appetite. Little Rat Brother was even more scared and shrank back. These were its natural enemies. Well, on the Qingqing grassland, any carnivorous animal was its natural enemy. But Baichen didn't care. It was just small change. After confirming that the grassland viper had no other skills besides its strong venom, Baichen took the sword spirit and rushed into the snake group. The viper group was startled and scattered, leaving bite marks on Baichen's legs and buttocks. But there was no harm at all. If it were someone else, they would have died from so much poison. Even detoxification pills wouldn't be able to save them. Only Baichen could be so fierce. Ferrets could eat venomous snakes like snacks. Baichen was almost the same now. The sword spirit had no flesh and blood, so it didn't care about the venom. Baichen wielded the long sword like cutting melons and vegetables, slaughtering the grassland vipers. Zhao Meng ate a special detoxification pill, cat poop bead, in advance and happily dug up these salt pearls behind Baichen. When there was no more space, she simply rinsed them with water and ate them. Little rat brother didn't dare to get close at all. It couldn't help in the battle. Suddenly, a dark green mist rose up around them. The surrounding plants made a sizzling sound as they were corroded. It was clearly highly toxic. A leader-level exotic beast, the venomous viper, appeared. 
Species, Venomous Viper, Level, Level 5 Leader, Strength, 150, Agility, 150, Constitution, 100, Energy, 100, Skills, Venomous Mist, Rapid Projection, Strangulation, Personality, Cold, Weakness, Fear of Fire, Soft Abdomen. It was extremely powerful in all aspects. It was as thick as a thigh and had a huge body that was 6 or 7 meters long, giving people a great shock. Zhao Meng didn't have time to dig for the beast soul pearl. She swallowed another white morning's detox pill given to her, transforming into a dark night cat demon and pounced forward. White morning also bestowed her with the war encouragement and beast spirit armor. With the double blessings and the detoxifying effect of the cat shit pearl, the dark night cat demon would not be in danger for a short period of time. As a leader level exotic beast, the venomous viper snake had a certain level of intelligence. It knew that when fighting humans, it should eliminate the beast tamer first. Then the beast girl's strength would greatly decrease or even be severely injured. It would be much easier to deal with the beast girl later. Therefore, the venomous viper snake's first reaction was to deal with white morning. It suddenly shot out, as fast as lightning. It was a skill, rapid shot. Although white morning was prepared, she still couldn't dodge in time, only managing to slightly avoid a fatal blow. The venomous viper snake took advantage of this and entangled her, launching a strangulation attack. With its immense strength, it tightly bound White Morning, continuously tightening its grip. The suffocating pressure made it difficult for White Morning to breathe. Even with her strength and power, she was still slightly inferior. Fortunately, Zhao Meng was outside. The Dark Knight Cat Demon's claws shot out and scratched the venomous viper snake. At this moment, the venomous viper snake couldn't move and could only passively endure the attacks, getting scratched until its flesh was mangled and its internal organs were about to be exposed. However, White Morning's power was so great that the expected broken bones and shattered internal organs did not occur. It was impossible to defeat White Morning in such a short time. When did a beast tamer have such great strength? Could the opponent be a black iron level beast tamer? But the aura didn't seem like it. In the triangular head of the venomous viper snake, there was confusion. However, it couldn't hesitate any longer. Its belly was about to be scratched open. It gave up the strangulation. The venomous viper snake slipped off white morning and launched a rapid shot, swallowing the dark knight cat demon in one gulp. Unexpectedly, the venomous viper snake, a small cat demon, had just as much power as white morning. Despite the squeezing of its muscles, it couldn't crush the dark knight cat demon in its belly. On the contrary, the dark knight cat demon became even more excited inside the venomous viper snake's belly. The venomous viper snake had strong scales and defense. However, it had a soft spot in its belly. Forcibly swallowing the Dark Knight Cat Demon was like digging its own grave. Under the crazy scratching of the Dark Knight Cat Demon, the venomous viper snake rolled in pain and struggled, but it was all in vain. Finally, the massive body of the venomous viper snake fell down, completely lifeless. The Dark Knight Cat Demon crawled out from inside, shaking off the blood and flesh. E.W. So disgusting. Ah, I'm dirty. And you're taking pictures. At this moment, White Morning's phone happened to capture the scene of the Dark Knight Cat Demon emerging from the venomous viper snake's huge mouth. Then it took a panoramic shot of the surroundings and a close-up of the snake leader. All the materials were ready. White Morning first uploaded the information that the prairie viper snake's nest was destroyed and the snake leader was killed. Then she wrote a post titled Shocking. She killed the snake leader in this way. With pictures, venomous viper snake attributes. Reading requires 10 Ching Ching coins. The whole operation went smoothly. The black line next to the exotic space teleportation array was the internet cable. However, it could only be used to log into the Qingqing Prairie app and couldn't make phone calls. It was like a large local area network, which was pretty good. Since the photos provided by White Morning were very clear and there was no photoshopping in this world, the review process was very fast. She received 2,000 Qingqing coins as the first reward. In addition, White Morning's post fully showcased the characteristics of the UC Shock Department, attracting a large number of people to click and read. The income quickly exceeded 2,000 Qingqing coins and was still growing rapidly. The peak reading period would be in the evening. It was estimated that with just this one post, White Morning's earnings would exceed 10,000. White Morning had figured out how to play the Qingqing Prairie app. With money in hand, she generously bought the Prairie Viper Snake Illustrated Handbook and the first one is the most detailed version. 50 Qingqing coins, no big deal. Viper gallbladder, precious medicinal material, can improve eyesight when eaten raw. Recommended price, 100 Qingqing coins per piece. Viper venom sack, can be used to make poison and poison weapons. Recommended price, 50 Qingqing coins per piece. Viper skin, used to make snake skin armor. 
Recommended price, 10 Xingqing coins per piece. Viper meat can be used to make snake soup. Recommended price, 2 Xingqing coins per kilogram. Wow, this includes everything about the grassland vipers. It's really making the most of it. It's worth buying. Although there is no illustration of the viper leader, I believe the usable parts are similar, just have to figure out the prices on your own. While Bai Chen was figuring out how to make some money, the night cat demon was feeling nauseous. She was rolling on the grass and shouting, so disgusting. I need a bath. I need a bath. Bai Chen, on the other hand, was collecting beast soul beads, venom sacks, and gallbladders, casually responding, don't rush, let's collect the spoils first. These snake corpses, especially the viper leader, must not be wasted. It's all money. Peeling the snake skin is too troublesome, and the price of snake meat is too low. Only the valuable parts need to be taken. By the way, send the little mouse brother to explore deep into the snake den and search for treasures. Where there are leader level exotic beasts, there are most likely treasures. In this battle, a total of 5 white beast soul beads, 100 venom sacks, and 100 gallbladders were obtained. There are also the beast spirit beads, venom sacks, gallbladders, and snake skins of the viper leader. Altogether, it's worth over a hundred thousand. Bai Chen really likes this kind of money-making speed. But the most expensive things are for their own people to consume. The beast spirit beads are given to Zhao Meng, and the beast soul beads are given to Nangong Qian Xue. Zhao Meng is indeed an S-level beast girl, with a high absorption efficiency, awakening a new skill again. Poisonous Mist The little mouse brother successfully found a spirit fruit from deep inside the snake cave. Poisonous fruit, a first-grade spirit fruit, when consumed, greatly increases one's own toxicity if not poisoned to death. This means it's real. Bai Chin couldn't help but look at the night cat demon. What are you doing? The night cat demon felt uncomfortable being stared at, even stopping her wiping motion. Seeing Bai Chen's gaze, she felt that something was wrong. There are always troublemakers trying to harm me. It's nothing, just wanted to give you a spirit fruit to eat. You're not trying to poison me, are you? The poisonous fruit is bright red, very similar to the poison apple in the queen's hand. Forget it. I won't eat it. I'll eat it myself. Bai Chen said as he stuffed it into his mouth. Swish. A gust of wind flashed by, and the poisonous fruit in Bai Chen's hand appeared in the night cat demon's hand. In order to snatch the food, she used her extreme speed skill. Creak. The night cat demon finished eating the poisonous fruit in a few bites. Hmm, it's quite delicious. The night cat demon smacked her lips. Suddenly, her stomach twisted in pain. Bai Chen, you really wanted to poison me. Isn't it because I often snatch your food, often fight with you, often ruin your love life, often? Do you have to go that far? Hearing this, Bai Chen really didn't want to give her any more cat dung beads. Forget about poisoning her. But considering that she is the only time traveler he can communicate with, adults should not hold grudges against children. Forget it, forget it. He stuffed a cat dung bead into her mouth. The toxin hadn't been relieved yet. He continued to stuff them in. Bai Chen ended up giving the night cat demon over 10 cat dung beads before she finally recovered. Ha! Huh? My poisonous mist skill has greatly increased its range. The toxicity has also increased a lot. The poisonous claw skill has also been strengthened. So eating poisonous fruits has this effect, give me more. Wow, just as she recovered, she wanted to eat more. Truly a foodie. Bai Chen used his true side eye to check the night cat demon's attributes and found that after eating the poisonous fruit, the poisonous mist skill had become a growth skill. The poisonous claw skill had also become a growth skill. In other words, the night cat demon can increase the strength of her skills by eating poison. Bai Chen decided to give it a try and handed her a viper venom sack. Here, try eating this. The night cat demon didn't think much and just stuffed food into her mouth whenever she saw it. She didn't learn from her previous lesson at all. In fact, given Zhao Meng and Bai Chen's relationship, she didn't believe he would poison her at all. It was all just a joke between the two of them. Ha! Huh? Both skills have been slightly enhanced again. Bring it on! Bai Chen was never stingy with his own people, he could give all 100 snake venom pills to the night cat demon. Oh, there's no effect anymore. After eating only a few dozen, she unexpectedly developed resistance. Then let's try this big one. Bai Chen took out the venom sack of the snake leader and handed it to the night cat demon. This time, the two skills evolved together. Venomous mist. Venomous claw. The effects greatly increased. Is there no more to eat? The night cat demon asked, rubbing her round belly. No more. Bai Chen was speechless. Then let's hurry up and take a bath. I can't stand it anymore. She didn't care about these things when she was eating. After eating, the night cat demon suddenly became anxious. In order to not dirty her true form, she didn't even dare to transform back into a human. 
All right, all right. Bai Chen opened the map and quickly found a small stream nearby. Whether to say it or not, having a map was indeed very convenient. After confirming the location, the night cat demon asked Bai Chen to carry her on his sword and fly over. But Bai Chen also found it dirty. It made the night cat demon want to give up. She had to go on her own. As an agile beast girl, the night cat demon quickly arrived at the stream after confirming the direction. Looking at the trickling stream, the night cat demon excitedly plunged in. Finally, she could take a good bath. The smell of blood on her body was too strong. Rinse it out. I love taking baths. My skin feels so good. La la la. Ah. Something bit my butt. The night cat demon, who was happily bathing, suddenly screamed. Bai Chen, who was nearby, hurried over upon hearing the sound. But what he saw was the night cat demon surrounded by a dense swarm of piranhas. Even through the stream, he could feel the sharpness of their saw-like teeth. The strong smell of blood on the night cat demon's body was like a signal for them. It wasn't surprising that so many piranhas appeared. Bai Chen finally realized that the map had marked the presence of piranhas in the stream. He had forgotten about it. Although they were only second-level piranhas, their bite force was extremely strong. Almost no exotic beast dared to enter the stream easily on the grassland. At this moment, the night cat demon's small body was covered in dozens of piranhas, making it almost impossible to see her figure. Ah, Bai Chen, save me. Gurgling. The night cat demon was being dragged underwater by dozens of piranhas. There were even more piranhas lurking around. Without her needing to shout, Bai Chen used his super healing, war encouragement, and beast spirit armor. He used all kinds of skills. Although her injuries were healed and the beast spirit armor blocked the piranhas' mouths, the night cat demon was still being dragged deeper into the water by the piranhas. If this continued, she would drown even if she wasn't bitten to death. Use venomous mist. Use venomous mist. Bai Chen shouted loudly. The night cat demon faintly heard Bai Chen's shout. In panic, she quickly released the venomous mist she had just learned and enhanced. The originally clear stream instantly turned into a dark green color that was permeating and spreading. The piranhas around her all turned belly up. Finally freed from the predicament, the night cat demon said angrily, Today, I want to eat grilled fish. Then she waved her little paw and threw all the belly up piranhas onto the shore. Bai Chen took the opportunity to take pictures and record it. Super strategy. She actually killed countless piranhas in this way. Anyone can do it. Picture, reading requires, 10 chinching coins. The title is almost too long. There isn't much useful material on the piranhas' bodies. The drop rate of the beast soul beads is also not high more than 100 piranhas, only 3 white beast soul orbs were obtained. However, it was effortless and very easy. Bai Chen planned to use this method to kill all the piranhas in this stream. Even if everyone knew his strategy, they wouldn't be able to kill any. The dissected piranhas can be used to make nests, a perfect way to recycle. Just as Bai Chen was about to reveal his plan, the night cat demon suddenly said, I just saw a black iron box underwater. Treasure chest? Bai Chen, who often played games, immediately understood. Probably. The night cat demon's eyes lit up. At this point, she was no longer afraid of the piranhas and jumped in. The treasure chest was not big, and with the night cat demon's strength, she easily brought it up. It was indeed a black iron treasure chest. Unexpectedly, there were such good things in the beast space. It can only be said that the two of them were ignorant. Everyone who has been to school knows about treasure chests. Let me see what's inside. The night cat demon excitedly opened the treasure chest. It was a transparent bead. Inside, there was a huge piranha shadow with a small piranha in the middle. What is this? The night cat demon couldn't figure it out and immediately put it in her mouth. She didn't learn her lesson at all. Bai Chen quickly stopped her and then activated the true side eye. Gigantification skill orb, consumed by beast masters, there is a certain chance to obtain the gigantification skill. It turns out that beast masters can also acquire skills. After hearing Bai Chen's explanation, the night cat demon excitedly jumped up and stuffed the skill orb into Bai Chen's mouth. Eat it quickly. I want to become bigger. Being small was a pain in the night cat demon's heart. Finally, she could become bigger. Could she not be excited? With Bai Chen's SSS level talent, the absorption rate was extremely high, and the night cat demon immediately obtained the gigantification skill. After just learning it, the night cat demon clung to him and used it. The originally half meter long night cat demon became 5 meters long, twice the size of an adult tiger. Finally, she had a majestic appearance. After becoming bigger, I wonder if my appetite will also increase. The night cat demon excitedly tried it out. She stuffed the poison piranhas that were flipped on the ground into her stomach, swallowing dozens of them in no time. 
truly a cat. After seeing fish, she couldn't even wait to cook them and just wanted to eat them. No, 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 we still need these fish to make nests. Bai Chin quickly stopped the night cat demon and then explained his plan. It had to be said that using this method to obtain beast soul orbs was really fast. By using dozens of piranhas to make nests, hundreds of piranhas quickly appeared around them. As for the original poison mist, it had already been washed downstream and diluted in the stream. Another three beast soul orbs were obtained. After changing locations seven or eight times, the night cat demon's energy was exhausted, and a total of 30 beast soul orbs were obtained. First, the night cat demon was upgraded. It only took 16 white beast soul orbs to successfully break through to level 3. After leveling up, all their stats were fully restored. This was the effect Bai Chen wanted. Unlimited endurance. Excitedly, Bai Chen and the others followed the stream upstream, almost wiping out all the piranhas in the entire stream. As a result, they obtained another 20 beast soul orbs. The night cat demon reached level 4. Even Nangong Qianxua reached level 3. Even Little Mouse, surprisingly, broke through the level restriction and reached level 2. In general, it was rare for a beast to surpass its own level restriction. Little Mouse was quite exceptional. It could be said that meeting Bai Chen was a stroke of luck in its life. Enough to be recorded in Mouse history. If there was one. When the night cat demon jumped into the water again to poison the fish, a big guy suddenly emerged from the bottom of the water. An 8th level black scaled crocodile. The dark night cat demon, who was about to release poison, along with dozens of attracted piranhas, were all swallowed by the black scaled crocodile in one bite. Its immense biting force almost crushed the cat and the fish together. Species, black scaled crocodile, level, level 8, strength, 300, agility, 100, constitution, 200, energy, 50, skills, bite, death roll, personality, cold, weakness, weak closing force. It is indeed worthy of being an 8th level exotic beast, with attributes stronger than those of a leader level exotic beast below level 5. The western dark knight cat demon, although it has a high length, only has 150 points of strength. It is twice as weak as the black scaled crocodile. But the dark knight cat demon is not alone in battle. She still has Bai Chen. War inspiration. All attributes plus 100%. Enlargement. Strength plus 100%. With the combination, it surpasses more than half. The mere 300 points of strength of the black-scaled crocodile are simply not enough to be seen. The Dark Knight Cat Demon first pried open the mouth of the black-scaled crocodile and slammed it to the ground. The earth trembled from the impact. After several rounds of slamming, the black-scaled crocodile was completely finished. It was only at this moment that Bai Chen noticed. They were too excited by the poison fish that they had already broken through 10 kilometers and arrived deep in the Qingqing grassland. Not far away, a group of emerald green eyes stared at them intently. They unexpectedly encountered a pack of grassland wolves. The leader was a blood red one, about the same size as the enlarged dark knight cat demon. It was the grassland wolf leader, the bloodthirsty demon wolf. Species, bloodthirsty demon wolf, level, level 8 leader, strength, 600, agility, 300, constitution, 300, energy, 100, skills, frenzy, blood armor, blood recovery, personality, bloodthirsty, weakness, fear of poison, weakness after frenzy. Goodness, they actually encountered the overlord of this area. They were really unlucky. If the bloodthirsty demon wolf could hear Bai Chen's thoughts, it would definitely tell him that this was not a coincidence. It came to find Bai Chen. Just downstream, its tribe was originally going to drink water, but one by one, they were all poisoned. The entire stream was actually contaminated. This was too much. Who did this despicable act? It was so angry that it led its tribe and followed the stream all the way up. Finally, it found the culprit. Damn humans. How dare they pollute their water source. Today, they must be crushed. Eaten up. At this moment, options appeared before Bai Chen. Option 1, successfully escape. Completion reward, agility plus 10. Option 2, kill the bloodthirsty demon wolf. Completion reward, all attributes plus 10. Option 3, kill the 5 leader level demon wolves of the Qingqing grassland. Bloodthirsty Demon Wolf, Swift Wind Demon Wolf, Dark Demon Wolf, Flame Demon Wolf, Ice Demon Wolf. Completion Reward, Basic Swordsmanship, Option 4, Kill the Lord Level Exotic Beast, the Silver Moon Pale Wolf. Completion Reward, Swordsmanship Mastery, the Bloodthirsty Demon Wolf was already powerful, even if the Dark Knight Cat Demon was in full state, it still fell short. After going into a frenzy, its attack power could double. Moreover, there were dozens of grassland wolves around, eyeing them greedily. There was simply no way to fight. They couldn't even handle one, yet the system wanted them to deal with five. It even wanted them to kill the lord level exotic beast, 
the silver moon pale wolf. What a joke. Retreat. Bai Chin picked up the dark knight cat demon and the little mouse, jumped onto the flying sword, and left in a hurry. However, they couldn't escape at all. After Nangong Qian Shui carried Bai Chen, their speed greatly decreased. They were much slower than the bloodthirsty demon wolf, but about the same speed as the ordinary grassland wolves. And these grassland wolves, especially the bloodthirsty demon wolf, held a strong grudge against Bai Chun. Because the bloodthirsty demon wolf's weakness was fear of poison. And Bai Chen had contaminated the entire water source, so they were all poisoned now. How could they not be angry? The bloodthirsty demon wolf understood humans, especially these low-level humans. Their energy was very low, and they probably wouldn't last long. And that was exactly the case. This place was more than 10 kilometers away from Sheep Village, and Nangong Qianshui, carrying Bai Chen, couldn't fly that far. By then, Bai Chen and the others would become food for the grassland wolves. I'm just eating a little bit of poison fish, not raiding your wolf den, is it necessary? Bai Chen looked at the wolves chasing closely behind him, feeling speechless. This is not a solution. Bai Chen quickly figured out a solution from the weak point of the bloodthirsty demon wolf. Dream, poison them. All right. The nightcat demon spat out a large cloud of poison mist towards the pursuing grassland wolves below, enveloping the entire wolf pack within a hundred meters. If it could poison piranhas in water, it could certainly poison them in the air. This was its territory. The already slightly poisoned wolf pack was now completely incapacitated. Even the bloodthirsty demon wolf's movements slowed down significantly. It's effective. Keep going. Bai Chan and the others stopped running and began circling the grassland wolf pack. As soon as the deadly mist cooled down, they immediately sprayed another mouthful. After a few rounds, they didn't even need to lift a finger. All the grassland wolves were poisoned to death. Even the bloodthirsty demon wolf was left in an extremely weakened state, with only less than 10% of its strength remaining. Kill. Bai Chin descended from the sky and pierced the bloodthirsty demon wolf with his sword. All attributes plus 10. Moreover, the grassland wolves were of high level, so the probability of obtaining beast soul orbs was also high. Out of dozens of grassland wolves, they obtained 10 white beast soul orbs. Bai Chin didn't waste the bloodthirsty demon wolf's beast spirit orb either, giving it to the night cat demon to consume. The more similar the attributes, the higher the probability of comprehending skills. Coupled with the night cat demon's S-level talent, it successfully comprehended the skill blood recovery. It could obtain energy from blood and quickly recover from injuries. Now, the night cat demon with six skills was powerful enough to fight a leader-level exotic beast of the same level. Of course, they still had to take photos and post on the app. The bloodthirsty demon wolf, the dominator of a generation, who killed it? Picture, reading requires, 10 Xingqing coins. They also spread the news of the bloodthirsty demon wolf's death on the app. With this series of actions, Bai Chen earned tens of thousands of income. How satisfying. Currently, Bai Chen's account had accumulated 50,000 Qingqing coins. It was time to splurge. They fully expanded the map. They initially thought that a basic exotic beast space wouldn't have a large area. However, it turned out to be 100 kilometers deep. In the previous life, it would have been a large city. The most powerful exotic beast known on the Qingqing grassland was a level 10 lord level exotic beast, the Earth Mad Lion. It was a tier higher than the leader level and even the Black Iron 9 stars experts would find it difficult to contend with. It was not something that apprentice beast masters and beast girls could handle. However, this lord level mad lion slept for at least 22 hours out of the 24 hours in a day. It spent most of its time in the deepest part of the grassland, far away from the sheep village, and rarely interacted with humans. So, there was no trouble. On the other hand, the newly emerged Lord Level Silver Moon Azure Wolf was ambitious and had the intention of dominating the Qingqing grassland. It had already subjugated the Flame Demon Wolf and the Frost Demon Wolf, and its subordinates numbered over a hundred. For the Beast Girls on the Qingqing grassland, it was a huge threat. The authorities even dispatched several Black Iron Level Beast Girls to hunt it down. However, the Silver Moon Azure Wolf was very cautious and always managed to evade them in advance. Moreover, with its speed, ordinary Black Iron Level Beast Girls couldn't catch up to it. In the end, the authorities could do nothing but advise everyone to avoid the wolf pack as much as possible. However, Bai Chen wanted to try and kill the remaining two demon wolves. He was really interested in that basic sword technique. At this moment, Bai Chen only knew how to swing the sword randomly without any technique while holding the sword transformed by Nangong Qianshui. If he could really learn the basic sword technique, his combat power would increase significantly. He could truly join the battlefield. Since someone on the app mentioned that the Flame Demon Wolf and the Frost Demon Wolf had already been subjugated by the Silver Moon Azure Wolf, Bai Chen was ready to deal with the remaining two. 
However, one of the wolf packs roamed in the west without a fixed den, so it wouldn't be easy to find them this is when the Chingching Grassland app comes into play. Bounty Mission, Location of the Gale Demon Wolf or Dark Demon Wolf. Reward, 10,000 Chingching Coins. Baichen posted a bounty mission. It's Baichen. He's going to kill another leader-level exotic beast. Baichen has already killed two powerful leader-level exotic beasts today and even discovered a fast way to kill the mermaids. He's amazing. I checked. Baichen just registered his account yesterday. Could it be a high-level player coming to bully the beginners? That's so mean. It seems like he's going against the wolf pack. It looks like the Lord Level Silver Moon Azure Wolf is also looking for these two demon wolves. I really want to meet this Baichen. I know him. I know him. He's actually a high school student. That's nonsense. How can a high school student be so powerful? Have you paid off your mortgage? Have you bought the soul orb to level up your child's beast? Can you afford to go to the hospital? Stop wasting time and go find the demon wolves. Indeed, no matter which world it is, netizens are always good at nonsense. Baichen waited while eating barbecue. Today's barbecue included roasted viper, roasted mermaid, roasted crocodile tail, roasted bloodthirsty demon wolf. It was truly a feast. Among them, the taste of the roasted crocodile tail impressed the three of them. Zhao Meng alone devoured ten caddies of it. Still not satisfied, she ran to the creek and caught two black-scaled crocodiles, chopped off their tails, and put them in Baichen's dimensional space, ready to continue eating later. Finally, some useful information appeared on the post. Someone found the dark demon wolf, and they uploaded a photo as proof. Baichen, did you take this photo with a landline? It's so blurry. Paparazzi, of course, I wouldn't dare to get close. Makes sense. Baichen didn't bother arguing and headed towards the location mentioned by the paparazzi. It was more than 20 kilometers away from the three of them, and it would be difficult for Nangonki Angsu to fly Baichen over there. Walking would be too tiring. Suddenly, Baichen saw a group of level 3 wild horses grazing not far away. This could work. Since horses in the previous life could be tamed, why not the horses in the exotic beast space? With this in mind, Baichen suppressed his aura, took the two beasts and a sword, lowered his head, and stealthily approached. Taking advantage of a white horse's inattention, Baichen leaped onto its back. The white horse was startled and tried to shake Baichen off by kicking its hooves, but its strength was no match for Baichen. Baichen firmly held onto the horse's neck and forced it to run towards the direction of the dark demon wolf. At first, the white horse tried to resist, but after being disciplined by Baichen a few times, it obediently followed. However, Baichen always rewarded and punished accordingly. Since the white horse was so obedient, Baichen decided to give it a soul orb as a reward. It was unimaginable for a herbivorous animal like a horse to have the opportunity to eat a soul orb in its lifetime. With the reward of the soul orb, the white horse ran even faster. In less than half an hour, they successfully arrived at their destination, where they saw a group of beast tamers and beast girls in the grass. Upon seeing Baichen and the others, they became somewhat nervous. In the exotic beast space, sometimes encountering humans was more dangerous than encountering exotic beasts. After scanning the surroundings, Baichen didn't pay them any mind and casually asked, Who's the paparazzi? That's me. One of the beast tamers in his twenties raised his hand. Did you guys find the dark demon wolf? Baichen asked again. Yes, yes. Are you Baichen? The paparazzi was shocked. The legend turned out to be true. Baichen really was a high school student. Yes, where is the dark demon wolf? With Baichen's confirmation, the paparazzi became extremely excited. He had another big scoop. But before that, they needed to complete the bounty mission. The paparazzi pointed to the shadow on the hill ahead and said, the dark demon wolf is skilled in stealth and is resting in the shadow of that hill. Baichen activated his true sight. Sure enough, he saw the dark demon wolf. And only it. It's a lone wolf. But for this kind of stealthy assassin type exotic beast, it's actually more discreet and convenient to travel alone. Species, Dark Magic Wolf, Level, 9th Level Leader, Strength, 500, Agility, 600, Constitution, 300, Energy, 300, Skills, Stealth, Shadow Claw, Dark Shroud, Personality, Reclusive, Weakness, Light Aversion. With its high agility and stealth abilities, it's very difficult to deal with. The only advantage is that it doesn't have any minions. And its stealth ability has no effect under Bai Chen's true sight. It's time to act. The Dark Knight Cat Demon swiftly pounced out. At the western level, she already had 200 points of agility. With the boost from the War Inspire, coupled with the extreme speed skill, she is just as fast as the Dark Magic Wolf. The Dark Magic Wolf was immediately entangled. One had Shadow Claw, the other had Venomous Claw, both causing high damage. 
However, the Dark Knight Cat Demon had Bai Chen's powerful healing abilities behind her. And she could also replenish her energy from the Dark Magic Wolf's blood. The Dark Knight Cat Demon fought more bravely, completely overpowering the Dark Magic Wolf. Seeing that something was wrong, the Dark Magic Wolf prepared to escape by stealth. It relied on this ability to evade human pursuit and even the submission of the Silver Moon Azure Wolf. It also used this ability to hunt exotic beasts and humans. Unfortunately, its previously invincible stealth was completely useless in front of Bai Chun. Where do you think you're going? Bai Chen threw out his flying sword, hitting the Dark Magic Wolf and knocking it out of stealth. The Dark Knight Cat Demon pounced and continued scratching. The Dark Magic Wolf panicked and created a Dark Knight around it. Then it transformed into a shadow, blending into the darkness. Its effect was so powerful that even Bai Chen's true sight couldn't detect it for a while. The Dark Knight Cat Demon simply spat out a large cloud of poison mist, enveloping the entire darkness. This was a poison mist that even the bloodthirsty Magic Wolf feared, so the Dark Magic Wolf was naturally not spared. After three layers of accumulation, the weakened Dark Magic Wolf could no longer maintain its dark domain and fell out of the darkness. The Dark Knight Cat Demon's venomous claw struck its throat. The Dark Magic Wolf was currently in a weakened state and couldn't dodge, resulting in its instant death. The terrifying night assassin on the grassland was killed just like that, without even being able to escape. The paparazzi who were secretly watching from the bushes were dumbfounded. Are high school students this powerful nowadays? Quick, let's leak this information. We can definitely make a fortune. I think it's better not to cause trouble. Yes, yes, this big shot also likes to post. If we steal his thunder, I'm afraid we won't be able to leave the grassland. After a brief discussion, the Westerners didn't dare to waste any more time and quietly left. They guessed correctly, Bai Chin indeed posted again. Whether it made money or not was not important. But showing off was really satisfying. Now, who in the forum doesn't call him Master Bai? As soon as the new post was published, a large number of people started following it. Bai Chin noticed that someone wanted to buy the Dark Magic Wolf's Beast Spirit Pearl from him. The offer was 1 million. They must have been attracted by the stealth ability. This skill could be useful for almost any beast girl. Even if they added another zero, it would still be worth it. It's equivalent to a house in a big city. While Bai Chen was browsing the forum, feeling a bit conflicted, he looked up and saw the Dark Knight Cat Demon stuffing a pearl into her mouth. Shut up. Don't speak with your mouth full. Gulp. What's wrong? The Dark Knight Cat Demon swallowed the Beast Spirit Pearl and looked at Bai Chen with a puzzled expression. Ah, uh, nothing. I just wanted to tell you that you just ate a house in a big city. What house? The Dark Knight Cat Demon gave Bai Chen a disdainful look and then excitedly said, I've comprehended the stealth ability. Now I can secretly do bad things, he he. This luck is truly beyond words. She even comprehended the difficult to obtain stealth ability. Nandong Qianxue was envious to the point of tears is this the advantage of making a contract with an SSS level beast tamer? Nandong Qianxue looked at Bai Chen with increasingly fiery eyes. Throughout the battle, Bai Chen remained on his white horse, maintaining a handsome posture. He seemed to have a strategic and commanding presence. Nandong Qianxue couldn't help but secretly take several pictures of his back. So handsome. Might as well make a post. Account registration, enchanting knight. This is Bai Yi. Let's all experience his captivating handsomeness together. Pictures, pictures, pictures. As soon as the post was published, it immediately attracted a lot of attention. And as a wealthy woman, Nangong Qianxue didn't charge anything. For a while, there were countless readers. He's really handsome. He's handsome and powerful. I really want to be his beast companion. I'll reward 10,000 Qingqing coins for Bai Ye's contact information. Flower Blooms and Riches has followed you. Wow. It seems that Nangong Qianxue has mastered the secret to gaining popularity, using Bai Chen to increase her own following. She's really clever. It's a pity she doesn't have a business mind and is offering free reading. Just as Bai Chen was browsing the forum, preparing to find information about the Swift Wind Demon Wolf, a group of grassland wolves suddenly appeared on the surrounding grassy slopes. They formed a large pack and surrounded them. On the high grassy slope, a handsome silver giant wolf looked down on them from above. Even in the silver wolf's eyes, one could see a human-like anger. It was the lord-level exotic beast, the Silver Moon Grey Wolf. Species, Silver Moon Grey Wolf, Level, Level 10 Lord, Strength, 1000, Agility, 1000, Constitution, 1000, Energy, 1000, Skills, Fierce Strike, Moon Pursuit, Copper Skin Iron Bones, Silver Moon Slash, Personality, Ambitious, Suspicious, Weakness, None Powerful and Balanced in All Attributes, with a combination of offensive and defensive skills, and even long-range attacks. No weaknesses. 
truly worthy of being a legendary lord level exotic beast, impossible to defeat. Furthermore, beside the silver moon gray wolf, there were a red, a blue, and a green wolf, all three of them being leader level demon wolves. And there were hundreds of grassland wolves. Even the black dagger that followed behind to protect Nangong Chinchua felt a sense of despair upon seeing this formation. The silver moon gray wolf was feeling frustrated. It had originally planned to subdue the five leader level demon wolves on the Qingqing grassland and then challenge the veteran lord, the earth-shaking lion. It had finally managed to subdue the swift wind demon wolf and was preparing to continue subduing the bloodthirsty demon wolf, but now it had been killed. It had just obtained the trace of the dark demon wolf, but once again it was too late. However, this time, they had caught the culprits. It turned out to be a few such weak humans. They must make them pay the price. Suddenly, Bai Chen spoke up. Let's talk. The silver moon gray wolf was taken aback. Bai Chen was actually speaking in the language of beasts. He could actually speak the language of beasts. What do you want to talk about? You killed two of my capable subordinates. What is there to talk about? The silver moon gray wolf couldn't hide its anger. However, for Bai Chen, this was a good thing. As long as there was intelligence, there was an opportunity for communication. First of all, they weren't your subordinates, and secondly, they're already dead. Even if you wanted to revive them, you couldn't. So, let's talk about what comes next. What comes next? I'll help you kill the earth-shaking lion and assist you in becoming the new ruler of the Qingqing grassland. Upon hearing this, the silver moon gray wolf was intrigued. Although they were both lord-level exotic beasts, the earth-shaking lion had been the reigning ruler of the Qingqing grassland for many years. The silver moon gray wolf had only become a lord a few days ago. The gap between them was huge. It would be almost impossible to take down the earth-shaking lion with just these two subordinates by its side. Even if they added the swift wind demon wolf, the chances of success were not great. Perhaps, cooperating with the humans in front of them was a good opportunity. How can I trust you? Humans were cunning, and the silver moon gray wolf couldn't trust them. You should know that I am a beast tamer and have no combat power. You just need to send a step wolf to guard by my side. Bai Chen had already guessed from the suspicious nature of the silver moon azure wolf that it didn't trust him and had prepared a response. After hesitating for a moment, the massive head of the silver moon azure wolf nodded in agreement. However, the wolf it sent to guard Bai Chen was not an ordinary step wolf, but a swift wind demon wolf. Is this a new mount for me? Bai Chen jumped onto the back of the Swift Wind Demon Wolf without hesitation. Oh woah! The Swift Wind Demon Wolf growled in anger. As a leader-level exotic beast, it was being treated as a mount. This was too much. Bai Chen ignored the anger of the Swift Wind Demon Wolf and looked towards the Silver Moon Azure Wolf. They were still about 70 to 80 kilometers away from the territory of the Great Earth Lion. It would probably take a beast tamer two days to travel that distance. The Silver Moon Azure Wolf understood this and nodded in agreement. Bai Chen finally had a stable mount in the form of the Swift Wind Demon Wolf. With its imposing 5 meter long figure, it was incredibly cool as a mount. Bai Chen couldn't help but take a selfie and ask Zhao Meng to take a panoramic shot from a distance. Demon Wolf Mount. The choice of a real man. Pictures, pictures, reading requires, two Qingqing coins. Now, Bai Ye's work has become a high quality endorsement on the forum. As soon as it was released, it immediately attracted a large number of viewers. What the hell? Bai Yi was offering a reward for the swift wind demon wolf, why is he writing it himself? Using a leader level exotic beast as a mount, that's too awesome. Wait, look at the background, isn't that, the silver moon azure wolf? No way, no way, what's going on here? As everyone discussed, Bai Chen enjoyed the pleasure of showing off while making money. One word, it felt great. Bai Yi, tonight, let's witness the rise of the grassland dominator. What the hell, Bai Yi, what are you planning? You're not going to fight the Great Earth Lion, are you? That's a lord-level exotic beast that has ruled the grasslands for many years. Bai Yi, did you collaborate with the newly crowned lord, the Silver Moon Azure Wolf? Can humans communicate and cooperate with exotic beasts? Could it be? Bai Yi made a contract with the Silver Moon Azure Wolf? Bai Ye's beast companion is a black cat, I've seen it in many posts. What's the situation, Bai Yi? Can you reveal a bit more information? We're willing to pay. Bai Yi, don't worry, the results will be revealed soon. Bai Chin rode on the back of the swift wind demon wolf, chatting and joking with everyone on the forum. Even with the speed of the step wolf, it would still take several hours to cover a distance of 70 to 80 kilometers. After all, neither humans nor exotic beasts could maintain full speed running for a long time. It would be too exhausting and what's the point of fighting then? Along the way, whenever they encountered exotic beasts, Bai Chen would ask the wolf pack for help in dealing with them. 
it was reasonable to request a boost in strength before a battle. Although the Silver Moon Azure Wolf was on the verge of going berserk, it agreed after considering the request. With the help of the Wolf Pack, they easily swept through, and the Nightcat Demon smoothly reached level 5. In the process, Bai Chen also leveled up. When they finally arrived at the territory of the Great Earth Lion, the sun was already setting. From a distance, they saw a majestic golden lion, sound asleep. Species, Great Earth Lion, Level, Level 10 Lord, Strength, 2000, Agility, 800, Constitution, 2000, Energy, 1000, Skills, Frenzy, Earth's Rejuvenation, Lion's Armor, Lion's Roar, Personality, Domineering, Weakness, Sleepy, Cannot Leave the Ground This Strength was much stronger than the Silver Moon Azure Wolf. Moreover, there were more than 10 lionesses around it. Among them, there were even several leader-level lionesses. No wonder the Silver Moon Azure Wolf wanted to recruit more leader-level demon wolves as assistance Baichen sent a distant photo to the Earth Lion and left a message on the forum. Baichen, brothers and sisters, get ready, I'll report the results to everyone later. At this moment, Baichen was presented with options again. Option 1, assist the Silver Moon Azure Wolf in killing the Earth Lion. Completion reward, Lion Soul Protection. Option 2, betray the Silver Moon Azure Wolf and take the opportunity to kill it. Completion reward, Wolf Soul Protection, Option 3, Kill the Silver Moon Azure Wolf and the Earth Lion. Completion reward, Beast Soul Protection, it's another skill. The rewards are very tempting. Moreover, the previous tasks of killing the Silver Moon Azure Wolf and the Five-Headed Demon Wolf are still ongoing. The stacked rewards are even more enticing. The system wants Baichen to play the betrayal route. After careful consideration, Baichen gathered with the Silver Moon Azure Wolf and secretly discussed a strategy. They quickly reached a consensus. The first step was for the Nightcat Demon to stealthily approach the Lion Group. They would first assassinate a leader-level Lioness to reduce the enemy's high-end combat power. Then, the Nightcat Demon would release a potent poison mist to weaken the Lion Group. Next, it would be a battle between soldiers, with the Silver Moon Azure Wolf using its speed to distract the Earth Lion. The Icefire Two-Headed Demon Wolves and the Nightcat Demon would each deal with three leader-level Lionesses. The other grassland wolves would assist in the fight. The goal was to quickly eliminate all the lionesses and then gang up on the earth lion. The swift wind demon wolf would protect, monitor, Baichen. The previous steps went smoothly. However, some trouble arose during the process of dealing with the lionesses. The ice fire two-headed demon wolves were no match for the leader level lionesses, even with the assistance of many grassland wolves. They were being overwhelmed. This couldn't go on. The ambitious Silver Moon Azure Wolf was willing to sacrifice ordinary grassland wolves to make up for the gap. Under the command of the Silver Moon Azure Wolf, the grassland wolves fearlessly attacked the leader-level lionesses. The Icefire Demon Wolves stepped aside and launched sneak attacks with their blazing and icy arrows. As leader-level beasts, their magical arrows easily pierced through ordinary beasts. Even though the lionesses had astonishing defenses, they still suffered huge wounds. The ordinary grassland wolves took advantage of the wounds and fiercely bit into them. Soon, the lionesses were left bloodied and fell to the ground. However, the grassland wolves paid a great price. Out of hundreds of them, less than a hundred remained, and each one was injured. The only fortunate thing was that two leader-level demon wolves survived. Ordinary grassland wolves couldn't inflict any damage on the earth lion, no matter how many there were. They still needed the assistance of the leader-level demon wolves. The Nightcat Demon was also no match for the leader-level lionesses. Even with Baichen's full support, the Nightcat Demon was still covered in wounds. However, the Nightcat Demon's greatest strength was its endurance. It had the ability to recover blood, making it almost invincible in this blood-soaked battlefield. Not to mention Baichen's super healing ability. As long as they weren't instantly killed, they had a chance to continue fighting. With the Nightcat Demon's fierce fighting style of exchanging injuries, the last leader-level lioness slowly fell. Finally, they could join forces to deal with the Earth Lion. Roar! Seeing the wolves about to surround it, the Earth Lion let out a roar that instantly killed over a dozen heavily injured grassland wolves. The remaining grassland wolves, including the Silver Moon Azure Wolf and the Night Cat Demon, were all stunned. The Earth Lion activated its berserk skill, its body emitting a bloody light as its power surged once again. With its huge lion claws the size of grinding discs, it swiped at the Silver Moon Azure Wolf with tremendous force. Even though the Silver Moon Azure Wolf had tough skin and strong bones, it was still turned into a bloody mess with a single swipe. Oh whoa! The Silver Moon Azure Wolf let out a long howl, awakening the rest of the grassland wolves. The Ice Fire Demon Wolves quickly released their flame and ice arrows to attack however, the powerful magic attacks were only able to leave shallow scars on the golden skin of the Earth Lion, 
hardly causing any effective damage. The Silver Moon Grey Wolf opened its mouth and released a half-curved Silver Moon, finally leaving a deep wound on the Earth Lion. Taking advantage of the opportunity, the Dark Knight Cat Demon pounced forward, its venomous claws digging into the Earth Lion's body, inflicting serious injuries. The Earth Lion, in pain, quickly shook off the Dark Knight Cat Demon and its body emitted a golden light. It was the Lion Armor skill. When the golden light appeared, the flame arrows and frost arrows had no effect. Even the attacks from the Silver Moon Grey Wolf were useless. Its defense was too strong. However, instead of launching a counterattack, the Earth Lion planted its hind legs firmly in the ground and remained motionless, as if it were asleep. It was known that the Earth Lion had a tendency to sleep, but it was impossible for it to fall asleep in such a fierce battle, of course. The Earth Lion was actually using the Earth Rejuvenation skill. As long as its feet were on the ground, it could continuously draw energy from the Earth to heal its injuries. Sure enough, the wounds on the Earth Lion's body were healing at a visible speed. Everyone could only watch helplessly as it recovered, unable to do anything. Soon, the Earth Lion was fully restored. The combination of Lion Armor and Earth Rejuvenation was simply unbeatable. To kill the Earth Lion, it would have to be lifted off the ground. However, the Earth Lion was over 10 meters long and weighed tens of thousands of kilograms, making it impossible to lift it off the ground. Even the Silver Moon Grey Wolf felt hopeless. But Bai Chen, through his true sight, saw the problem from the Earth Lion's state. Although the Earth Rejuvenation skill healed the Earth Lion's injuries, it did not eliminate the toxin damage caused by the Venomous Claws. It was similar to Bai Chen's super healing ability, which could not remove negative effects such as toxins. There was still hope. The combination of Venomous Mist and Venomous Claws was unbearable even for a Lord-level exotic beast. However, the Venomous Mist also affected the Silver Moon Grey Wolf and the others. The Silver Moon Grey Wolf wanted to refuse, but Bai Chen reassured them, the Earth Lion would suffer from the attack of two types of venom, while they would only be affected by a little venomous mist. In the end, the Earth Lion would definitely be the first to fall. The Silver Moon Grey Wolf thought it made sense and decided to give it a try. As soon as the venomous mist cooled down, the Dark Knight Demon would spew it out. The Silver Moon Grey Wolf would then use the Silver Moon Slash to leave deep wounds on the Earth Lion's body, and the Dark Knight Cat Demon would follow up with the venomous claws along the wounds. Their cooperation was quite tacit. The Earth Lion wanted to crush the small Dark Knight Cat Demon, but it was too agile. After attacking, it would hide and become invisible, making the Earth Lion extremely frustrated. With the accumulation of toxins, the air within hundreds of meters had turned almost dark green. The Earth Lion's condition continued to deteriorate. Victory was within reach. However, during the process of restraining the Earth Lion, the Silver Moon Grey Wolf was covered in blood and had numerous wounds from the Earth Lion's attacks. It had also accumulated a large amount of toxins and was not much better off than the Earth Lion. As for the Ice and Fire Twin Demon Wolves, they were already unable to stand due to the poison. Finally, the Silver Moon Grey Wolf seized the opportunity and knocked down the Earth Lion, using the Silver Moon Slash to strike its relatively vulnerable belly. In an instant, blood and flesh splattered, and the ground was covered in internal organs. The Dark Knight Cat Demon took the opportunity to pounce and delivered a Venomous Claws attack to the Earth Lion's internal organs. Such injuries would be difficult to heal even with Earth Rejuvenation. In fact, the Earth Lion could no longer stand up, let alone use Earth Rejuvenation. The battle finally came to an end. However, the end was just the beginning of something new. The Silver Moon Grey Wolf, who had just unleashed the Silver Moon Slash, suddenly opened its mouth and lunged at the Dark Knight Cat Demon. At the same time, a Swift Wind Demon Wolf, who had been lurking nearby, received the message and turned around to bite Bai Chen on his back. The situation had reached a critical point. The previous cooperation had just ended, and both sides had become enemies. Bai Chen knew that Yin Yu Tsan Lang was a suspicious character and had been on guard against him. In the instant that the Jifeng Demon Wolf turned his head, the sword spirit transformed by Nangong Qianxue had already deeply pierced the neck of the Jifeng Demon Wolf. The first strike pierced through the throat, instantly killing it. At the same time, a black light suddenly appeared on the Dark Knight Cat Demon. The beast spirit armor firmly blocked the Silver Moon Song Lang's bite. The Dark Knight Cat Demon and the Silver Moon Song Lang fought fiercely. At this moment, the Dark Knight Cat Demon no longer suppressed its strength and transformed into a 5 meter giant cat, fighting against the Silver Moon Song Lang. The Silver Moon Song Lang was deeply poisoned and its strength greatly diminished, no longer a match for its opponent. It was almost completely suppressed by the Dark Knight Cat Demon. After dealing with the Jifeng Demon Wolf, Bai Chen also rushed forward with the Sword Spirit. He first dealt with the Ice Fire Demon Wolf that had lost its combat power, gaining the basic sword technique. At the same time, 
he absorbed the surrounding lion souls, forming a golden armor around his body. Then he transformed into a swordsman and left deep wounds on the silver moon song Lang one after another. The Dark Knight Cat Demon followed these wounds and struck with its venomous claws, using the same method it used to deal with the mighty lion. The Silver Moon Son Lang never expected that a beast tamer would have such powerful combat strength. It tried to counterattack desperately, but it couldn't break through the lion's soul armor. This was a skill rewarded by the system after killing the mighty lion. It could collect the souls of the just-deceased lion-type exotic beasts and turn them into its own armor. The armor formed by the many powerful lion-type exotic beasts lying around was something the Silver Moon Son Lang couldn't break through. The final counterattack failed, and the Silver Moon Son Lang fell completely. Bai Chen and the Dark Knight Cat Demon dispersed and killed the remaining dozens of grassland wolves that hadn't died yet. Finally, it was all over. Bai Chen gained the mastery of swordsmanship and the beast soul armor skill. He could use all the beast souls as his armor. Unfortunately, he didn't have a container to collect the beast souls at the moment, so he could only let the powerful exotic beast souls in front of him dissipate. However, their beast spirit pearls and beast soul pearls were still intact. There were over a hundred white beast soul pearls. There were also seven leader-level beast spirit pearls and two lord-level beast spirit pearls. They hit the jackpot. Bai Chen gave the silver moon Isan Lang's beast spirit pearl to Nangong Qianxue. Even though she was the young lady of the Nangong family, she was extremely tempted when she saw this lord-level beast spirit pearl. It was a rare and valuable item. The mighty lion's beast spirit pearl was given to the dark knight cat demon. With this lord-level beast spirit pearl and their good talents, they could almost 100% comprehend the skills. Nangong Qinshua comprehended the Silver Moon Slash, the most powerful attack skill of the Silver Moon Son Lang, which was highly compatible with her sword spirit. Now Nangong Qinshua had gained a long-range attack skill. Surprisingly, the Dark Knight Cat Demon comprehended the lion's roar. A little cat that could roar like a lion, how terrifying. In addition, with the 100 Beast Soul Pearls, Zhao Meng reached level 6, Nangong Qinshua reached level 5. The remaining ones were given to Little Rat, helping it break through to level 3. In the territory of the Mighty Lion, Little Rat found a patch of 1-star Earth Gold Fruits, which could greatly increase physical fitness. Bai Chen and the others each ate several, even Little Rat tasted them. Everyone increased their physique by 10 points. Eating more would have no effect. Bai Chen collected the remaining dozen or so fruits, as each one could be sold for 10,000 on the app. In addition, Little Rat also dug up a gold spirit mine. This was an extremely precious ore for forging armor equipment. Just adding a little bit could greatly increase the defense of the armor. This vein of ore was worth at least millions when fully mined. For this reason, Bai Chen also rewarded Little Rat with the Beast Spirit Pearl of the Flame Wolf. Unexpectedly, Little Rat comprehended the skill of Flame Arrow and broke through to the western level again. The mining task was entrusted to Little Rat, while Bai Chen went around taking photos. A new post was generated. Battle over. Who is the new grassland overlord? Image, 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 reading requires 100 Qingqing coins. By now, the sky has darkened, and most of the beast tamers and beast girls have returned to Qingqing town. They are all paying attention to Bai Chen's information. When a new post is generated, a large number of people flock to it. As for the 100 Qingqing coins, who cares? Who doesn't want to get such important news as soon as possible? The official reward alone is as high as 100,000. After all, it is the news of the deaths of two lord-level exotic beasts. There are also many top-tier leader-level exotic beasts. In just an instant, the profits from reading have reached 100,000, and they are still growing at an extremely fast pace. It seems that as long as you have the Qingqing Grassland app, even if you are not in Qingqing Town at the moment, you are still paying attention to this matter. Damn it! They're all dead. Bai Yi actually killed two lord-level exotic beasts. What kind of immortal existence is Bai Yi? So, who is the new overlord of Qingqing Grassland? Two lord-level exotic beasts and those powerful leader-level exotic beasts, all dead. I'm afraid Qingqing Grassland will become a beginner's paradise for a long time. Bai Yi has rewritten the history of Qingqing Grassland. So awesome. But there are also different opinions. It's just using a move to drive away wolves and tigers, what's so great about it? Without Bai Chen, personally speaking, someone started to criticize. If you can do it, then go ahead. If you can't, then stop talking nonsense. Being able to maneuver between two powerful lord-level exotic beasts and become the ultimate victor, ordinary people would have turned into dumb long ago. Have the guts to say it to Bai Ye's face, don't hide behind the internet like a keyboard warrior. At this time, Bai Chen couldn't be bothered with the rapidly jumping information. He happily had a barbecue party with Zhao Meng and Nangong Qianxue. 
They were grilling the meat of the Earth Mad Lion and the Silver Moon Azure Wolf. It was full of energy and delicious. Bai Chen stored the animal skins in the dimensional space. As for Little Mouse, it somehow tamed a bunch of Earth Fire Mice and was busy mining the Golden Spirit Ore. This is the territory of the Earth Mad Lion, and there is a strong and intense smell of blood in the surroundings, so ordinary exotic beasts dare not approach. Bai Chen and the others can camp freely in the wilderness. At this time, the tent prepared by Bai Chen finally came in handy. However, when they entered, Bai Chen's dimensional space was still relatively small, so they only brought one tent. They didn't plan to stay overnight anyway. After all, no newbie would dare to stay overnight in Qingqing grassland. They didn't expect to venture so far in. So, let's squeeze a bit, it'll be warmer, there's no other choice. Let's take turns keeping watch, Nangong Qian Xuet suggested. If it was just the two of them, there would still be some space left in the tent, not too crowded. No need, little mouse can guard. Bai Chen took the lead and crawled in, lying down in the middle. I'm coming too. Zhao Meng jumped in and stepped on Bai Chen. Then the two of them started fighting inside the tent. Outside the tent, seeing the two figures entangled, Nangong Qian Xuet had a black line on her face. She really didn't want to crawl in. But the Qingqing grassland at night was very cold. Moreover, sitting alone outside the tent, she felt a bit scared. After struggling for a while, she finally crawled into the tent as well. When they woke up in the morning, the three of them were completely entangled together. The scene was indescribable. Nandong Qianxue had heavy dark circles under her eyes, like a panda. She didn't sleep well last night. She was pressed down by the two of them at one point and tried to push them away, but she couldn't resist the strength of the two powerful guys. Nandong Qianxue was so angry that she turned into a sword spirit. However, maintaining the state of a sword spirit requires constant energy consumption and staying awake. Nangong Qianxue couldn't hold on until midnight and turned back into human form in a daze. That's how the scene in the morning came about. Nangong Qianxue was the first to crawl out of the tent, desperately straightening her wrinkled clothes but when I think of last night's scene, Nangong Qianxue's white jade-like cheeks turn red. Zhao Ming's face appeared as usual. It's just sharing a bed, she has done it countless times with Bai Chen and is used to it. Bai Chen slept well and woke up at dawn. Lucky him. After collecting the gold spirit ore that the earth fire rat had been digging all night, they had a simple meal of roasted meat and prepared to head back. If they didn't hurry, they would have to spend another night in the wilderness. Nandong Qianxue didn't want that to happen again. Even the black dagger that was following her for protection couldn't bear to see it. It was impossible for her to travel alone. She needed to tame a mount. Bai Chen rode on his flying sword, searching all the way. First, he came across a group of zebras. These guys were supposed to be herbivores, but they were aggressive. He killed them all but couldn't tame one. No wonder he never rode a zebra in his past life. He continued searching and came across a group of wild buffaloes. They were still aggressive and unwilling to submit. He searched and killed along the way. Nandong Qianxue had already reached level 6, but they still couldn't tame a mount. Just when Bai Chen was feeling frustrated, a graceful and majestic leopard appeared in front of him. It was actually a leader-level exotic beast, the wind-chasing leopard. With Bai Chen's current strength, he could easily traverse the Qingqing grassland. A mere leader-level exotic beast was nothing to him. However, the wind-chasing leopard had a clear goal, as if it was coming for Bai Chen. When it saw Bai Chen, it immediately bowed its head and presented a bag of first-grade spirit fruits, the clear wind fruits. What's going on? Bai Chen was confused. I want to become the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland and I'm asking for your help. The wind-chasing leopard said in the language of beasts. It actually knew that Bai Chen could communicate with exotic beasts. At the same time, options appeared before Bai Chen. Option 1, kill the wind-chasing leopard. Completion reward, plus 10 strength. Option 2, help the wind-chasing leopard break through to the lord level and become the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland. Completion reward, plus 100 to all attributes. Option 3, help the fire spirit rat break through to the lord level and become the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland. Completion reward, become the king of the Qingqing grassland, plus 100% to all attributes in the Qingqing grassland, and the ability to instantly appear in any corner. Killing the wind-chasing leopard had too little reward, not worth it. Helping the little rat become the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland had extremely generous rewards. It was almost equivalent to controlling the entire Qingqing grassland. Having an exotic beast space sounded tempting. Unfortunately, it required an enormous amount of resources to cultivate the lowest level earth fire rat into a lord level exotic beast. Even if it reached the lord level, with the little rat's talent, it would probably still struggle to defeat an ordinary leader level exotic beast. 
so it was better not to bother. Let's make the wind chasing leopard the new overlord. Through the true side eye, Bai Chin discovered that the wind chasing leopard's attributes were not much worse than the silver moon gray wolf. Its agility was even close to 2000 points. Breaking through was just a step away. It had a great chance of becoming the new overlord. What benefits will I have after you become the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland? Bai Chen wouldn't do things for nothing. I will offer you 10 white soul beads or a spirit fruit every day. The wind chasing leopard presented its conditions. That was equivalent to 10,000 a day. It sounded great. Bai Chen readily agreed. The first step was to help the wind chasing leopard break through to the lord level. This was very simple. Bai Chen fed it the beast soul bead that the gale demon wolf had dropped and it successfully broke through. For exotic beasts, the quality and energy of the beast soul bead far surpassed that of the soul bead. Moreover, the gale demon wolf and the wind chasing leopard had very similar attributes. So the absorption rate was extremely high. For the wind chasing leopard, who was already at the door, it was a matter of course. As a result, the wind chasing leopard transformed into the hurricane demon leopard, doubling in size once again. It was over 10 meters long, giving off a tremendous sense of pressure. Next, they had to deal with several leader level exotic beasts that posed a significant threat for example, the leaders of the black scale crocodile, golden horn rhino, and giant elephant. These leader level exotic beasts are scattered throughout the Qingqing grassland, each with their own territory. If it were up to Bai Chin alone, it would probably take him a week to kill them all. But with the help of the hurricane magic leopard, the problem becomes much simpler. After breaking through to the lord level, with full speed, the hurricane magic leopard can reach any part of the Qingqing grassland in almost an hour. It is not easy for the hurricane magic leopard, who usually travels alone, to deal with those leader level exotic beasts among the group of exotic beasts. But with Bai Chen's help, it is not a problem at all. At the end of the day, Bai Chen's pocket was filled with 5 leader level exotic beast spirit beads and 50 to 60 beast soul beads. Now, Bai Chen no longer lacks money so he simply consumes all the spirit beads himself. The Dark Knight Cat Demon has comprehended the power of the giant elephant. Not only does its strength double, but its size also doubles. A small cat demon with the power comparable to a giant elephant is truly incongruous. Bai Chen couldn't bear to watch it anymore. The main reason is that he found that his strength is still inferior to Zhao Meng. Nandong Qianxue has comprehended armor breaking. It greatly increases the damage to heavily armored exotic beasts. The other spirit beads all failed to comprehend. Even with their talent, they couldn't achieve a 100% success rate. Finally, before it got dark, the system's task was completed. Bai Chen's overall attributes increased by 100 points. With Zhao Meng reaching level 7, his level also increased to level 7. Name, Bai Chen, Talent, SSS Level, Level, Level 7 Apprentice Beast Tamer, Strength, 330, Agility, 310, Constitution, 200, Energy, 820, Contracted Beast, Zhao Meng, Dark Knight Cat Demon, Skills, True Sight, Strong Healing, Dimensional Space, War Encouragement, Beast Spirit Armor, Enlargement, Beast Soul Protection, Sword Mastery, Super Poison Resistance, Beast Language Proficiency The trip to the Qingqing Grassland was fruitful. Now, the Qingqing grassland is no longer of any interest to Bai Chen. It's time to go back. On the way back, on the back of the hurricane magic leopard, Bai Chen posted again. I appoint it as the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland. Pictures, 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 reading requires 100 Qingqing coins. The pictures are photos of the hurricane magic leopard stepping on the bodies of various powerful leader level exotic beasts. They were taken at Bai Chen's request. Damn, another lord level exotic beast has appeared. What do you mean by his appointment? Could it be that Lord Bai? Wow, Lord Bai is truly a legendary figure who creates history. Witnessing a new chapter in the history of the Qingqing grassland. The attraction of the new post is much greater than the previous one. After all, a new overlord has appeared, and anyone who wants to make it in the Qingqing grassland needs to know about it. At the same time, they truly realize the terrifying aspect of Lord Bai, especially Lu Mei she deeply regrets her actions. For a few hundred bucks, she has offended such a powerful existence. It seems that there is no place for them in the Qingqing grassland anymore. Thinking of this, Lu Mei and Feng Fei dare not stay any longer and immediately want to leave. But they see a terrifying figure rushing towards them from a distance. Ordinary leader-level exotic beasts cannot possess such momentum. Could it be? Thinking of this, Lu Mei and Feng Fei tremble in the grass, hoping not to be noticed by that powerful presence. Hey, Fei Gu, look, there's someone on the hurricane magic leopard. Lu Mei suddenly exclaims, that's a lord level exotic beast, the new overlord of the Qingqing grassland. 
Who dares to ride on it? Fong Fei secretly peeks out from behind Lu Mei and indeed sees someone on the Hurricane Magic Leopard. And it's someone they are familiar with. It's Lord Bai. Damn, what kind of immortal have we offended? Fong Fei is on the verge of tears. At the same time, Bai Chen also sees them. Hey, finally found you too. Bai Chen was still holding a grudge from the last time he was deceived. He had been wanting revenge for a long time. And now, it came knocking on his door. Seeing the head of the hurricane demon leopard, which was even bigger than himself, reaching out, Fong Fei was so scared that he fell to his knees and burst into tears. Master Bai, please forgive us and let us go. Lu Mei was also trembling with fear, but she forced herself to speak in a sweet voice, Master Bai, we are willing to give you all of today's gains, no, all of our assets. And also, I offer myself to you. You can do whatever you want with me. Please spare us. It was just a matter of a few hundred bucks. There was really no need to kill anyone. They were so scared that Bai Chen felt embarrassed. Are you sure you want to offer yourself to me? Bai Chen suddenly asked. Lu Mei's eyes lit up. Could it be that Master Bai was interested in her? Yes, innocent young boys like her, a mature woman. If she could get close to Master Bai, the future would be limitless in terms of money. Lu Mei wanted to approach him. But when she saw the terrifying hurricane demon leopard, she became a little scared. So she put on a shy and charming look and said, Um, Master Bai, from now on, I am yours. You can do whatever you want with me. Feng Fei had no objections at all. He was even excited. When one person succeeds, everyone around them benefits. If Lu Mei could get close to Master Bai, he would also gain many benefits. Nangong Qianxua, on the other hand, was filled with jealousy. She could accept Bai Chen being intimate with Zhao Meng because Zhao Meng was already very beautiful and had a close relationship with Bai Chen. But seeing Bai Chen being attracted to this enchanting woman in front of her, she couldn't accept it. Was her charm not enough? Do men really prefer women who are shabby and mature? It seemed that she needed to make some changes herself. However, Bai Chen was not the kind of person they thought he was. He wanted to subdue Lu Mei for another purpose. Alright, I need a representative in the Qingqing grassland, and it will be you. The hurricane demon leopard agreed to offer 10 white soul beads or a first grade spirit fruit as a tribute every day. Bai Chin didn't have the energy to stay here all the time, so he really needed a representative. Hearing this, Nangong Qianxua blushed and realized that she had thought too much. Lu Mei and Feng Fei, on the other hand, looked disappointed. But being able to be Master Bai's representative was already lucky enough. When Lu Mei and Feng Fei heard that the hurricane demon leopard had to pay tribute to Bai Chin every day, they were even more shocked. Who on earth was this godlike figure? If this news were to spread, it would probably cause a sensation in the entire Qingqing town. But they didn't dare to do so. If they offended Master Bai, it wouldn't just be a matter of not being able to survive, they might even become the excrement of the exotic beasts. After introducing the hurricane demon leopard to Lu Mei, Bai Chen continued on his way back. When the sentry of Sheep Village saw a huge exotic beast approaching at high speed, they immediately sounded the alarm. Alarm! Alarm! A lord-level exotic beast is attacking. Damn, didn't they say that Master Bai killed both lord-level exotic beasts on the Qingqing grassland? Your information is outdated. Master Bai has just appointed a new lord-level exotic beast as the ruler of the Qingqing grassland. Where did another lord-level exotic beast come from? When did lord-level exotic beasts become so common? Could it be that Master Bai raised it? Stop talking nonsense and activate the defense. Damn. There are a few people riding on the back of the Lord. It's Master Bai. So young. Amidst everyone's astonishment, Bai Chen waved his hand towards the sentry of Sheep Village. Don't be nervous. We're on the same side. Damn, they were on the same side. Since when could a Lord-level exotic beast become their own? However, the leader of Sheep Village didn't dare to waste any more time. Although she was a high-ranking Black Iron Beast tamer, she had no confidence when facing a lord-level exotic beast under the gaze of everyone, Bai Chen waved goodbye to Hurricane Leopard and Rat Brother. Then he confidently walked into Sheep Village. Zhang Shui, the leader, personally came out to greet him. Although Bai Chen and his two companions looked like high school students, she didn't dare to underestimate them. In Qingqing town, ordinary merchants wouldn't dare to approach. Only the manager of Tenhua Mall, the largest mall in this area, would dare to greet them politely. I am Ma Xuxian, the manager of the Qingqing branch of Tianhua Mall. I have seen Mr. Bai. In this world, strength is respected. Beast girls, as the main combat force, occupy key positions in various industries. So whether it's a commander or a manager, they are mostly beast girls. Ma Xuxian, although a businesswoman, is also a black iron level in terms of strength, making her a formidable presence in the entire Qingqing town. 
However, she still showed great respect towards the young Baichun. Baichun had heard of Tianhua Mall. It was probably equivalent to the National Chain Tea Mall in his previous life, with great influence. Baichun trusted them to sell his goods. So he kept taking things out from the dimensional space. There were two lord level exotic beasts and precious materials from over a dozen leader level exotic beasts. The main items were fur, as well as the golden horn of the golden horn rhino and the ivory of the giant elephant. Everyone's eyes widened at the sight. They finally believed that those powerful exotic beasts had all been killed by Baichin. Just these resources alone were worth millions. A group of earth fire rats had dug up millions worth of gold spirit or overnight. Unfortunately, there were not many beast spirit pearls that everyone had been hoping for. Most of them had been eaten by Zhao Mang and Nangong Chanchue themselves. The remaining ones could only be sold for a few hundred thousand. Indeed, Mr. Bai is truly powerful. I won't go into detail about these resources. How about I give you 10 million? What do you think? Ma Xuxian, as the manager of the Tianhua Mall branch, was professional. With just a glance, she offered a price that Bai Chen couldn't refuse. Deal. Three days ago, Bai Chen was a poor guy who couldn't even afford a 100 yuan ticket to the Qingqing grassland. Three days later, he had 10 million in cash. A complete transformation. Zhao Ming clamored for a share of the money. Although Bai Chen was afraid she would spend it recklessly, he still generously gave her 100 yuan. Zhao Ming's happy mouth puffed up like a pufferfish, looking very cute. Nangong Qianxua didn't need money, so Bai Chen didn't mention sharing the spoils. In addition, there were over 2 million Qingqing coins on the Qingqing Grassland app. Bai Chen had earned them by posting and providing various information. The exotic beast space was truly a magical place for making money. Of course, this was only true for powerful beings like Bai Chen. For ordinary people, the exotic beast space was like a dangerous place, and every time they entered, it was a life and death challenge. They had been away from the modern city for three days. Everyone couldn't wait to go home, take a hot shower, and sleep on a comfortable bed. So that night, they took the last bus and returned to Qingjiang County. When they returned to school the next day, there had been a huge change. Bai Chen's class had been cancelled. Those beast girls who had come for Bai Chen realized they had no chance and returned to their original schools. With the college entrance examination approaching, they couldn't afford to waste any more time. Xinjiang Middle School had limited resources, and staying here would only affect their chances of getting into college. So Bai Chen and his two companions were assigned to another class. Just as Bai Chen was about to enter the classroom, Gong Sun Outian blocked him at the door. Gong Sun Outian had become the new class monitor. Bai Chen, you three skipped class for three days without reason. Today, you will be punished by cleaning the training ground. Get out of the way, you annoying dog. Go play by yourself. Bai Chen couldn't be bothered with Gong Sun Outian and pushed him aside to enter the classroom. With Gong Sun Outian's small stature as a beast tamer, Bai Chen could easily make him cry with just one finger. How could he stop Bai Chen's footsteps? Gong Sun Outian shouted in anger, Bai Chen, I challenge you. Bai Chen couldn't help but stop in his tracks when he heard the words, What's wrong? The weather is clear, the rain has stopped, and now you think you're capable? It has to be said that Gong Sun Aotian still had some courage. He knew that Bai Chen was an SSS level beast tamer and had already been beaten once, yet he still dared to challenge him again. Bai Chen activated his true sight and took a scan, finally understanding the reason. Gong Sun Aotian had actually reached level 9. There was no doubt that he had spent a lot of money. His contracted beast was a sea level Tyrannosaurus, and he wanted to forcefully raise it to level 9 without going through any battles. The resources consumed would be at least several million. That was enough to buy a top notch villa in this small place called Qingjiang County. It was truly extravagant. No wonder he dared to challenge Bai Chen again. What's wrong, scared? Gong Sun Aotian arrogantly raised his head and looked down on Bai Chen. However, Bai Chen remained silent. He was waiting for the system to provide options. Every choice was an opportunity for improvement, and he didn't want to miss out. Ha ha ha, coward. What kind of bullshit SSS level? Trash. Gong Sun Aotian thought that Bai Chen was scared and immediately started mocking him like crazy. Forget it. I won't wait anymore, let's do it. It seemed that the system didn't take Gong Sun Aotian seriously at all and couldn't even be bothered to provide options. Bai Chen took the initiative and signaled for Gong Sun Aotian to make a move. Rude. I'm a beast tamer. How could I personally fight? Gong Sun Aotian knew how powerful Bai Chen was and quickly stepped aside, signaling for his Tyrannosaurus King Kong to take action. King Kong approached Bai Chen like a tank, making heavy thuds with each step. At level 9, she had become even larger in size. Even without transforming, she could barely fit through the classroom door. 
Class teacher Lee Ko saw this and quickly stepped forward to intervene, but was knocked off balance by King Kong and fell onto Bai Chen. Ouch. Teacher Lee has quite the figure. Bai Chen secretly sighed and finally let go of Lee Ku. Feeling the terrifying power emanating from Bai Chen, Lee Ku couldn't help but feel a bit shocked. How could a beast tamer have such immense strength? Was this the terrifying aspect of an SSS level beast tamer? Seeing that a battle was about to break out, Li Ku once again stood between the two. Let's take the fight to the training ground. All right. Bai Chen was also worried that he wouldn't be able to control himself and end up demolishing the entire teaching building, causing him to lose the hard-earned money he had made. Students from the senior third grade classes ran over to watch the spectacle, and the teachers didn't try to stop them. After the theoretical studies of the past few days, it was time for them to experience some real combat. Let them see, there was no harm in it. The ground of the training ground was made of steel to prevent it from being destroyed during battles. Here, Bai Chen could attack without worry. He also used his true sight to take a look at King Kong's attributes. Name, King Kong, Talent, Sea Level, Level, Level 9 Tyrannosaurus, Strength, 240, Agility, 80, Constitution, 160, Energy, 40, Beast Tamer, Gong Sun Aotian, Skills, Trample, Bite These attributes were higher than Lu Mei's. But compared to Bai Chen, they were far inferior. They couldn't even compare to an ordinary level 9 exotic beast. They posed no threat at all. Bai Chen, are you sure you don't need your beast companion's help and want to fight on your own? Li Ka still had some concerns. Mainly because he had never seen a beast tamer fight on their own before. When they first awakened, SSS level beast tamers might be stronger due to the additional attributes they received. But now, King Kong had already reached level 9 and had been undefeated throughout Qingjiang Middle School in the past two days. There was no opponent at all. It would be dangerous to underestimate the situation. A little Tyrannosaurus, not a big deal. Bai Chen waved his hand, not taking it seriously at all. These days, he had been killing various powerful leader level and even lord level exotic beasts. He didn't even consider these weak little beast companions. Roar! Kong's temper is still as fiery as ever. When she heard Bai Chen belittling her, Kong immediately transformed into a raging dragon and charged towards Bai Chen. The current dragon is a towering 5 meters tall and weighs several tons. It's almost in a semi-mature state. If someone were to be stepped on by it, they would turn into a mosaic. However, with the dragon's speed, Bai Chen had plenty of time to dodge when she charged towards him. Be careful. Amidst the crowd's gasps, Bai Chen effortlessly sidestepped the dragon's attack. Then, with a casual leap, he landed on the dragon's back. He became the dragon knight. No matter how the dragon thrashed about, it couldn't shake Bai Chen off. Smack. Behave. Bai Chen gave the dragon a resounding slap. It made the dragon's head buzz. The force was too strong. Roar. The dragon wanted to resist. Bai Chen smacked her again, giving her another slap. The dragon could barely stand on its feet. What's wrong with the dragon? Didn't Bai Chen just slap her twice? With her size, does she really need to be so dizzy? Even Gong Sun Aotian was a bit puzzled. How come the dragon couldn't walk properly once Bai Chen mounted her? Kong. Keep going, defeat Bai Chen, and tonight, you know. Upon hearing this, the dragon's eyes lit up, and her spirit was rejuvenated. It was all for the sake of having a big meal tonight. However, just as the dragon was about to gather herself, Bai Chen punched her in the head, knocking her down and rendering her unable to stand for a while. The scene was extremely bizarre. Could this be a rigged match? It looks like it. How could the mighty dragon be knocked down by a beast tamer's punch? It doesn't make sense. Given the grudge between Gong Sun Aotian and Bai Chen, there's no need for this, right? It can't be that Bai Chen really has such great strength, can it? Impossible. He's just a beast tamer. Where would he get such strength? Amidst the crowd's skeptical voices, Bai Chen lifted the several ton dragon and slammed her down. It was the same formula, the same taste. Only now, the dragon was heavier. Bai Chen's strength had also increased. Gong Sun Aotian quickly used healing magic to treat the dragon's injuries. The dragon trembled as she stood up. Bai Ching grabbed her tail and slammed her to the ground again. Gong Sun Aotian treated her once more. Bai Chen slammed her again. After a few times, the dragon, barely clinging to life, shouted, Stop healing. I surrender. The first sentence was directed at Gong Sun Aotian, and the second was directed at the referee, Li Ku. To show her refusal to fight, Kong even transformed back into her human form. Tears streamed down her face. She was actually crying from being beaten. It was so pitiful. At this point, everyone finally understood just how terrifying an opponent Kong was facing. Alright, from now on, you'll be in charge of cleaning the training grounds. 
Bai Qin glanced at Gong Sun Aotian and made arrangements. Why? I'm the class monitor. Gong Sun Aotian still felt a bit resentful. Even if he couldn't beat Bai Chen, he was appointed as the class monitor by the homeroom teacher. Oh, well, I'm the class monitor now. Bai Chen looked around. Does anyone have a problem with that? Everyone lowered their heads, afraid to speak up. Even the invincible dragon, who had fought and defeated everyone in the school, was made to cry by Bai Chen. Who else would dare to resist? You see, doesn't that mean everyone elected me as the class monitor? Bai Chen shrugged. Teacherly. Look at what Bai Chen did, it's too much. Gong Sun Aotian, unable to win or argue, resorted to tattling to the teacher. Bai Chen, we need discipline. You can't be so violent. Unless one day you can defeat me, you don't have the final say in this class. Li Ku couldn't bear to watch anymore. Upon hearing this, Bai Chen suddenly became interested. Mainly because the system's selection had come up again. Option 1, admit defeat to teacher Li Ku. Reward, agility plus 10. Option 2, send the contracted beast girl to defeat teacher Li Ku. Completion reward, plus 10 to all attributes for oneself and contract beast girl. Option 3, make Li Ku cry and control the entire class. Completion reward, plus 100 to all attributes. The last option is very tempting. However, it is currently almost impossible to rely on one's own strength to defeat a black iron level beast girl. Name, Li Ku, talent, C level, level, black iron 3 star golden eagle, strength, 700, agility, 1000, constitution, 400, energy, 300, beast tamer, Wang Hong, skills, eagle eye, gale, sharp claw strike, sharp beak. Although Li Ku's attributes are much lower compared to a lord level exotic beast, when combined with Bai Chen and Zhao Meng, their attributes are still inferior. Moreover, Li Ku is a flying unit. This battle won't be easy. However, there is still a chance. Li Ku has too few skills, but when combined with Bai Chen and Zhao Meng's skills, there is still a chance. Alright, Li Teacher, you said it yourself. If I win, this class will be under my control. Bai Chen responded. Ha! Huh? Li Ku was a bit confused. She only wanted to intimidate Bai Chen, but how did it become real? A newly awakened beast tamer who has only been awakened for a few days wants to fight against a seasoned black iron level beast girl? That's a joke. What's wrong, Li Teacher? Are you scared? Bai Chen deliberately provoked. Rarely does the system provide options, so it can't be missed. All right. It seems that if I don't intimidate you little ones, you won't know your place. Li Ku's fighting spirit was indeed provoked. With a thought, she transformed into a golden eagle over 10 meters long. With sharp eyes, she could pierce through a person. Only now did everyone react. Li Ku, who appeared soft and weak, turned out to be a powerful beast girl. The terrifying aura made people feel fearful and unable to muster the courage to even look up. It was too frightening. However, Bai Chen had seen too many terrifying exotic beasts, even encountering three lord-level exotic beasts. A mere black eye and three-star beast girl was nothing. Meng, get ready for battle. Bai Chen shouted, and Zhao Meng responded with a meow and transformed into a dark night cat demon, entering battle mode. Bai Chen, are you sure you want to fight? Seeing the dark night cat demon, which was still smaller than her own paw, the golden eagle was genuinely worried that she might accidentally step on her and kill her. Bai Chen nodded. Good. You have courage. But let me tell you, sometimes having too much courage can be dangerous. Li Ku made up her mind to teach Bai Chen a lesson. She spread her wings and turned into a golden lightning, charging towards the dark knight cat demon. Bai Chen's war drumming instantly surged. The dark knight cat demon swiftly dodged and flashed to the side. The golden eagle's sharp claws left long white marks on the steel ground. If it had caught its prey, it could have easily crushed their skull. The power of a black iron level beast girl was beyond the imagination of ordinary people. Seeing the dark knight cat demon dodge the attack, the golden eagle nodded secretly. Her combat awareness and reaction speed were quite good. But this was just the beginning. The golden eagle changed direction and attacked again. As it approached, it suddenly flapped its wings, creating a gust of wind. The dark knight cat demon momentarily lost balance and failed to dodge getting caught by the golden eagle's claw. Bai Chen instantly equipped her with the beast spirit armor. Even the sharp claws of the golden eagle couldn't pierce through the beast spirit armor. But it didn't matter, the golden eagle was ready to soar into the sky, taking the dark knight cat demon with her. She wanted to give her a taste of extreme free fall. She didn't believe she wouldn't surrender. However, she unexpectedly failed to catch her. A small cat that was almost the same size as her claw, she actually failed to catch her. It was because Bai Chen timely used a powerful spell. The Dark Knight Cat Demon also exerted the power of a giant elephant. 
With the combination of the two, the originally half-meter tall Dark Knight Cat Demon grew to over 10 meters. Its strength reached 750 points, slightly surpassing the Golden Eagle's strength where, can the Golden Eagle catch it? Instead, it was caught by the Night Cat Demon and pressed to the ground. Once the Golden Eagle loses its advantage in the air, it is useless. Li Ku's contracted Beast Master is Wang Hong, a teacher of Beast Mastery. He was originally just watching the excitement and didn't plan to intervene. In his opinion, Li Ku could easily handle it without assistance. Unexpectedly, things took a turn for the worse. Truly an SSS level Beast Master, so powerful. Wang Hong quickly gave the Golden Eagle a power boost. With Wang Hong's assistance, the Golden Eagle finally regained the upper hand. At the same time, its sharp golden beak pecked fiercely at the Night Cat Demon. The speed was too fast, and there was no way to dodge it. The beast spirit armor instantly shattered. The difference was too great. But the Night Cat Demon had a fierce determination and refused to let go, fighting the Golden Eagle to the death. She had a blood recovery skill and the super healing of Bai Chen behind her. She wasn't afraid of getting injured at all. But the Golden Eagle was different. Although Wan Hong also had healing skills, the effect was much weaker. After just a few rounds, the Golden Eagle's feathers were flying, covered in wounds, and even deeply poisoned. The Night Cat Demon, on the other hand, was as lively as ever, with those minor injuries already healed. I surrender. Liku finally couldn't hold on any longer. If they continued fighting, she was afraid she would be defeated by her own student. After transforming back into human form, Lika's clothes were tattered, covered in wounds, and her face was pale and purple as she lay on the ground unable to get up for a long time. This time, her clothes were truly tattered from being scratched. And the pale and purple face wasn't from anger, but from being deeply poisoned. The crowd was in an uproar at the sight of this. The teacher was actually defeated. The apprentice beast master defeated the black iron level beast master? This is too unbelievable. If I remember correctly, this black cat was just an ordinary pet cat before becoming a beast master. An SSS level beast master is really that powerful. Terrifying. No one dared to question Bai Chen's strength anymore. So, from now on, I have the final say in class? Bai Chen looked at Li Ku. Li Ku simply tilted her head and fainted. She couldn't bear to stay conscious anymore. Isn't this cheating? Bai Chen was speechless. Others could use their skills to escape, but she just fainted. That won't do. It's just because she was too deeply poisoned, right? No problem, she has the antidote. Bai Chen reached into the dimensional space and took out a cat dung bead and handed it to Li Ku. What did you give her? Wang Hong hurried over to stop her. A cat dung bead. Bai Chen spread her hands. It's actually a cat dung bead. Wang Hong, as a beast mastery teacher, obviously recognized this precious detoxification medicine. What cat dung bead? Zhao Meng, whose clothes were also torn, widened her eyes. She didn't even care about changing clothes. It's a spirit bead formed from the secretion of the grassland ferret's intestines, and it has a strong detoxification function. Wang Hong patiently explained to Zhao Meng as a teacher. So, it's basically the shit of a ferret, right? Zhao Meng still found it hard to believe. To be more precise, it's the essence of ferret shit. Wang Hong summarized seriously. Actually, there was no need to explain it so clearly. Zhao Meng's expression was as ugly as if she had eaten shit. No, she actually did eat shit. More than once. Ugh. Bai Chen, you actually fed me shit. I'll fight you. Zhao Meng pounced on Bai Chen, scratching and clawing. Fortunately, Bai Chen's strength was not weaker than hers at all, and she was not at a disadvantage. The two of them fought fiercely on the training ground. The momentum was no less than the previous battle. If you didn't know, you would think they had a deep hatred for each other. Only Nangong Qianxue had a black line on her face. She couldn't stand these two anymore. After swallowing the cat dung bead, Li Cook quickly regained consciousness. With the strong recovery ability of a beast master and the healing from a contracted beast master, she would soon be completely healed. It seemed impossible to pretend to be unconscious anymore. While holding Ling Meng's little head, Bai Chen asked Li Ku the same question again. All right, all right, you have the final say. Li Ku was speechless. Ha ha ha. Bai Chen laughed excitedly. Not only did he become the class monitor, but also the king of the class. Bring a few beast girls over here and take this little kitten away from me. Bai Chen immediately exercised his authority as the class king. The beast girls were afraid that Bai Chen would give them a hard time in the future, so they came over to help. However, even if all the remaining beast girls in the class joined forces, they couldn't shake Xiao Meng's strength. The difference in power was too great. You guys are too weak. How does teacher Li usually train you? Bai Chen couldn't help but comment. Li Ku, upon hearing this, was furious. 
It had only been a week since everyone awakened, so wasn't this situation normal? It couldn't be that everyone was as abnormal as you, right? So, if it were you, how would you train them? Li Ku asked, suppressing his anger. Of course, we would train in the beast space. Bai Chen immediately made a decision. Today is a day off, everyone go back and prepare. Tomorrow, we'll have a party on the green grassland. Li Ku became anxious upon hearing this. Going to the beast space for a party? Are they crazy? No, the green grassland is too dangerous. We must have sufficient training and be fully prepared. Bai Chen didn't care. Agreed, in this class, I have the final say. Bai Chen waved his hand and declared a day off. Li Ku couldn't defeat Bai Chen, so he had to go to Principal Lu Feng to complain. Upon hearing how powerful Bai Chen was, Lu Feng couldn't help but have some thoughts. The high school league was coming up next. Xinjiang High School, as a school in the county, had always been weak and never qualified for the competition. They thought that with the appearance of an SSS level beast tamer, there would be a reversal of fortune. But instead, they ended up forming a contract with a pet cat and became a power growth type themselves. It was a waste of training. Unexpectedly, an SSS level beast tamer turned out to be so powerful. Even if they had wasted their training, they far surpassed others of the same level and could even challenge higher levels. They were so excited. Lu Feng decided to personally go and see. Li Ku was speechless. Fine, Bai Chen went to complain. Even the principal supported Bai Chen. She was a failure as the homeroom teacher. Well, if she couldn't beat him, she would join him. Tomorrow, she would also go and see. So, the class went to the green grassland to challenge the beast space, and the plan was set. The school even specially arranged a bus for them, saving them the cost of transportation. Bai Chen personally led the team on this trip. Lu Feng, Li Ku, and their beast tamers were there for security. A group of over 40 people marched towards the green grassland. On the way, Bai Chen recommended that everyone download the green grassland app and send his invitation code to the class group. Another 8,000 yuan in his pocket. He was so happy. Nangong Qianxue had a black line on her face. You're already a multi-millionaire, do you really need to make this little money? If Bai Chen heard this, he would definitely tell her, you don't understand the joy of making money. Soon, the bus arrived at the green grassland. As soon as they got off, they were warmly greeted. Master Bai, good morning. Master Bai, you're back. Master Bai, what big plans do you have today? Bringing so many people, are you planning to overturn the green grassland? Almost everyone greeted Bai Chen when they saw him. Not only the classmates, but even Lu Feng was a bit confused. Why were they all calling him Master Bai? Why did Bai Chen have such a big reputation in the green grassland? What had Bai Chen done here? With deep doubts, everyone walked towards the entrance. Pay attention and line up properly, it's 100 yuan per person for admission. The guard shouted loudly. Suddenly, someone saw Bai Chen. Master Bai, you're here? Please come in. The guard quickly and respectfully invited him. The people in the queue around them also made way, without any complaints. Of course, who would dare to be dissatisfied with Master Bai? Did they still want to stay in the green grassland in the future? Everyone knew that Master Bai's right-hand man was the boss of the green grassland. Cough, cough, I brought my classmates to the grasslands. Bai Chin pointed to the people behind him. So these are Bai Ye's classmates, please come in, it's all free. The guard waved his hand and let them all through. Isn't this inappropriate? It's fine, Commander Zhang personally ordered it, as long as you're here, we'll receive you with the highest standards. After this conversation, Lu Fang and the others were even more confused. The leader of the beast space? That's someone on the same level as Lu Fang, but even stronger and with a higher status. Even someone like that had to show such respect to Bai Chen, how powerful must he be? He just awakened a week ago. Is an SSS level beast tamer really that strong? Lu Fang looked at Li Ku with a questioning gaze. Li Ku shrugged, indicating that he didn't know either. Seeing that Bai Chen didn't explain either, everyone could only follow him into the grasslands. Come, 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 when you're in the grasslands, you're at home. Don't be polite, feel free to do whatever you want. Bai Chen warmly greeted them. It was as if everyone was really visiting his home. Lu Fang and Li Ku were speechless. The students were both excited and nervous. After all, it was their first time in the beast space. Before this, they had heard countless terrifying legends about the beast space from the internet, their parents, and their teachers. But now, in the grasslands, under Bai Chen's invitation, they didn't feel as scared as they had imagined. Instead, they felt an excited anticipation. Suddenly, a huge red mouse emerged from the grass. An E-level Lynx beast girl transformed in excitement and pounced on it, only to be kicked far away by the red mouse. Be careful. It's a leader-level beast. 
Li Ko, with his eagle eyes, saw the attributes of the red mouse and was shocked, his nervous voice changing. Lu Fan also sensed an extraordinary energy fluctuation from the red mouse. Why is there a leader-level beast at the entrance? Don't they clean up the military camp? Since when did leader-level rodents appear in the grasslands? Lu Fan and Li Ko were filled with doubts. But there was no time to investigate these doubts, they had to quickly deal with this leader-level beast. Otherwise, there would definitely be casualties. At this moment, the leader-level beast had already pounced towards Bai Chen. How could a beast tamer possibly be a match for a leader-level beast? We must not let anything happen. Lu Fang anxiously transformed into a thunder tiger and rushed towards the leader-level beast like lightning. Bai Chen, get out of the way. Li Ku also transformed into a golden eagle and flew over at high speed. Stop. What are you trying to do? Bai Chen quickly jumped to the side, holding his little mouse brother, looking alertly at the astonishing thunder tiger and golden eagle. Were they planning to fight each other in the beast space? Wasn't it just defeating the homeroom teacher? Wasn't it just taking over the class's management? It wasn't that big of a deal. Ha! Huh? The thunder tiger and golden eagle quickly stopped in their tracks, their big heads filled with confusion. Bai Chen, you have a leader-level beast in your hands. Li Ku tried to remind him. I know. Bai Chin patted his little mouse brother's head, indicating that he was well aware. After all, he was the one who helped him level up. So, you. Li Ku didn't know what to say. The scene in front of her was too surreal. She needed to wake up and make sure she wasn't dreaming. So she turned her gaze to Lu Fang. So, you know this leader-level beast? As expected of the principal, Lu Fang immediately asked the key question. Yeah, it's my little brother. Bai Chin nodded, then turned to his little mouse brother and said, Come, say hello to everyone, these are all my teachers and classmates. The little mouse brother waved at everyone in a very human-like manner, even maintaining a mouse-like smile. Lu Fang and Li Ku were momentarily unable to accept such a magical situation on the contrary, the students have a strong ability to learn. They all came up to greet Mouse Jr. and some even had the courage to shake hands with it. Mouse Jr. responded warmly to everyone's greetings. After the greetings, Bai Chin ordered, Mouse Jr., go find some Fong Tooth rabbits for everyone to practice and roast. Upon hearing this, Mouse Jr. chattered excitedly and instantly, dozens of fire mice appeared around. They stood on their hind legs, heads held high, like disciplined soldiers. Wow, Mouse Jr. has recruited more juniors again. Under Mouse Jr.'s arrangement, the fire mice dispersed towards the Zhou dynasty. Soon, one of the fire mice returned, pointing in a direction and chattering. A fong tooth rabbit has been spotted ahead. Come on, line up according to your student numbers and challenge it one by one. Don't push, there's enough for everyone. Who's number one? Where's number one? Bai Chin translated and called out. Gong Sun Aotian and Jean Gang hesitated and stepped forward. It turns out they were number one. You're already at level nine, why bother with a fong tooth rabbit? Next, number two happened to be the lynx. Led by the fire mice, the lynx bravely moved forward. She was the first one to pounce on Mouse Jr. earlier. She's really fearless. They quickly found a fong-tooth rabbit grazing. Mutant beasts grow extremely fast, like these fong-tooth rabbits. They can have a litter of over 10 and mature in a month. So they're everywhere. Upon seeing the fong-tooth rabbit, the lynx pounced on it. The fong-tooth rabbit also noticed the lynx, but showed no fear and accelerated towards her. The fong-tooth rabbit was about the same size as the lynx, with well-developed leg muscles. With one collision, the lynx was sent flying far away, lying on the ground unable to get up for a while. Ah, it's so terrifying. Isn't the fong-tooth rabbit the lowest level mutant beast? Why is it so powerful? I feel like even if it were me, I couldn't beat it. Ah, it's charging again. With such long teeth, it might bite through the lynx. Amidst the exclamation of the crowd, the fong-tooth rabbit charged towards the lynx. Its long teeth gleamed with a cold light in the sunlight. Its crimson eyes, like a man-eating monster, scared everyone, erasing their previous sense of ease. Just as Li Ku was about to transform into a golden eagle and rush over to save the day, suddenly, a figure darted out at high speed and grabbed the fong-tooth rabbit by the ear. It was Bai Chen. He held the fong-tooth rabbit's ear and presented it to everyone, gesturing and saying, Look, this is just a rabbit. A slash to its neck and it's over, right? Being used as a teaching tool, the fong-tooth rabbit was very unhappy and gnashed its teeth while desperately resisting. Behave! Bai Chen slapped it, giving it a big slap that almost killed it. Now it behaved, no longer daring to bare its teeth. Then, Bai Chen demonstrated the fong-tooth rabbit's movements to everyone. After confirming that everyone had grasped the key points, he threw the fong-tooth rabbit aside. The fong-tooth rabbit, now free again, didn't dare to be arrogant anymore and ran away. Who's number three? 
Step up. Number three was a agile leopard beast girl, and her beast tamer happened to have a speed boost. Before the two combined, the leopard dashed out, much faster than the fongtooth rabbit. She pounced on the fongtooth rabbit, biting its throat. The fongtooth rabbit desperately resisted, kicking the leopard with its powerful hind legs, leaving scars on her body. But the leopard was determined, biting down and not letting go. Finally, the fongtooth rabbit gradually weakened and fell silent. They had finally defeated the fongtooth rabbit. It wasn't easy at all. Everyone no longer had a sense of disdain, but instead was filled with tension, even fear. At this moment, another fire mouse came to report that a small group of hyenas had been spotted ahead. They were extremely difficult mutant beasts to deal with on the grasslands. After Li Ku learned about the situation, he immediately arranged for everyone to take a detour. No need. Let's just take care of them. I have the final say here. After speaking, Bai Chen called everyone to follow. There were only about 10 grassland hunting dogs in this group. Not enough to be taken seriously. Bai Chen held the sword spirit and charged forward. He knew he was reckless, but not to this extent. Those were a group of hyenas. And you, a beast tamer, just charged in like that? Li Ku didn't think he had a guaranteed victory. Lu Fang once again transformed into a thunder tiger, ready to rescue at any time. However, in the midst of the hyena pack, Bai Chen danced like an ancient sword immortal. The exquisite swordsmanship even surprised Lu Fang. Is this a movie being filmed? Even Ah San's movies don't dare to film like this. It's too unbelievable. Maybe this is the power of an SSS level beast tamer. When in doubt, just push it up to the SSS level, since they've never seen it before. As the hyenas died, a beast soul battle armor appeared on Bai Chen's body. The more hyenas died, the tougher the battle armor became. Towards the end, he hardly needed to defend himself and could kill a few hyenas head on. That's how powerful he was. However, Bai Chen didn't kill them all, he left one. Number 1. You guys take care of the remaining one. Bai Chen put away the sword spirit, took off the battle armor, and was as clean as before. Passing through the chaotic flowers, not a single leaf touched him. This kind of elegance won the admiration of the beast girls. Lu Fang's eyes also sparkled. Jin Gang, upon hearing this, transformed into a Tyrannosaurus and charged forward. However, the hyenas, who were so fragile under Bai Chen's hands, were extremely agile in front of the Tyrannosaurus. They kept circling behind and biting its crotch whenever they had the chance. The Tyrannosaurus's tail whipped the hyenas, but couldn't cause substantial damage. Instead, the hyenas took the opportunity of the Tyrannosaurus falling to the ground to pounce and bite its lower abdomen. The Tyrannosaurus howled in pain. In the end, in the midst of the chaos, the Tyrannosaurus finally used its trampling skill to crush the hyenas' lower bodies. Even so, the hyenas were still fierce, propping themselves up with their front legs and biting the Tyrannosaurus. The Tyrannosaurus, in pain, used its tearing skill to bite the hyenas to pieces. The battle finally ended. The Tyrannosaurus was covered in wounds. Its torn clothes could hardly cover its massive body. That's why the hides of exotic beasts were more valuable. Because leather armor made from their hides not only increased defense, but also avoided the embarrassment of clothes being damaged in battle. Fortunately, Gong Sun Outian knew healing techniques, otherwise the Tyrannosaurus would have been useless for a short time. A level 5 hyena almost disabled a level 9 Tyrannosaurus beast girl. Everyone finally realized the reality. At the same time, in comparison, they finally witnessed Bai Chen's strength. He was able to pass through a group of more than 10 hyenas unscathed. And he was also a beast tamer. In the admiring gaze of everyone, Bai Chen smashed the hyenas' heads one by one and found two white beast soul orbs. It seems like you guys really need to strengthen your training. Bai Chen was very dissatisfied with everyone's performance, shaking his head helplessly. At this time, several fire mice came to report that they had found a longtooth rabbit. Next, number 6. Bai Chen pointed to a longtooth rabbit. A girl who looked like a white lotus flower stepped forward. It was the school beauty, Xu Yulan. She glanced at Bai Chen with a touch of melancholy and admiration, transformed into an eagle, and flew fiercely towards the longtooth rabbit. With her eagle claws, she tightly grabbed the longtooth rabbit's neck and lifted it up. The longtooth rabbit struggled desperately. Although the eagle flew unsteadily, it still flew with the longtooth rabbit to a height of a hundred meters. Then it suddenly let go. The longtooth rabbit died instantly upon impact. The whole operation went very smoothly, making her one of the best performers among the group. Xu Yulan seemed to have regained her original pride and stood in front of Bai Chen, showing off her beauty. I don't understand why she would be proud of killing a longtooth rabbit. Please step aside. Next, Bai Chen waved his hand, indicating that Xu Yulan could step aside. Brother Yi, I'm just a mount, I can't fight. It was Yi Ying. 
then why are you here? Ai Chen was a little unhappy. Brother Yi, please help me I'll let you ride later Yi Ying coquettishly pleaded. Ahem there are so many people here, why is it so informal? Suddenly, Lu Feng became highly nervous and immediately transformed into a thunder tiger, standing in front of everyone. Her beast tamer also activated their respective enhancement states and desperately added them to her. Teacher Li Ku, quickly take everyone away. Release the signal flare and request assistance from the station troops. Lu Fang's nervous voice trembled. Because, in front of them, she felt an extremely powerful energy fluctuation. Even the leader-level exotic beasts were far inferior. There was only one possibility, the lord had appeared. How could a lord-level exotic beast appear so close to the entrance? Lu Fang was dumbfounded. But now there was no time to hesitate, she could only hope that she could hold on. Hopefully, the students were all safe. Li Ku also noticed this and was trembling with nervousness. A lord-level exotic beast. Even she was completely no match for it. Quickly, run. All the beast girls transform. Carry people if they can. I can also carry a few people on my back. Hurry. Faster. At Li Ku's shout, chaos ensued. But Bai Chen remained indifferent. Bai Chen. What are you doing? Run. It's a lord-level exotic beast. Li Ku transformed into a golden eagle and loudly reminded him. Lu Fang, upon hearing this, couldn't help but turn around and urge him. Bai Chen. Run. Go to the military camp. Bai Chen was the treasurer of Qingjiang High School, he couldn't be lost. Looking at the chaotic scene, Bai Chen couldn't help but laugh and cry. It's okay, it's okay, this is my little brother. Bai Chen stepped forward and waved his hand, and under the nervous gaze of everyone, the hurricane demon panther slowly approached. Its head was bigger than a person's, and it affectionately rubbed against Bai Chen. Lu Fang was extremely nervous. Even she wouldn't have time to rescue them from such a close distance. Behind the hurricane demon panther, there was also a leader-level kangaroo following it. The kangaroo took out ten white soul beads from its own pouch and presented them to Bai Chen. What is this? A tribute? A lord-level exotic beast is actually paying tribute to Bai Chen. Everyone finally understood why everyone in Qingqing town was so polite to Bai Chen. Who would dare not to be polite? Making the ruler of the Qingqing grassland their little brother, this place truly belonged to Bai Chen. Lu Fang and Li Ke glanced at each other and suddenly felt superfluous. What else was there to protect? They were already at Bai Chen's home. What else was there to protect? The two transformed back into human form, shrunk to the back, and quietly watched Bai Chen show off. However, Bai Chen's next move still surprised them. At this moment, on a flat open space, there were rows of well-prepared fangtooth rabbits. Fire mice were lined up, vigorously spewing flames. As soon as one wave of flames extinguished, another wave immediately followed. Seamless connection. Under the roasting flames of the fire mice, the plump fangtooth rabbits sizzled and emitted a tantalizing aroma. The leader of the fire mice even knew to sprinkle chili powder and cumin on top. The movements were incredibly skilled. Simply magical. What was even more magical was that the lord-level hurricane demon wolf sat beside them, drooling all over the place, looking like it couldn't wait to eat. Taking advantage of the little mice's inattention, the hurricane demon wolf even tried to steal a half-cooked fangtooth rabbit. It was promptly discovered by the little mice and slapped away. Little mice, don't be impatient, let the master eat first. Hurricane demon wolf, I just wanted to taste it for the master. Up ahead, Bai Chen was still commanding. Today, only those who participate in the battle will have roast meat to eat, otherwise, you'll go hungry. Under Bai Chen's coercion, even Yi Ying's rouge horse cooperated and kicked away a fangtooth rabbit with its long legs. The most amazing one was a plant-type beast girl. Pea Shooter. Once transformed, she would take root in the soil and couldn't move but it can quickly spit out supersized peas the size of a head, smashing the head of a long-toothed rabbit with a few hits. Zhao Meng saw drool flowing from his mouth. Such a big pea, one is enough for a meal. Taking advantage of the end of the battle, Zhao Meng secretly picked up a large pea and started munching on it. The result was almost knocking his teeth out. It's too hard. He threw it to the fire mouse to cook, but it still couldn't be cooked. Zhao Meng disappointedly shifted his attention. The performance of the others was also good. With the help of the fire mouse, finding exotic beasts was quite simple. In one day, each person experienced more than 10 battles. However, the opponents were mainly low-level exotic beasts such as long-toothed rabbits, antelopes, and giant horned barbarians. The accumulated white beast soul beads obtained were less than 10. It was not as much as the tribute from the hurricane magic leopard. But for the classmates, it was quite satisfying. Finally, they experienced real battles. That kind of tense and exciting feeling really made people addicted. One couldn't help but sigh again, 
the gap between ordinary people and geniuses is really too big. In the evening, the lively barbecue party began. The classmates who had worked hard all day, with exhaustion and excitement, as well as the vigorous energy of being 18 years old, sang and danced on the grassland. It was as lively as being on vacation. Even passersby felt a sense of unreality. When did the terrifying exotic beast space become so harmonious? However, harmony was only for Baichin, they were still dangerous and cruel. Before it got dark, everyone reluctantly left the Qingqing grassland. With Baichin around, camping in the wilderness was not dangerous, but it was still inconvenient. On the way back, Lu Fang told Baichin her thoughts. You are an SSS-level genius, different from ordinary people. There is no need to waste time with them anymore. Seize the time, reach level 9 within a week, and it would be even better if you can reach the Black Iron level. There is a very important league that you need to participate in next. If you achieve good enough results, you might even be exempted from the college entrance examination. Hearing that he could be exempted from the college entrance examination, Bai Chen's eyes instantly lit up. With his level of theoretical knowledge, it would already be good if he didn't hand in a blank paper. It was almost impossible for him to rely on his own strength to get into university. At least he still had the memories of his previous life to rely on. Zhao Meng, on the other hand, really had nothing. He was definitely a blank paper candidate. Exemption from the exam was their only hope. All right. Bai Chen accepted the task without hesitation. The resources in the Qingqing grassland had been almost exhausted. It was time to go to a new exotic beast space. At this moment, Nangong Qianxua finally showed her value. Let's go to Jiangzhou City for the first mission. I'm familiar with that place. Nangong Qianxue came to the small Qingjiang County to pursue Baichen. Jiangzhou City was where she was truly familiar with. It had abundant resources and the most suitable exotic beast space for beginners in the entire Jiangnan region. When she heard that they were going back to Jiangzhou City, Nangong Qianxue immediately excitedly called for a cool off-road vehicle. The driver was a middle-aged man who looked gentle, and there was a cold and glamorous woman in black leather armor sitting in the passenger seat. Bai Chen opened his true vision and scanned them, only to find that they were both black iron nine stars. They were even stronger than Principal Lu Fong. Especially the cold and glamorous woman named Nangong Yen, she was actually a spirit tool. B-grade Xian Ming Dagger. As soon as Nangong Qianxu had got in the car, she politely greeted Aunt Yen. As for the driver, she still ignored him. It could only be said that the status of men in this world was too low. Hmm. Nangong Yen nodded slightly in response. She seemed even colder than Nangong Qianxue, but when she saw Bai Chen, a faint smile appeared on her face, and she couldn't help but praise, you're pretty good. Bai Chen didn't think much of it, but Nangong Qianxue blushed. It seemed as if she was being praised. Qingjiang County was located in a remote area, and it took three hours to drive there. Bai Chen and the others sat in the back seat and fell into a drowsy state. Zhao Meng drooled all over the place and occasionally scratched Bai Chen a few times Nangong Qianxue is much gentler now quietly leaning on Bai Chen's shoulder and sleeping. Nangong Yan not only doesn't dislike their intimate behavior, but is also filled with gratification. In a daze, Bai Chen suddenly sees a choice in front of him. Option 1, continue sleeping and get blown into the sky. Completion reward, basic healing potion asterisk 1, if there's a chance to consume it. Option 2, wake up Nangong Qianxue, kick open the car door, and fly into the sky. Completion reward, agility plus 10, option 3, alert the driver to stop immediately, then get off and dismantle the bomb. Completion reward, explosive bomb asterisk 1, after seeing the options, Bai Chen instantly becomes clear-headed. Damn it! There's an ambush ahead. According to the system, there's a life-threatening danger. What other choice is there? Bai Chen immediately sits up and loudly shouts, stop the car. Stop it now. The driver is startled but doesn't stop the car. This is a highway. We can't just stop anywhere. There's no time to explain. Seeing that the driver didn't stop, Bai Chen first picks up the sleepy Zhao Meng, grabs Nangong Qianxue, and kicks open the car door. Transform quickly. Fly out. Nangong Qianxue, who has experienced many battles with Bai Chen, has never seen him so anxious before. So she doesn't ask any more questions and immediately completes the transformation, carrying Bai Chen as they fly into the sky. At the same time, a scorching flame comes from under the car immediately followed by a deafening explosion. The mighty off-road vehicle is torn apart by the transformation, with fragments flying everywhere. Bai Chen puts on a beast spirit armor for Zhao Meng, then carries her as a shield, blocking the powerful shockwave and car debris. It's only at this moment that Zhao Meng finally wakes up. What's going on? Are we having a barbecue party? We don't have barbecue, but we have someone to roast. Bai Chen points to the flames rising below. 
neither Nangon Yen nor the driver reacted to the explosion just now. However, as a beast tamer, Nangon Yen has a strong physical constitution, so even the explosion didn't cause much harm to her. The driver wasn't so lucky, being a fragile beast tamer, he was seriously injured by the explosion and then engulfed by the flames. It seems that this murder was targeted at the beast tamer. Whether it was aimed at the driver or Baichen is unclear. Baichen thinks for a moment, this is his first time in Xinjiang County, he shouldn't have offended anyone. The only possibility is that it's targeted at the Nangong family. At the same time, a car following behind stops, and several powerful beast tamers and beast spirits come out from above. Baichen takes a glance, and they are all black iron level. Qianxue, do you know these people? Nangong Qianxue flies around in circles, then shakes her flying sword, indicating that she doesn't know them. But she also understands that these people are probably after her. Sure enough, when those people see Nangong Qianxue flying out in advance, although they are somewhat surprised, they react immediately. One of the beast spirits transforms into a crimson blood bat and chases after Nangong Qianxue, daring to make a move against the Nangong family. You're seeking death. Nangong Yen finally recovers from the explosion and transforms into a mysterious dark dagger, intercepting the blood bat. Your opponent is me. A firewolf bursts out from a diagonal stab, and its scorching fireball forces the black dark dagger back. The dark dagger can only fly at low altitude and doesn't have the ability to fly in the sky, so it can't avoid the firewolf at all. Although the previous explosion didn't cause much harm to her, the death of the contracted beast tamer has put her in a weakened state. On the other side, there is a beast tamer behind the firewolf, and the combination of the two firmly suppresses the dark dagger. It's impossible to escape and get help. Bai Chen and the others can only rely on themselves. The flying sword carries Bai Chen and the night cat demon, flying with all their might. However, facing the black iron five-star blood bat, they have no speed advantage at all. They are quickly caught up. The blood bat spits out a blood arrow, aiming at Bai Chen. Her target is actually Bai Chen. With the physique of a beast tamer, he definitely can't withstand such an attack Bai Chen could only lift Zhao Meng up again as a shield. The beast spirit armor shattered, and the blood arrows almost pierced through the dark knight cat demon's body. The level difference is too great. Moreover, in the air, both Bai Chen and the dark knight cat demon can only passively endure the attacks. The venomous mist has little effect on the blood bat, which has high poison resistance. If this continues, they will be killed by the blood bat sooner or later. Fall down. Bai Chen disregarded the danger on the ground and quickly commanded the flying sword to descend. The blood bat chased closely behind. Just as the blood arrows were forming again, they were already close to the ground. Bai Chen flipped and tightly gripped the sword spirit, unleashing the silver moon slash. At the same time, he threw the dark knight cat demon towards the blood bat. The silver moon slash is invincible against beasts of the same level. However, it is not enough to deal with the black iron five-star beast girl. It only caused a shallow injury to the blood bat's body. Meow. The dark knight cat demon suddenly let out a terrifying lion roar, interrupting the blood bat's condensed blood arrows and causing the blood bat to be slightly dizzy. Seizing this opportunity, it leaped onto the blood bat's back. Enlarged. The power of the giant elephant. Under the double accumulation, the dark knight cat demon became even larger than the blood bat. The blood bat desperately resisted, but its strength was no match for the dark knight cat demon at this moment. It was pressed down rapidly. Bang! The blood bat and the dark knight cat demon fell to the ground together, making a dull sound. Of course, it was mainly due to the weight of the dark knight cat demon. However, with the blood bat as a cushion, the dark knight cat demon did not suffer much damage. The blood bat was almost crushed and about to vomit blood. Bai Chen, who was prepared, rushed forward with Nangong Qianxue. Sharp, armor piercing. Coupled with Bai Chen's immense strength, the blood bat's urgently formed blood shield was pierced on the first strike. The long sword pierced the blood bat's body, causing significant damage. The blood bat tried to struggle but it was firmly suppressed by the several-ton Dark Knight Cat Demon and could only futilely flap its wings. Another strike. The Blood Bat's head was severed, and it died completely. The three of them actually defeated a Black Iron Level 5 Beast Girl together. Nangong Qianxue had a faint feeling of unreality. Last time, Bai Chen and Zhao Meng defeated Li Ku together because Li Ku was careless and didn't strike back. But this Blood Bat Beast Girl in front of them was even stronger and genuinely wanted to kill Bai Chen. Yet, it was killed instead. One couldn't help but sigh, Bai Chen is truly strong. Quick, go save Ant Yen. Nangong Qianxue suddenly reacted. Just now, everyone noticed that there was more than one assassin. Moreover, Nangong Yen was severely injured and no match for them. And that was indeed the case. 
The Xianming Dagger, transformed by Nangong Yan, could hardly maintain its beast girl form under the attack of the Firewolf. It quickly returned to its original form and lay weakly on the ground. Who are you? How dare you lay hands on the Nangong family? Nangong Yan spat out blood and questioned. Oomph. It's your Nangong family who doesn't know how to behave. Who else can you blame? The fire wolf sneered and was about to spew out flames, preparing to burn Nangong Yan to death. Suddenly, it felt a hint of danger and hurriedly tried to dodge. Unfortunately, it was too late. The fully stacked Dark Knight Cat Demon, from its stealth state, struck with its venomous claws. The fire wolf only had time to slightly turn its head, avoiding a fatal blow to its neck, but its shoulder was torn apart, blood flowing profusely. The dark green venom flowed into its body along with the blood, causing its state to greatly decline. It was obviously poisoned. At the same time, Bai Chen, holding the sword spirit and wearing the blood bat armor, also appeared in the scene. Seeing the return of the others, Nan Gong Yen felt both relieved and angry. Why did you come back again? Hurry and leave. You are no match for them. Her task was to protect Nan Gong Qian Shue, not to be protected by her. Since we're back, we won't leave anymore. He he. The fire wolf grinned after recognizing the people. It didn't take them seriously at all. As for the whereabouts of the blood bat, it couldn't be bothered to ask. It probably wasn't killed. This way, all the credit would belong to it alone. The fire wolf excitedly turned around and pounced towards the dark knight Ketamon as long as these guys are dealt with and Nangong Chinshua is kidnapped, she will be able to get a large sum of money. Enough to allow her to level up again. You see, at her level as a beast girl, each level up consumes millions. The Dark Knight Cat Demon was well prepared. After a successful ambush, it released a burst of poisonous mist and launched a swift attack before fleeing in the opposite direction. The Fire Wolf missed its target. When she pursued, she realized that her speed couldn't match that of the Dark Knight Cat Demon. She's a level 5 Black Iron Beast Girl. How could the other party, who is just a newly matured young beast girl, be like this? In her full state, the agility of the Dark Knight Cat Demon reached 1300 points. Ordinary Black Iron level beast girls really can't catch up. The Fire Wolf, unable to catch up to the Dark Knight Cat Demon, turned its attention to Bai Chen. It didn't believe that a beast tamer could be so powerful. It thought that Bai Chen would use a flying sword to escape. However, Bai Chen wasn't afraid at all. With the sword spirit in hand, she charged forward. First, she released a Silver Moon Slash to block the Fire Wolf's attack. Then, using her mastery of swordsmanship, she engaged in a fierce battle with the Fire Wolf. In this world, where beast girls are revered, there is hardly any swordsmanship or martial arts. Encountering this situation for the first time, the fire wolf was at a loss. Moreover, the attack power of the sword spirit was extremely strong, especially when combined with its sharpness and armor-piercing abilities. Even if the fire wolf was hit, its skin would split open and flesh would burst. Fortunately, she had a beast tamer behind her who promptly used healing spells and shields for the fire wolf. Seizing this opportunity, the fire wolf fought back with all its strength, attempting to burn Bai Chen to ashes with flames. However, it only coughed up a mouthful of blood. It was the backlash power. The dark knight cat demon found the lurking beast tamer and killed them with a swipe of its claw. The fire wolf, weakened by the backlash, fell into a state of weakness. Bai Chen took the opportunity to thrust her sword forward, severely injuring the fire wolf. The dark knight cat demon came to support and engaged in a fierce battle with it. The combination of the venomous mist and the venomous claw made the fire wolf weaker and weaker. However, the dark knight cat demon's condition improved as it recovered its blood. Finally, the fire wolf couldn't support its massive body any longer and fell to the ground with a thud. It transformed into a ragged woman. It was no longer able to maintain its beast girl transformation. Nan Gong Yen, who was watching from the side, was stunned. These little guys actually defeated a powerful black iron level beast girl. It was unbelievable. Bai Chen was truly a miracle worker. Although she had witnessed it many times before, Nan Gongyan was still amazed to see it again. Tell me, who sent you? Bai Chen looked down at the fire wolf beast girl. Oomph, a country bumpkin dares to covet the Nan Gong family's daughter. Do you not realize the trouble you've caused? The fire wolf beast girl mocked while spitting blood. So that's where the problem lies. But it seems like you've got it wrong. It's Nan Gong Chianchua who pursued Bai Chen, not the other way around, right? But that's not important. Whoever is behind this, Bai Chen cannot let them go. Are you from the Cheng family? Nan Gong Chinchua returned to her human form and asked with a grim expression. She had put in so much effort to pursue Bai Chen, finally getting a chance and receiving his affection. But now, everything was ruined. Could she not be angry? Miss Nan Gong, I hope you take care of yourself. 
The fire wolf beast girl threatened from the pool of blood. Go to hell. Nandong Chinchue, infuriated, transformed into a sword spirit once again and stabbed the fire wolf beast girl to death. Continuing to question would probably not yield any useful information and might only make Bai Chen angrier. What's going on? Bai Chen looked at Nangong Qianxue. It's nothing. It's just that the young master of the Chang family, Cheng Peng, used to pursue me. After I rejected him, he persisted and even used my family to threaten me. Cheng Peng has a crazy personality and relies on his family's wealth to do crazy things, so I suspect it's him. Nangong Qianxue explained. You mean the richest man in Jiangzhou? Bai Chen suddenly remembered that when he just awakened, there was also a person who claimed to be the daughter of the richest man in Jiangzhou pursuing him, and it seemed that her last name was Chang. Whom? Nangong Qianxue nodded with some guilt. She felt very guilty for involving Bai Chen in this conflict. It's not your fault. Bai Chen patted Nangong Qianxue to comfort her. During this time, he had gotten along very well with Nangong Qianxue and considered her a friend. Anyone who dared to treat his friend like this was simply asking for trouble. Regardless of their identity, they would be taught a lesson sooner or later. Let's go quickly, I'm afraid they will have other means to deal with us. And it's not good to be caught by the inspectorate. Nangong Yen, who had slightly recovered, reminded them. Everyone thought about it and realized that even if they had a valid reason, they had still killed someone, and they would have to go and make a statement. It was quite troublesome. So they took the other party's car and continued on to Zhengzhou City. Zhengzhou was indeed much livelier than Xinjiang County. This could be seen from the way the young ladies dressed. The more developed a place was, the more revealing the young ladies' attire. Wei Chen couldn't help but be amazed by what he saw. When they arrived at the hotel chosen by Nangong Qianxue, Bai Chen truly experienced what luxury meant. As soon as they entered, there was a row of handsome men on the left, and a row of bunny girls, cat girls, flower fairies, mermaids, and more on the right. Is this normal? Bai Chen couldn't help but ask his inner doubts. It's normal. Nangong Qianxue said speechlessly. If it's normal, then forget it. Bai Chen turned around to leave. That's enough. Nangong Qianxue covered her face and pulled Bai Chen inside. This was the best hotel in all of Zhengzhou. You're not asking about the accommodation, but whether it's normal or not. Are you crazy? After arranging the accommodation, Nangong Qianxue took Bai Chen and Zhang to the restaurant downstairs. Giant turtle shrimp, polar bear paws, jade deer tails. One after another, the dishes made from exotic beasts made Zhao Meng drool. However, Bai Chen noticed that these dishes were made from ordinary exotic beasts, and there was hardly any meat from leader-level exotic beasts, let alone lord-level ones. Can you process the meat of exotic beasts? Bai Chen asked. Of course we can. The staff responded very politely. Oh, then make me a lion's head. Bai Chen took out a huge lion's head from the dimensional space, which was over a meter in diameter, and placed it on the bar. The staff were scared and kept retreating, almost falling over. Even though it was already dead, the imposing aura of the great earth lion was still not something an ordinary person could bear. Is this a leader-level exotic beast? The staff trembled as they asked. Lord level, Bai Chen casually replied. Ah, the staff retreated in fear once again. Lord level exotic beast. That must be an incredibly powerful existence. Ordinary people wouldn't even dare to see, let alone eat it. Even in their top-rated hotel that surpassed five stars, they had never served meat from a lord-level exotic beast. The staff didn't dare to handle it and quickly called the manager. The manager nodded and bowed, showing extreme respect. However, he mentioned a difficulty. The lion's head was not made from a lion's head. What if we make a lion's head using a lion's head? Bai Chen kept the lion's head because he wanted to eat it. How could such a large hotel not know how to make it? The manager was sweating profusely and could only promise to try his best. Then Bai Chen took out a wolf leg that was over 2 meters long from the dimensional space. Please help roast this as well. Feeling the fierce aura remaining on the wolf leg, the manager swallowed his saliva. Is this also a lord level exotic beast? Hmm. Following the principle of not letting go of any advantages, Bai Chen took out a pile of ingredients from the dimensional space. There were crocodile tails from the leader of the black scale crocodiles, elephant trunks from the leader of the giant elephants, and ribs from the leader of the golden horn rhinos. All of these were stuffed into the dimensional space by Bai Chen under Zhao Meng's compulsion. Although Bai Chen's dimensional space was now 8 cubic meters, it was still packed full it's not possible to finish everything in one go at the hotel. The main reason is that the dimensional space has the ability to freeze time, so things inside can maintain their freshness. We can make use of the hotel chef to prepare them, and then we can take them out to eat when we enter the beast space. 
The meat of leader level and even lord level beasts is very helpful for energy recovery and growth. Looking at the abundant high quality ingredients, the hotel manager is already overwhelmed. Not to mention the manager, even the diners are all wide-eyed. Wow, he took out so many precious ingredients at once, and they are all at least leader level beasts? Did he hunt them all himself? Look at his age, he should still be a high school student. How could he possibly kill leader level beasts? I guess he must be some rich second generation who bought them. Look at that beautiful girl next to him, she seems to be from the Nangong family. Oh, then it's fine. I wonder which family this handsome guy belongs to. He's handsome and rich, so enviable. Amidst the envy of the crowd, a mocking voice suddenly sounded. Ha, huh, who is this guy? Clearly just a country bumpkin from a small place. Everyone turned around and found that it was Chung Pang, and they began to speculate about his intentions. I heard that a SSS level beast tamer appeared in Xinjiang County recently, and Nangong's daughter went after him. Could it be this handsome guy in front of us? I heard that the SSS level beast tamer even rejected the Miss Cheng from the Cheng family. I heard that Cheng Peng has been pursuing Nangong's daughter since he was a child. This is a complex mix of emotions. Damn, is it really that explosive? We're in for a good show. Under the attention of everyone, Cheng Peng indeed walked towards by Chen and the others. Qian Shui, you're back. In that moment, Cheng Peng's eyes were only on Nangong Qian Shui. Call me by my full name. We're not that close. Nangong Qian Shui didn't hide her disgust. Qian Shui, who is this? Bai Chen raised an eyebrow. Someone surnamed Chang. Nangong Qian Shui even felt disgusted saying his name. Oh, so you're from the rabbit family? Bai Chen remembered that Cheng Yu was a rabbit. This undoubtedly ignited Cheng Peng's anger. Because in this world, the strong are respected, and rabbits are the weakest, so they are often used as insults. It's even more humiliating to describe a man as a rabbit, equivalent to calling a woman a prostitute. Moreover, in the Chang family's genes, most of the females are rabbit girls. This was undoubtedly stepping on his tail. You country bumpkin. You're asking for death. Cheng Peng suddenly became furious and raised his hand to hit Bai Chen. In his eyes, a country bumpkin beast tamer probably relied on the attributes accumulated from leveling up. So what if he's SSS level? He's not worth mentioning at all. After all, he has eaten all kinds of precious spiritual fruits, and his strength is as high as 250. Even beasts of the same level are slightly inferior. However, Cheng Peng's hand didn't land. He felt his hand being tightly held by a pair of iron tongs, unable to move at all. How can you have such great strength? Cheng Peng's face turned red, full of shock. Indeed, you're from the rabbit family. With such little strength, you dare to act so arrogantly? Bai Chen threw Cheng Peng aside like a rag. Kid, I didn't kill you during the day. I won't spare you tonight. Cheng Peng's angry words immediately exposed his actions during the day. Cheng, it was you who caused trouble during the day. Nangong Qian Shui's eyes turned red with anger. The driver from earlier was her partner, Nangong Yan's bodyguard, who had protected her for so many years. But today, he was killed. Although Nangong Qian Shui had suspected Cheng Peng, she didn't casually accuse him because there was no evidence. But she didn't expect Cheng Peng to confess on his own. Cheng Peng knew he had misspoke, but he couldn't care about that now. He immediately shouted, Jean Rome, come out. A tall girl responded and stepped forward. Even without transforming, her aura was astonishing. By Chen's true vision I took a look and discovered that she was actually an S-level beast girl. Golden Mammoth. Name, Jean Rong, Talent, S-level, A-level Evolution, Level, Level 9 Golden Mammoth, Note, 1% Golden Bloodline, Strength, 600, Agility, 300, Constitution, 600, Energy, 200, Beast Tamer, Cheng Peng, Skills, Trample, Long Trunk Whip, Gigantic Strength, Charge, Gravity, Golden Armor, Shockwave. These attributes are comparable to a Black Iron Level Beast Girl. Bai Chen had never seen a Beast Girl with so many skills before. And she had evolved from an A-Level, with a 1% Golden Bloodline. Bai Chen remembered that even the previous 0.1% Golden Bloodline had sold for 1 million. Jean Rome's 1% was worth a billion. As an A-Level Beast Girl, she should have only had 2 or 3 skills when awakened, and the rest should have been obtained from the Beast Spirit Pearl. These skills were all of high quality and with the low probability, they were probably worth another billion. Looking at her basic attributes, she must have consumed a lot of precious spirit fruits. My goodness, calculating it all, it must have cost several billion to create such a level 9 beast girl. So extravagant. Cheng Peng's attributes and skills were even more impressive. It was even more difficult to cultivate as a beast tamer. The beast tamer's skill pearls could generally only be obtained from treasure chests in the beast space or special items. 
Each one was worth millions, and there was no guarantee of 100% comprehension. But Cheng Peng had strength enhancement, agility enhancement, defense enhancement, fire resistance increase, ice resistance increase, healing art, insight, poison expulsion, purification. Although the quality of the skills was slightly inferior, the quantity was no less than by chance. His talent went from E level to S level. The resources required for this were astronomical. Without enough channels, even with money, they couldn't be bought. It was clear how powerful the Chang family was. Such an opponent couldn't be taken lightly by Bai Chen. At the same time, the options appeared again. Option 1, lose the duel. Completion reward, minus 10 strength. Option 2, win the duel. Completion reward, plus 10 strength. Option 3, win 3 times in a row. Completion reward, plus 10 to all attributes. In the world of beast taming, everyone was skilled in combat. As a top-tier hotel, it naturally had a martial arts arena. And it was extremely large, like a football field from the previous life. Bai Chen and Chang Peng suppressed their anger and walked in. In the city, fighting was prohibited in places other than qualified venues such as the martial arts arena and training grounds. Otherwise, if they fought in the hotel, it would likely become a ruin. Even Chang Peng didn't dare to violate this rule. In front of the true power machine, his so-called richest man father was useless. The two sides entered the martial arts arena. A large number of spectators quickly gathered around. A duel between the son of the richest man and an SSS-level beast tamer was a spectacle no matter who it was. Some spectators even started placing bets. And the starting price was extremely high, with a minimum of 100,000 per bet, capped at 10 million. After all, they were all wealthy people, so that amount of money didn't matter. After noticing this, Bai Chen secretly messaged Nan Gong Qianshui, asking her to help bet 10 million on his victory. It was almost half of Bai Chen's wealth. If he lost, the loss would be significant. So, this battle couldn't be lost. Perhaps because Bai Chen was rumored to be an SSS-level beast tamer, the odds remained at 1 colon 1 even when facing the son of the richest man. This wouldn't do. The profit would be too little. Bai Chen quickly turned his head, considering how to change the odds. At this moment, John Rohn completed her transformation first. A golden creature, over 10 meters long and weighing nearly 10 tons, appeared in the arena. With every step, the earth trembled. Even the audience in the stands could feel the immense pressure. The terrifying aura was comparable to that of a lord-level exotic beast. At the same time, the Dark Knight Cat Demon completed its transformation. With a body length of over half a meter and a demeanor resembling that of a pet cat, it was quite bewildering. As if afraid that the audience wouldn't believe her identity, the Dark Knight Cat Demon even let out a couple of meow meow sounds. What the hell is this? Don't tell me that the legendary SSS level beast tamer has a pet cat as their contract beast? Seems like that's the case. Haven't you guys seen the news? There were several hot topics about the SSS level beast tamer recently, and one of them mentioned that their contract beast is a pet cat. Damn, I want a refund. No, it's a bet refund. Change the bet. As both beast girls completed their transformations, the odds instantly underwent a huge change. The initial odds of 1 to 4 were only because everyone had already placed their bets and couldn't change them. Otherwise, it might have gone up to 1 to 10. After all, the difference was too great, they were not in the same weight class at all. Even with the assistance of an SSS level beast tamer, there was no chance at all. Seeing their goal achieved, Bai Chen and Zhao Meng exchanged a smile, hiding their true abilities and intentions. This was the desired effect. The battle began. Both sides entered their respective states. Bai Chen only used war encouragement and beast spirit armor on the Dark Knight Cat Demon, and also added extreme speed to herself. The other skills were all useless. The purpose was to feign weakness. Bai Chen wanted to win three times in a row to obtain the third reward. If she scared Cheng Peng right from the start, how could she win three times? The Dark Knight Cat Demon's speed was already higher than that of the Golden Mammoth, and with the double acceleration, the Golden Mammoth couldn't even catch its shadow. Even if Cheng Peng used agility enhancement, it was useless. In order to give the Golden Mammoth some hope, the Dark Knight Cat Demon didn't run too far away and occasionally scratched it with its venomous claws. The Venomous Claw could still break through some defense and even inflict a slight poison on the Golden Mammoth. It wasn't that the poison from the Venomous Claw wasn't strong enough, it was just that the Golden Mammoth was too big, and the amount wasn't sufficient. But this was enough to make Cheng Peng nervous. He kept using detoxification magic. Bai Chin took the opportunity to bypass the battlefield and ran up to Cheng Peng, slapping him down with a loud smack. Admit defeat, huh? Cheng Peng was stunned for a moment before managing to say, this isn't how battles are fought. Bai Chin didn't care and immediately followed up with another slap, leaving Cheng Peng's head buzzing. In the exotic beast space, 
the exotic beasts won't play by your rules. I'm asking if you admit defeat. Watching Bai Chen raise her hand high, Cheng Peng's face turned red, and in the end, he lowered his head. I admit defeat. Bai Chen delivered another big slap. Didn't hear you, speak up. Cheng Peng was almost knocked out, and his face swelled up. I admit defeat. I admit defeat. Cheng Peng stuffed himself with a special healing potion while shouting in frustration. Done. Bai Chen clapped her hands and enthusiastically helped Cheng Peng up, then made a suggestion, how about we don't count the previous round and start over, with an additional rule that beast tamers can't fight beast tamers. Cheng Peng agreed without hesitation upon hearing this. The previous battle was too embarrassing, especially in front of the goddess Nan Gong Qian Shui. If he didn't regain his dignity, how could he appear in front of Nan Gong Qian Shui in the future? How could he continue to thrive in Zhengzhou City? He was just worrying about not finding an opportunity. Since Bai Chen took the initiative to propose it, Cheng Peng naturally wouldn't refuse. The spectators in the stands also didn't want to accept this outcome. So, the battle began again. This time, Bai Chen and Cheng Peng stood on opposite ends, with no one flanking from behind. However, it was only said that beast tamers couldn't fight beast tamers, there was no mention of beast girls not being able to fight beast tamers. So, as soon as the battle started, the Dark Knight Cat Demon entered its full state and pounced towards Cheng Peng the Golden Mammoth couldn't stop it at all. When the Dark Knight Cat Demon put its claws on Cheng Peng's neck, the battle ended in the first move. Can't we just have a good game? This is not how it's supposed to be played. Cheng Peng was about to cry. The audience in the stands were also furious, after all, most of them bet on Cheng Peng to win. If it was a fair and square victory, everyone could still accept it. But with this kind of play, it's impossible to convince everyone. So this time, there is no need for Bai Chen to intervene. Amidst the condemnation of the crowd in Cheng Peng's insistence, the third round of the battle began naturally. This time, Bai Chen didn't hold back. The war was intensified, the beast spirit armor was enhanced, and the Dark Knight Cat Demon unleashed its elephant power and extreme speed. Its originally half-meter body leaped to over 10 meters long, no less impressive than the Golden Mammoth. In terms of speed and strength, they were evenly matched. The audience finally realized that they had been deceived. This was not just a pet cat but a powerful S-level beast girl. And behind her, there was an SSS-level beast tamer. This was clearly a battle between equals. Some people regretted and wanted to change their bets. But now the bets were locked, and no one could change their position. They couldn't back out. Although the Dark Knight Cat Demon, in its full state, had attributes that were not weaker than the Golden Mammoth, it was not easy to defeat her. It had a great combination of combat skills, with many active attack skills. Another bloody battle ensued. However, the experienced Dark Knight Cat Demon was not afraid of a bloody fight at all. She treated this world's battles as if she were playing a game. So she immediately engaged in close combat with the Golden Mammoth, not giving her a chance to use her skills. Even when the Golden Mammoth's long tusks pierced the Dark Knight Cat Demon's body, she still relentlessly scratched the Golden Mammoth's face. The ferocity of her attacks shocked the audience. The Golden Mammoth, who had little combat experience, was almost on the verge of tears. However, the Dark Knight Cat Demon became more fierce as the battle went on. Mainly because the Golden Mammoth had sufficient health, and the Dark Knight Cat Demon, nourished by the fresh blood, was not afraid of injury. She even gained an additional 0.1% of Golden Blood. Ten times more than the initial Chun Yuan Yuan. In other words, the Golden Mammoth had lost at least one-tenth of its blood. It was almost anemic. As a result, the Dark Knight Cat Demon gained a new skill. Golden Claw. The Golden Claw shot out, with a sharpness twice as high as before, easily tearing through the Golden Mammoth's defense and causing a lot of damage. When the Golden Mammoth lost 20% of its blood, it could no longer support its massive body and collapsed into a pool of blood. I surrender! The weakened Golden Mammoth shouted. I can't hear you! I can't hear you! The Dark Knight Cat Demon pressed down on the Golden Mammoth's mouth and continued to desperately suck its blood. She had already discovered the benefits of Golden Blood. Now, with zero. 2% of golden blood, the Dark Knight Cat Demon's golden claw became even sharper. Woo woo, the weakened golden mammoth was powerless to resist the Dark Knight Cat Demon. With her mouth held shut, she couldn't even shout surrender. Chung Pang, who noticed the situation, felt unwilling, but could only reluctantly shout surrender for the third time. But the Dark Knight Cat Demon still refused to let go. Enough. Finally, someone spoke up. It was a level 9 Black Iron Beast girl, presumably Chang Peng's bodyguard. Seeing this, the Dark Knight Cat Demon reluctantly let go and retreated to Bai Chen's side. Bai Chen, using the true side eye, saw that the Dark Knight Cat Demon's golden blood had reached zero. 
equivalent to picking up 22 million, truly worthy of Xiao Meng, but Bai Qin earned even more, 40 million in the first move. In addition, the system's rewards had also been received, with all attributes increased by 10. This round, he made a big profit, Bai Qin happily brought everyone back to the hotel. At this time, various delicacies made from the meat of leader level and lord level exotic beasts were being served one after another. A one ton lion head was made into a supersized lion meatball weighing 200 caddies, emitting an extremely enticing aroma. I really don't know where the hotel got such a big pot. Zhao Meng looked at the lion head that was bigger than herself, so hungry that she couldn't even walk. I consumed too much energy in the battle just now, so I'll take this lion head. Do you guys mind? Zhao Meng asked Bai Chan and Nangong Chanchua with saliva dripping from her mouth. Where did you consume it just now? The golden mammoth was almost sucked dry by you. And can you eat such a big lion head by yourself? Bai Chen questioned loudly. I can eat it. Bai Chen, quickly make me enlarge. Zhao Meng transformed into a night cat demon in the hotel and displayed the power of a giant elephant, urging Bai Chen at the same time. She really wanted to eat the lion head in one go. In the city, as long as they don't fight, beast girls can transform. For example, the beast girls at the entrance who welcome guests are in a semi-transformed state. Bai Chin quickly took out a kitchen knife and cut off a few caddies of meat before enlarging the night cat demon. Even though the night cat demon was over 10 meters long, it was still not easy to eat 200 caddies of lion head. But the greedy Zhao Meng still managed to finish it all, eventually bloating her stomach. What's amazing is that Zhao Meng's strength increases a little every once in a while. It seems that eating and absorbing the meat of leader level or higher exotic beasts can increase corresponding attributes. No wonder it's hard to find the meat of leader level or higher exotic beasts on the market. What a pity. I should have brought back the entire Great Earth Lion and Silver Moon Azure Wolf's meat. The dimensional space is just too small. However, a large amount of consumption is needed. For example, the remaining lion head that Bai Chen and Nangong Chenchua shared did not increase any attributes. At this time, the roasted leg of the Silver Moon Azure Wolf was also ready. It weighed a full 300 caddies. It took both strong beast girls to lift it. Zhao Meng looked at the roasted leg of the Silver Moon Azure Wolf, and tears uncontrollably flowed down her mouth. Unfortunately, she couldn't eat anymore. This is called not knowing the value of something when young and shedding tears of regret when old. Bai Qin calmly cut off two caddies and shared them with Nangong Chenshue. The rest was put into the dimensional space for preservation. Next, the elephant trunk, black scale crocodile tail, golden horn rhino ribs. Various ingredients from the bodies of leader level exotic beasts were processed into delicacies and served. Although the restaurant was filled with wealthy people who had seen it all, they were still tempted and salivating. Someone couldn't help but come forward and ask if they could buy some. But Bai Chen is now a super rich person with 50 million assets. Does he care about that little money? Yes, he does. Except for keeping 10 caddies of each for tasting, the rest was sold. He actually made 10 million. Bai Chen seemed to see a business opportunity. Unfortunately, there are too few leader level exotic beasts. The Qingqing grassland has almost been ravaged by Bai Chen, and he only managed to get this much meat. And the preservation of exotic beast meat is too difficult. In the exotic beast space, the energy in the meat will dissipate completely within a day, making it even less tasty than the meat raised domestically. It's only because Bai Chen has a dimensional space that he can do this. If it were someone else, it would be impossible. After a satisfying meal, Nangong Chenchua suggested taking Bai Chen and the others shopping. It has been about 10 days since they crossed over to this world, and this is the first time Bai Chen and Zhao Meng have entered a big city. Along the way, Bai Chen noticed that the low chassis sports cars from his previous life were nowhere to be seen, and there were more armored off road vehicles. It seems that even in the outside world, it's not that safe. Nandong Chinchua took them to a large shopping mall instead of a movie theater or KTV. Inside, everything sold was what beast masters and beast girls needed. Since you made a lot of money today, you can come here to improve your strength. Nandong Chinchua enthusiastically introduced why should I spend the money I worked so hard to earn. Bai Chen tightly held onto his pocket, looking at Nandong Chinchua with a cautious expression. There are always people trying to get their hands on my money bag. What do you earn money for then? Nandong Chinchua asked full of confusion, to save for retirement. Bai Chen replied firmly. Nangong Chenxue's face was filled with exasperation. If you're going to talk about saving money, at least make it reasonable, like saving for marriage. Saving for retirement already? Isn't it a bit too early? But whether we spend money or not is another matter, going out for a stroll is always fine.